All right, New Horizons introduced 11 bugs, as you can tell by the fact that we are 11 bugs short of 93 up there. The bugs that they introduced in the order that I'm going to try to catch them is the Earth Boring Dung Beetle, the Madagascan Sunset Moth, the Paper Kite Butterfly, the Common Blue Bottle. Those are going to be caught August 22 at 12 p.m. At a Nook Miles Island, also in August, we're going to try to get an Atlas Moth, a Blue Weevil Beetle, a Giant Water Bug, a Giraffe Stag. That's going to be the big one today. A man faced stink bug and a Rosalia Batessi beetle. And then there's one bug that's not able to be caught in August that's new, a damselfly. And that's going to be the last thing that we get before this challenge is over. Whew. All right, let's do it. Uh, also, maybe do this as well. Renee or Sprocket, I swear I'll cry if neither. I mean, it's pretty unlikely. Yo, thank you, Dragon Smoke Inc. Thanks so much for the 50 bits. I appreciate that. And Melispa. If you get Deverill, I mean, sucks. I'll take that. Like, look, if, if that's the cost of doing business and having Diva on my island, I'm gonna do 8 2 because that's the time I have uh, set for the route here today. Um, the only one that has total catch requirements is the Madagascan Sunset Moth, which has 20, and then the Giraffe Stag, which has 100. Those are the only ones that uh, have total catch requirements to them. All right. Second pastiest. Thank you, by the way, Melispa. And look, I mean, <laughs> if that's the cost of doing business to get Diva, then phew, I don't know, man. That's that's probably worth it. That's probably worth it. All right, that's my man's right there. We're going to Bug Island. Hell yeah, going to Bug Island. I always forget that you don't name the island during this segment. You actually have to do the chores first. Yeah, give me the northern hemisphere. I don't know what the hell I would do for the southern. I'm betting on you getting Lyman. I've had Lyman a couple times as starters on these temporary islands. And what's up, Tandem Drifts? How are you doing? I got an ad about severe diarrhea. Hey, man, we all experience it. We all have... We, it's, it's just a natural thing. Is Diva and Chow worst case scenario? That's not a possible scenario considering Chow's uh, cranky. Worst possible scenario would probably be Diva and... Uh, worst jock villager. I don't know, actually. I'm, I can't think off the top of my head who'd be the worst jock villager. Dagnal from Bug? I didn't do that. No, 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 no. Because you don't name the island until you do the chores. One of your layouts has a heart lake? Probably not the one I chose. Because I wasn't paying attention to that. But I just chose the one that looked the most simple. I mean, there's only 96 of them, right? So... 96 islands to four out of 96 Oop. it's like a four four a little bit more than the four percent chance to get the hard island unless there's multiple people keep saying crankies i mean you can it's hard to memorize every fucking personality of every villager so i don't i don't blame people for making a small boo-boo kid cat is a kid cat is a jock yes kid cat's a jock he's potential potential uh renee the horse and kid cat would be the best starters if that were to happen, I would gift five gift subs in celebration. But my guess was Frida and Bill. Who are we gonna get? Why is it cloudy and warm? Cloudy and warm can coexist. Ooh, fusion snake. It's not bad. It's not bad. I don't know if anyone said fuchsia or snake though. I don't think anyone said fuchsia or snake. Move. <clears throat> pink yeah she's very pink i guess if you like pink that that's okay it's a, well actually they're fucking both pink aren't they Ooh, they're they're both pretty pink forgot about that yeah snake's got his big old pink skin fur i don't know yeah it's okay starters i've seen worse i've seen better it's because pride so true bestie they must know it's pride month they lock your starter villagers during the month of june it's true they, many people are saying this my dude, I just discovered your videos, and I'm watching all the holiday videos, and let me just say, your content is amazing. Thank you. I'm glad that you enjoyed the holiday videos. That was a fun video to make, going through all those holidays that I played as a kid and hadn't played in a long time. I had the same shirt when I started my island. There is, and somebody might know better than I do about this, but I think there is, like, predetermined shirts that you get. I don't know how you determine them. 
I yeah, I don't know how you determine the shirts, the, the outfits that you're given when you when you make your character, but they are like predetermined. It's not like random. It's not completely random. Cause I've seen this shirt and probably this pants combo before. I just don't know how they're chosen. Yeah, there's only a few. Yeah, it looks good to me. Envy supremacy, definitely. What's like what 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 color is pink? Like the rainbow flag has a little bit of every color. And they all meant to represent different things. What? Which one's the pink? Who, who? Who got the pink? Is that NB, or is that something else? Trans has pink. Well, there you go. And what about this like navy blue that he's wearing as well? Because like the pink is, it's definitely noticeable. But he's more navy blue and a little bit of yellow on the cheeks as well. I appreciate your monthly guides so much. People play. I play. AC and H non-stop for weeks. I don't touch it for months, so I never played June before. Hey, well, there you go. There you go. Trans colors are blue, white, and pink. Oh, yeah, they, okay, but, like, the, the blue is, like, a light blue. I guess it's close enough, though, right? Pan is yellow, blue, and pink. Well, there you go. He's pansexual. And then she's yellow, too. Jeez, man. They're very prideful villagers. The original rainbow flag had hot pink on it, and it represented sex. Just sex. Interesting. The bi flag has pink, purple, and blue. I think they all have, like, a lot of colors, I guess. There's a wasp flying around my room. That's the worst thing in the world, man. That's the worst thing in the world. Alright, we're gonna get, like, extra sticks here, because I'm gonna want to make a shit ton of nets here. And we'll pick up the rocks as well. So we're going to need to make axes, and then the axes cut down the trees to get a Rosalia Potessi beetle later on. Yep, I guess Pietro and Julian, I am H-O, are the two, like, most prideful colored villagers. And I don't even know if that one's deniable, with Pietro at least. My man's got all the damn colors covered. He got all of them fucking covered. I guess Judy's pretty, like... I guess Judy's pretty aesthetic in that way as well. First time catching a stream? Welcome, welcome. I hope you're doing well today. Twitch censored hot pink? Why? That's just the color. Twitch censors some weird things. I don't know. I always grab 25 sticks, a rock, and six fruit. You need to get the six fruit. I try to grab every rock, and I try to grab extra sticks as well to make some uh, extra tools. Is that for like a speed run, or did you just do that every time you start a new island? Swiffer. Thank you so much for the subscription. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad-free viewing. Thank you so much, Swiffer Zach. I appreciate that. Thank you. And hello, Margo. How are you doing as well? 23. Let's get like a stack. I do that every time I start over. You have like, I don't know, you, you start over so much that you have a routine for it. Hmm. What's the route for New Horizons? It's actually pretty easy because of the 11 bugs that you can catch, 10 of them are in August, which is where we're going to start, with about half of them being in the daytime, half of them being in the nighttime. So we're going to do August during the nighttime, and we're going to do August during the daytime. And then we're going to go to December to get that one that can't spawn in August, that being the damselfly. Yeah, he was outside, he just came in. I don't get people who start over in AC and H so much. Oh, I forgot to grab the keys. I think it's, like, I, I don't get it either, but what it, I mean, I do get it, because I did it all the time in the older games. And it was just because I was bored of the island, and instead of, like, taking a break, instead of taking a break from the game, I tried to, like, recapture the, you know, the enjoyment of starting all over again. It was basically, like, a quick way of re rekindling my interest in the game, you know? McDavid's spotting Colorado quite the lead. I think Colorado's just the better team, man. I don't think he's spotting nothing. Of course, he's not spotting nothing, but I get what you mean. No, I think that, um... I think it's just trying to, like, rekindle your enjoyment. The game does guilt you if you take a break. I, I mean, that's... It's a bit much to say that it guilts you, really. Like, this game does not guilt you that much. Maybe the older games did, for sure. When they'd be like, Oh my god, I literally cried for 53 months! since you last played, and I'm like, oh, jeez. But, I don't know, this game is not that bad with the guilting. Favorite game of all time? Probably Minecraft. New Horizons lets you have different islands with different profiles. 
I mean, I wish too. Like, you didn't have to get a whole new Switch. That would be really nice. I think that's probably, like, one of the most requested things about this game. What should we call it? I have a good idea. Like, I've missed all this challenge because of work, but at least I'd be making money. You'd be getting that bread. Which I'm, you know, that's probably more important. That's probably more important. Considering I'm also going to upload this to the second channel as well, so you can just always go back and watch it. You can watch it now on Twitch as well, but a lot of people are like, I don't like the Twitch player. And I'm like, I get it. A lot of the things, like, one thing that I really, really love about YouTube live streams is the ability to pause the stream and then unpause it seamlessly. And then after you unpause it, you're not watching it live anymore, but you're watching it from where you paused it. And then you can choose to go back to where you, to where it's live. I really, really, really like that. In fact, I think YouTube just has, like, the best player of any video sharing platform. Twitch is just does kind of suck. I'm just more used to watching them on Twitch to where I haven't really, like, thought objectively about it. I don't have a VOD channel, but I have a second channel where I've uploaded the VODs for the fish challenge of this, and I'm going to do the same for the bug challenge, as we're doing now. Twitch doesn't have a two-time speed option. If you're watching VODs, like, you can't two-time stream a... You can't two times a stream, but you can a VOD, and yeah, I get it. YouTube system's just intuitive. Honestly, like, YouTube gets a lot of guff, and a lot of rightfully so, but... I don't know. YouTube does a lot more things right than Twitch does, at least lately they have. Just caught an Arapaima? Yo, that's pretty pog. Um, I hope I timed this well enough to where I should... I should hopefully wake up and then have it be close to 5 a.m. so that the day rolls over to my birthday and I get a bunch of Nook Miles. Excuse you. What do you mean? What do you mean you can't put that down? What is taking you longer so far? Bugs or fish? So, fish took me in like the 24 hour range, so it's going to be pretty close between which one's going to take me longer. It seems like they're probably going to be about equal, depending on how quickly we can get done today. If we get done today. I need to be- I need to go for a few minutes, be back soon. Take your time, man. Take- take your time. What's up, KK? How you doing, man? And it's Stranger, but I noticed the quality of streams are so much better on YouTube than Twitch, but then it's Google, so big L. Well then, but Twitch is Amazon. If you're talking about, like, the- the financial backing with which to make an intuitive player that's of good quality, I feel like they're on pretty even playing grounds because one's Amazon, one's Google. But of course, Amazon focuses probably more on Amazon than they do on Twitch, whereas Google probably puts a decent amount of effort into YouTube. So I don't know. I don't know. I'm, not, I'm just acting like I know what I'm talking about. I really don't. This is just my suspicions, really. I did see that. Wilbo got the flea, so congrats to him. He finished his challenge yesterday. Now it's my turn. Now it's my turn. I can't watch live streams on YouTube for some reason. They buffered all hell whilst Twitch plays perfectly fine on 1080. I guess different strokes, different folks. I don't know. Neither of them work bad. It's just some are more intuitive than others. Yeah, after 30 hours, just on the flea alone. Poor guy. Hey, Dag, how are you doing? Not bad. How are you doing? Bad opinion juice. My roommate bought me McDonald's. Damn. Yo, roommates actually care about you? Shit. Got a sucker fish instead of a hammerhead. Ah, shucks. Now Tom looks asking you to pay up right away. That's fine. It's not that bad, really. I mean, right away, he doesn't put a deadline on it. Nope, never. How wonderful of you. I dare say you see... Wait, I never actually... I don't think I've ever choo... I don't think I've ever chosen the no, never dialogue before. I don't need it. Ah, shit. I don't think I ever chose the no, never dialogue there. Just hanging out before my brother comes to visit for the weekend. Yo, let's go. I need to restart to out of creative vision. My previous island was farm core. My current one is more suburban. I see, and maybe restarting is faster than tearing down an entire island to fulfill your your vision. I suppose that's true. It does take a while, doesn't it? Definitely a raccoon that only has money in his eyes. So true, except he's a tanuki. Orville has a mental breakdown if you talk to him on a dream island. Orville has a mental breakdown if you talk to him on a dream island. I don't know if I've ever tried to do that. I didn't even know you could enter the airport during a dream. What's up, Funky Kong? How are you doing? I'm close friends with one of my roommates. I don't think I was ever good enough friends with any roommates of mine for where they'd bring me McDonald's. 
I watch all your vids. Thanks, Kitcore Vibes. I appreciate that. Is someone dissing my man Tom? I think so, man. I think so. I think someone's dissing your man's Tom. All right, let's see. What time is it? Did I get this right or did I fuck it up? Okay, I got it right. Good. So now it should uh, give me the cutscene for August 2nd, which is my birthday, which should give us a large influx of Nook Miles, so which we can pay off our first debt nice and quickly. And one of the dream addresses, I seen it on your main YouTube channel. Maybe I did? I don't remember, though, to be honest with you. Have you been hydrating? It's funny you should ask. I just did. Wet my whistle. I'm not going for a theme of my new island, just general chaos. That's the way to do it, man. That's the way to do it. I overshot it by seven minutes, but that's fine. Is Tom a Gemini? Uh, his birthday is... I don't know when his birthday is. I have no idea. Birthday twins with moose makes me want to cry. That's pretty... I would cry about that. I would cry about that. Hey, Dag, I'm sick today. I'm sorry, Noodles Duck. I hope you start feeling better soon. May 30th? There you go. Gemini confirm. All right, so get 2,000 quickly for my Nook Miles here. If we do a little bit of... If we do a little bit of... Whoop! Chris Berman style. Whoop! And then we'll do... Take a picture. I have so many of these pictures on this Switch of me just taking a picture for some quick Nook Miles here at the beginning. Does Tom Nook eat booty? Well, if he's a Gemini, then how could he not? That's just Gemini behavior right there. Thanks so much for the 100 bits. I appreciate that. Thank you. God, look how much that changes the design. It's weird. Um, and then do the that, and then do the motherfucking shit. Change the comment, give it a little one. And then we're going to do this 10 times. My B-Day twin is Stu, eh? Stu's all right. I like Stu. Stu fucked my wife, but that's fine. My birthday twin is Frank. Oh, Franklin. That's the that's kind of the man, though. He's kind of the man. Oh, hey, it's Kristen. It do be kind of Kristen, though. Mine's Bruce. You ever gotten bored of AC and H all the time, man? But these challenges sort of, like, you know, give me something to work towards, which kind of alleviates the boredom to an extent. Octavian and Norman, I have both of them on my island. Ooh, there you go. My birthday twin is on both my New Leaf and New Horizons save. My birthday twin is on... Oh, who's your birthday twin? That's pretty cool. Wait, I'm already up to 4,200? Oh, shit. Okay, well, how do I get this last 800 then? Let me think. Uh, well, if I buy and sell things, I could, like... Yeah, if I buy and sell things, that's another couple... Hundred... And then, let's pick up more sticks, because I'm gonna make more freaking goddamn nets. What is that? That's just a fish, man. Alright, yeah, let's, uh... Let's, let's buy and make some nets here. Just join? What did I miss? Nothing, we just started. My birthday twin is Savannah. Savannah, ooh, na, na. She's cool? She is cool. I like her. I could sell seashells, but I don't have access to all my beets, so I probably can't get enough right now. It's fine. I think we should only need, like, maybe three more stamps, which shouldn't be too bad. Yeah, I took my phone out ten times, I think, right? I, I did, unless... I mean, I guess I could check it here. Okay, do this, like, I don't know, four more times. Agent S is mine. Yo, same bestie, July 2nd. Uh, what's up, little guy? How you doing? Biscuit. Yo, limp biscuit. Get stung by bees? So true. I could get stung by bees. I don't have access to all my trees, though, so I don't know if I'll be able to... Oh, you know what I need to do, actually? I'm stupid. I forgot to do something. I need to grab my Nintendo Switch, my AC and H Switch from the mail, sell that, and that's some miles right there. And then I was going to use those miles to buy saplings and then make five nets, which I think should be a goal in itself right there. What's up, Kiantia? How are you doing? Welcome, welcome. Should be this one, I think. Yeah, there we go. I don't actually have Joy-Cons, Nintendo Joy-Cons, on this Switch. But what you can do is you can spoof your you can spoof your Switch by thinking, making them think that your Joy-Cons are the Animal Crossing ones by going like attaching them to your computer somehow. I don't know how. I don't remember how I did it. 
I mean, there must be just like a normal connection like this in your Joy-Cons, right? Anyway, you connect them to your computer and you can change the colors of them. You can change those colors exactly to what the AC and H colors are. And then that'll make your Switch think that you got AC and H Joy-Cons, even though I don't. And that's how you get this AC and H Nintendo Switch at the start. It's actually a speedrun strat. So I mean, it's not possible with the Switch Lite? No, I don't think so. And I, my guess would be no, but I could be wrong. I could very well be wrong. Um. So yeah, let's go do the DIY thing here. It's like an app? Yeah, I remember I have to download like a program to do it, but it was really easy, actually. Yeah, I'm trying to get the 5,000 miles done quickly, which I should be able to do after just making a bunch of nets and then buying some things. Finally at 6.9k coins, that's the funny number. That's pretty freaking hilarious, man, you're right. I always tell Dag this, but my dad wanted to be Limp Biscuit in the late 90s, early 2000s, like he dressed exactly like him. Yeah, didn't you say like, um... Like he wears like a red hat or something like that, and like... I, I can't remember Limp Biscuit in the late 90s, early 2000s, I, I just know like... He had the red hat. He had the, uh... <laughs> I don't remember. What did Limp Bizkit look like in the in the early 2000s, man? I have no idea. But there you go. It's kind of a dad look. The flavor. That's right, the flavor saver. That's true. Yeah, the little flavor saver facial hair. Yeah. There you go. A staple of early 2000s Limp Bizkit. What bugs do you need? I need 11 different kinds of bugs. We'll work through them here. I don't know if I can rattle them all off right at this moment. But well, I guess while I'm crafting here. Earthboring, Dung Beetle, Madagascan, Sunset Moth, Paper Kite, Butterfly, Common, Blue Bottle, Atlas Moth, Blue Weevil Beetle, Giant Water Bug, Giraffe Stag, Man Face Stink Bug, Rosalia Potassi Beetle, Damselfly. Those are the last 11 that we need. Fred Durst was the lead singer of Limp Biscuit. Limp Biscuit was the right, right. Fred Durst is who he wanted to be like. Need materials? What? How did I run out? I thought I grabbed so many. All right. Ew, Atlas Moth. I hate giant butterflies. Well, good thing. It's a moth then, not a butterfly. A uh, yuck. All right. Anyway, we should be able to get a common blue bottle like right away. I literally saw them in the tutorial section here. Let's also grab a couple more of these. I literally saw one in the tutorial section here, but for right now, I should catch everything to get my total catch requirement beefed up a little bit. Um, because while no bug that I need right now has a very high total catch requirement, the Madagascan Sunset Moth takes 20, which isn't bad. The Giraffe Stag later on in the run will take 100, so it's best to beef up my bug count right now, in my opinion. But we'll see. Might as well catch whatever we can, right? Okay. <laughs> I wish I had a Kinder Bueno right now. What is a Kinder Bueno? I know what Kinder eggs are. Is it just like a chocolate egg or something like that? Should we also get the museum? I think we might need to get the museum, right? Or at least build, like, the museum tent? I think we might need to do that. Oh, there's... There... There! I'm a blue bottle. There you go. Alright, that was the first game that added a common blue bottle, so there you go. First one of those that we caught. Someone send this man a Kinder Bueno? What the fuck is a Kinder Bueno, dude? I don't know what that is. I don't know what a Kinder Bueno is. For all I know. Like, what, what's it? Uh, Kinder Good. Like, that's what it's translating to. It's a chocolate bar? I don't like chocolate that much, chat. I don't like chocolate The thought of eating, like, a whole-ass chocolate bar actually kind of disgusts me. If I'm gonna be honest with you, it actually kind of disgusts me. Like, I really don't like the concept of, like, biting in and eating a chocolate bar. That's kind of gross. It's gonna be straight up with you. That seems kind of gross. Did that get me miles? It did. Am I at 5,000 yet? Should be close. 4,200, that'll be 4,500. And then... I think if I plant these trees that I bought, then I'll get to 5,000. Straight chocolate? Yeah, straight chocolate, dude. Fuck that. Like, chocolate in things is fine. But eating straight chocolate, man? No. No. I I'm not a fan. 
And, but if I did have to eat straight chocolate of anything, and you're really not gonna like this one, but if I had to eat straight chocolate anything, it'd be white chocolate. I can bite into, like, a, a piece of white chocolate and not be, like, and not be, like, disgusted by that. But regular chocolate? Mm, no. That's my streamer. I love white chocolate. I love it, too. Well, love, that's a strong word. But it's it's better than milk or dark chocolate, especially dark chocolate. My God. That's the worst opinion I've ever heard. You should watch the news, man. White chocolate cookies and cream Hershey bars are so good. Yeah, I think I've tried those before. Those are pretty good. Hot takes by Dag? These are pretty tame, honestly. These are not that hot. All right, 5,000 miles earned. Um... No, I didn't mean to ask you what the hell I wanted to do here. I can pay it off before I give him the fucking bugs and fish, right? Surely. I'm all ears? Yeah, about my moving fees here. Yeah, 5,000. All right, good. White chocolate is based. So true. White chocolate tastes like fat and sugar. It's... How is there... Okay, sugar, that's fine. But how is that any different from regular chocolate isn't right well, how is regular chocolate not just fat and sugar man have we already discussed the total catch requirement yeah i think it's pretty common knowledge at this point white chocolate with coconut and it's so good i like those like coconut flakes that you get on like donuts i don't know if i've ever had an actual coconut before all right five thousand miles everything paid off uh sure i guess let's catch five unique creatures as well it should take like taste like cocoa. Interesting. Help. They've been doing so many favors. What do you mean? White chocolate hurts my teeth. Dark chocolate is superior. White chocolate. Now that's a weird one. White chocolate hurts your teeth. Okay. Y you recognize that you're kind of the strange one for that, right? You're like it hurts your teeth. How does it hurt your teeth, man? Like, and how does it hurt your teeth in a way that chocolate does not hurt your teeth? I don't understand. I'm a little confuzzled on that one. Ooh, Earth Boring Dung Beetle is also new in this game. Ooh. I didn't expect to get that one so soon, but we did. There you go. 84. What about a Kinder Bar? We don't really have Kinder stuff out here, do we? At least I don't think we do over here in America. I'm pretty sure those, those like, kinder eggs are, like, banned here, right? I don't know. Pretty sure we don't really have those around here too much, to be honest with you. Do I need this still? I think I already caught one of these. Yeah. Some kinder stuff is illegal. Yeah, it's not very prominent out here, that's for sure. Swiss and, Swiss and Belgian chocolate is superior. Interesting. White chocolate and chocolate are actually very different because white chocolate doesn't actually have any chocolate, just the fat from the cocoa beans. Interesting. I don't know, man. I guess I like it. I like it more than regular chocolate. But that's just me. That's just me. Feel free to disagree. Nope, Walmart sells them. I got my niece one every time I took her grocery shopping. Well, there you go. Okay, I'm wrong. I obviously don't do much chocolate shopping. So I don't know. Nope. Missed the very beginning of the stream. What bugs we catching today? Eh. Well, Dynasty Beetle, just to get our five bugs to Tom Nook here. Then after that, we have nine more bugs that we need to go after already getting the common blue bottle and the Earth Boring Dung Beetle. Hershey flavors their chocolate that tastes like it was made with spoiled milk. I don't think... Maybe they actually just use spoiled milk. I don't know. I wouldn't put, a, I wouldn't put Hershey above that, honestly. Chocolate-covered ants. No, I never understood that. I never, ever, ever, ever understood that novelty of, like, putting bugs in your candy. Like, you ever see one of them suckers, one of them lollipops that has, like, a fucking bug in the inside of it? I never understood that. I never understood that. I don't know if that's what you're talking about when you say chocolate-covered ants, or unless that's a euphemism for something else, but, uh... Yeah. Hopefully, that's just... Yeah, I hope that that's just a... Uh, I don't know, man, I don't know. Yeah, that's a thing. You ever, like, go to, like, a novelty shop and they got, like, fucking ants on the inside of a lollipop or something? So, I don't know, I've never had one. 
And I don't think I really want to, because why would I eat a fucking bug? Calgary Stampede happens every year, and they're always sticking bugs in food? Alright, well, another reason to never go to Calgary. I'll add it to the list. Because the processes used to make cocoa liquor, the stuff that makes it taste like chocolate, have a weird chemical reaction that makes it taste vomity. Since white chocolate has no cocoa or chocolate liqueur, that is not an issue. Interesting. I'm learning a lot today. Bugs in chocolate slash candy is no. So true, bestie. It is a big no for me. I'm happy to be Spanish. Never seen them here. Yeah, there you go. Not to mention, you get to live in one of the nicest climates in the world and one of the nicest countries in the world with subsidized health care. If you enjoy almond milk, you are going to hell. Save yourself now. Never had it. I've never had non-dairy milk before. Never had non-dairy milk before. Different cultures do different things. I'm wondering what culture started the trend of putting bugs in food, though. Like, is that a culture thing? Or is that just, like, what some silly guy just is like, Oh, well, if I put an ant on the inside, it'll be gross. I don't know, man. I feel like it's more likely that it's just some guy who decided to put bugs in there one day. Rather than an actual culture behind it. But maybe I'm wrong. How the fuck you milk an almond? So true. So true. What's up, Luca Loaf? How are you doing? What's it like in California? I plan to move. I'm an actor, so it's kind of important. <clears throat> uh, it's nice, but if you're going to California for being an actor, you're probably going to LA. I don't live in LA. In fact, I'm far from LA. It's super hot. It's super expensive. Um... Don't come here. We have enough people. I would recommend... I, I would recommend just not even coming. I would rec... Honestly, stay far away. It's miserable. We all stink. Like, literally, it's a little known fact. Everybody in California stinks. Uh, like, they smell. Physically, they smell. You probably shouldn't come here. Just keep yourself safe. Hey, Zakady. Thanks for the raid. How was your stream? Welcome. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're all doing well today. How's everyone doing? I'm Dagnal. That's all you need to know. First time being in one of your streams. Found you on YouTube and I really like your content. Well, thank you. Glad to have you here. Very common around the globe. Selling them as novelties is not very... S selling them as novelties is not very culture, though. I'll give you that. Yeah, that doesn't seem like culture. Eating bugs, I mean, yeah, I can see that. But, like, sticking them in lollipops. I'm like, what culture does that? Anyway. The French cheese where grubs are being put in the cheese to eat it and leave their shit in it. And that's the cheese that French people eat. <laughs> no, no, I can't say I've ever heard of that, man. Thank you for saying my name correctly. Love your content. Have a good stream. Yo, did I get it right? I'm usually pretty bad at that. But thank you for the raid again. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, this is the spot. I thrive when it rains. I'll feel right at home in Washington or Oregon. Yeah, definitely don't come to California then. I don't know, but, like, what's it like in California? I don't know, man. I've lived here for two years. I'm hardly, like, the most experienced California resident. I really don't know what it's like here because not only have I only lived here for two years, I've really never left the area of California that I'm in currently. Like, L.A., San Diego, Southern California is so, so, so much different from where I'm at. No, I can't pronounce that long Welsh name. That's that's ridiculous. I ain't gonna do that. Absolutely not. Like, it's so much different from where I'm at here to where I'm like, there's just no point in comparing, like, where I live to L.A. You know? The only thing that's the same, I guess, is the jurisdiction. I don't know. So now I need, um... I need to get the better tools recipe at some point as well, and... To make an axe, which we'll need to cut down a tree to get uh, Rosalia Batessi Beetle. I don't know if I should worry about that, though, because right now I'm not worried about the Rosalia Batessi Beetle. I'm worried about the Paper Kite Butterfly and the Madagascan Sunset Moth right now. Sam May Smile. Thanks so much for the subscription. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad-free viewing. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Enjoy. Thank you very much for that. We're talking about gas prices now? Yeah, don't come here if you don't want gas. Or don't come here if you need gas. Is probably more accurate. If you don't want to see high gas prices, do not come to California, man. We're up into the sixes. Whew. 
there's times like this, and there's many times like this, this is just one of them, where I'm really happy I don't drive. I'm quite happy I do not drive. I want to support and hate the ads. Yo, thank you so much. I'm sorry that it, you, it, it comes to having to pay to get rid of the ads. It sucks. I'm sorry it has to come to that, but unfortunately, that's kind of how it is, unfortunately. Prices are a crime. I think they're pretty bad everywhere, right? I downloaded Twitch mainly to watch Dag streams. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. Louisiana gas only $3. Yeah, don't your cars just run on, like, Gumbalai or something like that? I don't know. Y'all, 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 y'all fine down there, okay? Y'all fine. And the companies take advantage of everything to raise prices? Yeah, but it's a good thing we didn't pay the workers anymore. Because otherwise, everything would be so darn expensive right now. Accidental, let me correct myself. On my local Tesco, it's a one pound for gas? One pound for a liter? And then a liter is like a fourth of a gallon, so you're like four dollars per... So you're like four dollars per gallon, which is pretty... pretty high, right? That's pretty high. At least I... Yeah, a liter is like very comparable to a quart, and then there's four quarts in a gallon. So, really, that's still pretty expensive. Hey. You also drive less in the UK. So true. So true. You know, your country was built before the invention of, like, vehicles. Five a gallon is slowly going up still. Yeah, it's, it's going to keep going up. Per liter for diesel in more urban areas like Birmingham. I think it was like $2 a liter. That's insane. Because then that's, that's creeping on like $7 for a gallon, which is insane. Everyone thank the oil monopolies. There's a lot of things to thank. You can go like, you know, some choice words. I think a gas for me is about $100 right now, to be fair. But to be fair, it's the Canadian dollar, so yeah, 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 yeah. I live in Oregon, and it's like $5.50. Took me 60 bucks to fill my car yesterday. I'm glad that I don't drive. I mean, there's many times where I'm glad I don't drive, but right now especially. Right now especially. $2, 2 euros a liter. Oh, Jesus. I'm a rascally clown. Electric vehicles, also electric vehicles, but then those are, like, not, like, popular enough to really be cheap outright themselves, so, yeah, I don't know. Ugh. 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 All right, I gotta, like, I gotta, I gotta, wait, what do I gotta do? What do I gotta do here? How many miles do I have? 1,200? Can I get the better tools recipe now, or is that something I can't get until later? I have to check that. Do you just bike? No, I just walk everywhere I need to go. Luckily, I'm in a place where I can just walk everywhere. Yo, thank you, Happy Mr. Pink, for the three months in a row. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. And enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad-free viewing. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I was up, big man. Better tools comes when you upgrade Nook's Cranny. Is that right? Let me check. Came in while Dagman was yawning and I thought he was screaming. No, I'm not screaming yet. Maybe later, though. Thank the president and the government for these great gas prices. So true? Um... I don't really know how much the president does, but, uh, you know, I guess. You can point the finger. Autumn the bottom. Thank you as well for the subscription. No, it's only just this. Oh, Nook Miles Plus only, so now I need the time travel to upgrade my house. Oh, I see, I see, I see. Autumn the bottom. Thanks so much for the tier one. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad-free viewing. I appreciate that very much. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, I'm ready, dude. And then we'll time travel to tomorrow. Probably about the same time away, in a different direction. I think the U.S. has a slightly better situation at the moment. I think we're still printing money, although I'm not sure. Well, we all know what printing money leads to. More money! <laughs> right? 
But if you put me in a car, I'll have a panic attack and I got my license somehow, but I will never drive in my life, I'm sure. Despite, like, not driving, I should also have my license because, you know, in a case where I need to drive, like, I don't know, this is a bit dramatic, but, like, if I need to drive someone to the hospital, I would really like to have my license, you know? I don't want to have to do that shit without, you know, the, the, the worry about, like, having to get pulled over. I don't know, though. Like, I would like to have it because anything could happen, but I don't think I would use it a whole lot. Inflation is predicted to be 10% at the end of the year. Yeah, I don't really know what that means. I know what inflation is, but like 10% to what? I could Uber to the hospital, but then like Uber has a big wait time, and then I don't really know how keen an Uber driver would be with like... Me bringing in, like, the, I don't know, like, I don't, what is it, bring someone to the hospital, they're, like, screaming, they're, like, about to give birth or something like that. <laughs> and I gotta, like, hey, get me to the hospital. I don't really know how they would, uh, uh, I don't really know how keen they would be on that. Why did I not change the date? They're used for hospital trips, just bring a puke bag? Oof. With no DL, what do you use for identification? Passport? I use an ID, man. I use a- I use an ID. Right? Like, hey, let me just bleed all over your seats real quick. Yeah, like, I don't- I don't know. I don't know. I guess I could call an ambulance. I guess that would probably be the solution, but either way. Does anyone know what to do with the turnip achievements? I still haven't gotten any, and I want to get the achievement. Yeah, you just gotta buy a bunch of turnips and then sell them for a profit, and then that'll start counting towards that. And I think the final one is 10 million. Yeah, and an ambulance is a lot of money, especially if you're uninsured. What's up, Alchemy? How are you doing? How is How much is it to call an ambulance? Depends on your insurance company. Um, I mean, it depends on a lot of factors. I think my insurance says, like, $400 for an ambulance trip. Which, honestly, I think is pretty cheap relative to, like, you know, how a lot of people's situations are. Insurance and distance to a hospital. Yeah, there's factors to it, but, like, on my card itself, I think it says ambulance is, like, $400 or something like that. Thanks for the hydrate. Mmm. 4000 for my friend when she had a seizure a few months ago. That's so awesome. Nothing like recovering from your illness and then being hit with a bill. So epic. So poggers, one might say. So poggers. Alright, I got plus now. Alright, and then I think I should get Miles just for having my house built. Yeah, there you go. Who thought that was reasonable? People who have money to be made, man. Some people don't call an ambulance because of that and can't get to the hospital. Yeah, it's actually kind of sad but like some people would rather just not get help because they just know how much of a financial burden it'll be on them you almost died and we saved your life now give us 100k yeah basically the materials the hospital was five minutes away too they charged her four thousand for a five minute drive i mean gas is pretty expensive and ambulance and gas suckers Unless I'm literally an unconscious- Unless I literally an unconscious di dying in an Uber, I'm Ubering to that ER. Yeah, I, I think I know what you mean. And so true. So true as well. Bro, the US is a fever dream. Pretty poggers. Even a night in the hospital costs a lot? Yeah, I mean... Oh. And when you think about it, it's basically a hotel, so I mean... I'm kidding, by the way. Um, can I buy the better tools? How much is that? I forget. I think it's like 3,000 something, man. It ain't cheap. As bad as the NHS is at the moment, it's one of the best things since sliced bread. There you go. I like sliced bread. Do you pay for a hospital stay if you get shot in the hospital? What a question. If you get shot in the hospital... Do you pay for your hospital stay if you get shot in the hospital? What an interesting question. I don't know. I don't know the answer to that. Sweet dreams. Thanks for the prime. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad-free viewing. I appreciate that very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate that. Sure. I don't think I need to build the shop, right? 
I live in Canada, I got a concussion three years ago, went to a hospital, only had to pay 50 bucks for the ambulance, and that was my only expense. That sounds really nice. That sounds really nice. Better hope the ER doctor is in network. Yeah, I heard that one before, yeah. Just sad to think how many people died just because they couldn't afford stuff like this. It makes me sick. Yeah, if you think about it too much, you'll just start crying. Yeah, someone got shot in the- I know where the question stemmed from. I'm just kind of wondering, yeah, how would that work out? How would that work out? How long does it take to edit a video? Days? Maybe weeks? Maybe more? Did I end off perfectly at 12,000? I did. Wow, look at that. Hey, um, so Animal Crossing, am I right? So true. So true. That's so true. I need nine... 100 and no i need 870 more so probably like three more achievements better hope they take your hospital covered by your insurance if you're unconscious yeah but like i don't think that they'll prioritize that i think that i i don't think that you're in control of that though i don't think so at least all right let's grab i think it's 50 weeds to get the first weed achievement Whee. Got home, happy home paradise today, having a lot of fun with it. Yo, let's go. Hell yeah. I thought they were having fun with it. I guess I could hit trees as well, and then make the axes that I use to hit the trees into big axes, like metal axes as well. Ooh, that's a good idea. God damn, I'm smart. Strange how British people be like, oh no, five pounds for TV during a hospital stay while Americans be remortgaging their whole ass house. Yeah, and the sad part is that you're not even, like, being that dramatic about it. Like, you're not- you're not even exaggerating that much. Like, that's just kind of- I think that people remortgaging their house to pay off medical expenses is definitely something that you see pretty often as well. Total playtime? God, I gotta be pushing, like, 2,000 hours now, right? 1630? Huh, actually not that bad. Well, not that bad, but it's still not good. 48, 49, 50. Weed picking gameplay. Yeah, you got a problem with it? If you don't love it, leave. If you don't love it, then that's fair. I have a lot of flaws in my character that you should probably not like me for. Ah, Barreled? What about Barreled, dude? I checked my hours recently. It was like 1,235. I was pissed I missed 1233. Well, luckily it only counts them in multiples of five, so don't beat yourself up about it. You would never have saw 1233. Hey, I have 420. Nice, dude! That's the weed number! That's so awesome. That's the goddamn weed number, dude. Yeah, I'm still in August. I'm still in August. Alright, and then... Give me a little bit of that. And then, probably make... I actually really don't think I need... Yeah, let's make two. Why not? 90k hours, JK, 300 something. Oh, okay. You really had me going there when you said 90,000. Like, let's be honest, are, has it even been hours since March 20th, 2020? 19,000 hours. I knew you were fooling me. I knew you were goofing on me. But now I got proof. I knew you were putting me through a ruse. But now, now I know. Now I have proof. Wait, is it not 50 weeds? Huh? I thought it was 50 weeds, man. Did I not sell the weeds? I'm a dumbass. I didn't sell the weeds yet. You can sell. Can't wait for summer to play more AC. Like summer break? When are y'all getting out of school? If you're not... I think that like the people who are still in school are people who are in like not university slash college. I think people who are in... uh lower education are still in school i mean i guess nook miles plus counts as well i thought it was oh no it is okay I'm, I'm, i was about to say i don't think i'm that stupid i graduated like two days ago interesting yeah like june was always when i got out of uh elementary and high school and then it was like may sometime in may was the exam season for college so i don't know i figure college students are probably out by now I get out on the 16th. Well, that's not bad, because then you're probably going back in, like, late summer, so I don't know. You get out late, but you hopefully go back late as well. 
234 hours in Phasmophobia. Yeah, people are trying to get me to play that, and I didn't really see the appeal too much. Catch an Earth Boring Dung Beetle. Well, there you go. I didn't even know I had to do that. All right, well, that's 3,000 there, so now we can get some axes. I'm going to sneeze. But I need iron! What am I doing? Hang on, hang on. Picked all my weeds yesterday at like 4 a.m. because I was bored. It's a good bored activity, honestly. Getting something productive done while you're bored. Thanks for the blast. I appreciate that. Thank you. All right, yeah, I gotta get some iron first. Just one. I don't think... Hey, I should only need one axe, right? Because I only need to cut down one tree. I am very surprised I haven't seen a paper kite butterfly yet. They... Oh, actually, now that I think about it, they might actually not start spawning yet. But I thought they did. I thought most butterflies started spawning at, like, 6 a.m. Maybe I'm wrong about that, though. I'm doing university course, and I just and I finished May 5th. Yeah, so some of y'all might have already been off for, like, a month now. I have my government exam for being a public school teacher in two weeks, and that's pretty cool, though. That's pretty cool. Study hard, I guess. Is it all day? Oh, yeah, I had to buy the thing first. Maybe it is all day. I actually have no idea. I mean, I definitely labeled it as being available. Oh, I have... I My, my split is at 12 p.m. I'm stupid. I'm stupid. So let's go to 12 p.m. Pretty good tools. Let's go to 12 p.m. After I make this axe here. It should be all day. That might also be why I'm... Well, I also need a Madagascan sunset moth during this time as well. So I'm gonna have to go to 12 p.m. anyway. You get out in June if you start in September. I mean, that's usually how it was for me. Just bought Switch Sports for $39.99. Got it on a sale. Isn't that the regular price? $40? bucks. It was the sale one cent off? I thought that $40 bucks was the normal price, but I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Middle of June, go back middle of August. But that's so short. That's the shortest break I ever damn seen. Oh, yeah, I need three wood as well. That's the shortest break I ever heard. Isn't it 60? No, I thought it was 40. I thought it was 40. No, I don't think it's full price. Three wood, please. Mmm, close. No, I thought it was 40, man. But maybe, I mean, I did buy the game. I remember buying the game. I remember being like, oh, 40 bucks is not full price. <laughs> is it 39.99 CAD? No, I don't, I'm not Canadian. Pretty homophobic to make schools go, to make students go to school in June. So true, so true. For students is six weeks. That's so short. Like, that's really short. Ours was at least two months. Because we would get out in August. And then we'd be back in early September. Sorry, not August, June. We'd get out in June. We'd be back in early September. So that's like two months. My city got out yesterday. Yeah, like, I think at the end of this week is a lot of kids' last week, right? I don't know. Anyway, um, sell that. We don't need it. <clears throat> Flimsy nets I should upgrade to regular nets. Sell that, sell that, sell that, and sell that. Probably don't need the stones anymore either, do we? Yeah. But in order to upgrade the nets, I'll need to get more iron. If I even want to upgrade the nets, I don't know if I will. Twitch Sports is $49.99 CAD. Yeah, so probably like $40 flat US, right? It's actually in stream, chilling while work. Thanks for great content. Yo, thank you for joining us. Thank you for joining us, Mo Moira's Sugar Baby. <clears throat> <clears throat> I lie. Nintendo.co.uk list says $30.99. There you go. There you go. I thought I was crazy. Y'all making me y'all make me think I was crazy now. Is it actually 8 a.m. to 7 p.m.? Not all day. It's all year, though. Yeah, so I was going to go to noon anyway here. Yo, Funky Kong. Thanks for the bits. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Went to a mystery island to try to force a bug to spawn, and it's raining on the island. It's unfortunate. Yeah, the weather on the islands is independent to the weather on your island, so yeah. Been trying to catch a mahi-mahi for the fast past few days and i think i'm about to go nuts yeah like mahi mahi among other fish will be 
Ooh, they're on a date. <laughs> what are you boys doing? I forgot to change the damn time again. I'm stupid. Um, that's one of them fish that'll definitely get your craw. If you don't get it just, like, through random chance. If you're, like, going out trying to get it, like, purposefully. I don't know. You might just stumble upon it at some point. But, yeah. I don't know. Good luck, man. Good luck. Pride Month celebration on Bug Island? I guess so. Physical seems to be 40. Well, the physical comes with, like, the, uh, the, 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 so, some, like, things, right? Any tips on catching very fast sea creatures? I always have trouble with them. It's really easy if you know how to do it. What you do is you, without pressing the A button, just moving the stick, you get to where you're almost right over the sea creature, and then you dive down. I think what you're probably doing if you're struggling is you're probably, like, swimming fastly towards them. And you're trying to, like, corner them. Yeah, without pressing A. So you're just moving the stick slowly, slowly, almost like, almost paddling towards the fish. And then, or the sea creature. And then you dive down when you're basically on top of it. And then from there, they'd have a hard time getting away from you. Or you could try corner them against the boundaries of the ocean. But I don't know if I'd recommend that so much as I would just try to use that method. How many bugs have I caught right now? Oh, I got more things. But I never used it. AC no deep sea diving is like so, such a pain in the ass. Honestly, I don't blame you. All right, one more bug until the Madagascan sunset moth begins to spawn. And then from there, we can get everything that we need during this time. And get everything that we need during this time. Which is only the paper kite butterfly and the... Oh, which one? I guess that one. And the Madagascan Sunset Moth. Alright, so now that should be able to start spawning. And after we get those two... I'm so sorry. After we get those two, we'll be good. Gonna use the very fast... Gonna use this for the very fast ones now. There you go. Hopefully it works for you. But that is the way to do it. You know, Manila is my favorite flavor of clam. That is pretty true, Bestie. That's pretty true. Why does Twitch censor LMAO? I swear, the least favorite, the less favorite website, but at least there's Dagnal. I don't, it censors LMAO. I don't know, because it has ass in it. I don't think it, I think if you go into your settings and you make it so that, like, it doesn't, you can make it so that it doesn't censor words, but I don't know. I never heard it censoring LMAO before. That's a new one to me. That's a new one to me. You can turn it off. Yeah, you like you can turn it off in your personal settings, but yeah. Hey, what's up, big man? How you doing? I am. You want to give me some iron, please? You're a fucking legend, you know that? You're a goddamn legend. You are simply put, now I can upgrade my freaking... Wow, you are a fucking god. I love you. I've seen much worse on Twitch. Oh, yeah, like the uh, gambling that's being promoted to underage viewers using cryptocurrency by, you know, streamers with 100,000 plus viewers at any given time. Yeah, I've seen much worse on Twitch as well. Trust me when I say there's a lot of reasons to hate this website. The fact that it censors LMAO is hardly the worst. Of it. That's a snake dub right there, dude. That's the man. Dagnal is the best streamer on Twitch. Pretty true. Many people are saying this. Pretty sure I'm a softie anyways. Won't play AC at night in the summer due to tarantulas and scorpions, even though they don't ca attack if you don't have a net. I also don't tend to shake trees. Fruit trees I do shake, though, due to bees. Someone needs to desperately help me. A tarantula outside the museum in Wild World cursed me for life. Well, I'm sorry to say, unfortunately, nobody can catch those for you. You want to give me some iron, too? Yeah. You wanna give me some... Fuck you. Although, what is that? A shovel? Is that a shovel? I mean, a shovel... No, that's a stone axe. I don't need a stone axe. Oh, you suck. You're the worst. I've seen so many people in Twitch chat with friggin... Yeah. Yeah, definitely on the bigger streams you'll see like a lot of... monka s type chatters as well. I don't know. I don't know. Twitch has a lot of problems, man. 
He played Punch Out before. Um, yeah, I played the original. I think I actually played it briefly on the uh, on the SNES. Well, I don't have it on here, but the SNES like Virtual Console thing on here. I played the uh, I played the Punch Out that's available on there. I never played the Wii one though. I really like the Wii Punch Out, but I never actually played it. We can't shame. We can't hire Flick to catch for you. Yeah, unfortunately, also, tarantulas, scorpions, and wasps won't spawn when other people are over at your island, so they can't even help you either. It's completely on you to get those and donate them to your museum. It's completely on you, I'm afraid. So, sorry to report. I got Wii Punch-Out on Homebrew. It's a really fun game. Yeah, like, the Wii one looks really fun, and it looks good as well. Like, I really just like how animated the characters are, even if they're a little stereotypical. But either way. Like, literally... I don't know. I don't know how we feel about this. Um, but, yeah. Some of the characters in Punch-Out are a little, uh... Excessively stereotypical from where they're from. For example, in the original Punch-Out, Soda Popinski was uh, Vodka Drunkinski, I believe. And he's from Russia. Um, what are some other ones? What are, what are some other good ones? I think there's, uh, there's that Canadian one who's like, he drinks maple syrup and that's like how he powers up. And he's like called Big Bear. He's this big guy in over, big hairy guy in overalls. Yeah, so, you know, a little, a little culturally insensitive. What's up, Dazed Woozy? How are you doing? Welcome. There's a pic on Google Images with a coconut crab on a trash can. I still have nightmares about it. I mean, those things, from what people tell me, are pretty damn scary. I wish they had the tutorial music during the rest of the game. It gives me lockdown vibes. I don't know, man. I... I go back and forth between whether I like this music or whether I like the hourly music. You know what I like about this music is not actually the music in itself. It's because it allows me to hear the actual game a little bit better. Like, I can hear the actual environment a lot better when I have the tutorial music here. I love the game's sound effects. I love the sound of, like, the wind, the, the footsteps, and the actual nature of the game. And this music allows me to hear it more easily. I don't know if I like the music itself, but I do like how much it allows the game's, like, really good sound design to come out a little bit easier. As opposed to the comparative, comparatively loud hourly music after you get done with the tutorial. Hey, dickhead. Hey, dickhead. Hey, hey, you dickhead. Please. I'm, you're embarrassing me. You know what happens to people who embarrass me, right? What's up, Penguin Lord? How are you doing? I wish we could turn it off. Yeah, or turn it off or be able to choose music from different games. That'd be nice. At first, I thought the only music that would be in the game. Yeah, I mean, I... I was worried about that as well, as well, but then it was revealed that after you complete the tutorial, you get the hourly music. And I was a little bit relieved, but then the hourly music ended up not being that good. But either way. You know what I need to do, actually? I'm stupid. I need to go get some flowers and plant them in order to get a paper kite butterfly and a Madagascan sunset moth to spawn. So, I'm just, like, chasing after bugs that I can't even catch right now. Alright, well, let me go do that, then. 5 a.m. superior. There's a lot of good tracks in this game. I mean, I guess I'm, I'm grinding up bugs so I can meet the total catch requirement for the giraffe stag later on, but... So it's not completely useless, but I'm definitely not able to... Definitely not able to get a paper kite or a Madagascan sunset moth right now. Stop dissing my hourly music? What, this game's hourly music? I don't know. It's fine. It's just not as good as older games. Uh, sure. Red mums. Five of those, and then we'll drop five. Oh, yeah, I'm just carrying too many things. Let's do five on one side of the island and five on another. I'll ask for the last time. After that, I'll give up. Okay. The what anemone theme did you use on your 3DS? And does your streaming software require a new 3DS to slash 2DS? Uh, I don't remember what the theme is called. It's just a new leaf theme. And second of all, yes, I think the way that I did it requires a new 3DS. XL. 
Maybe not an XL, but a new 3DS for sure at the very least. Sorry for missing your comment earlier. What uh, game hourly music do you think is best? Animal Crossing GameCube. Not even close. 2 a.m. music in GameCube. It's immaculate. It's simply put, it's immaculate. Time travel to 5 a.m. just to hear the music and see the pretty sky and the vibe. I do really like the like green sky that you get during that time for sure. You should stream Clue. It's so fun. Isn't there? There's probably been like many instances of a Clue game. Which one are you talking about specifically? Like for the Switch? Is there a cute Clue for the Switch? I don't know. Maybe. I do need some more, like, fun games to play that I don't take too seriously. Kind of like Family Feud for the Switch as well. Just something where if I have no ideas what I want to do today, play some damn Clue or some damn Family Feud. Sounds good to me. It's actually so peaceful to hear the 5 a.m. though. It is nice. It is nice. Yes, there is one for the Switch. Interesting. Well, if that's the case, then... I can look into it. How much does it cost, and is it any good? It's very well made. Well, that's good to see. It's not just a cash grab taking off the... You know, it doesn't just take on the name of a very popular... Oh, I do have flowers planted already. I just haven't grown them yet. All right, well, well. It, it's not just taking on the name of a very popular board game just to get some cheap, easy bucks. It's good to see that it's at least well made. Drop these right here. And let's go, like, four days ahead. Happy 4th of June from the Netherlands, just past midnight here. Damn, it is already the 3rd here, isn't it? Oof. Anyway, happy, uh, midnight. Happy, happy 4th of June. I might invert my AM, PM so I can hear the music I never get to listen to. Yeah, honestly, like, go for it. Be the best way of doing it. Better than waking up at 7 AM, that's for sure. Better than waking up at 7 AM. I think I paid 40 bucks, so that included the DLC with all the extra locations and characters. Wait, for Clue? Wait, wait, wait. How complicated is this Clue game now? $40 and that included the DLC with the extra locations and characters? For Clue? You're talking about that? You're okay. We're talking about that game where... You have to deduce the killer, the weapon, and what room that they did it in. We are talking about that, right? Clue isn't like this other thing that I've never heard of, right? Like, how how many characters and locations do you need? It's very easy to play. Well, yeah, it's just deduction, right? What website app do you use to play hourly music? It's a extension for Google Chrome called Nook, but I'm sure it's probably on Mozilla or Opera, whatever browser you use as well. 40 bucks for Switch Monopoly. Is Switch Monopoly any good? That sounds kind of fog. Although Monopoly is one of those games that like is fun if you don't follow the rules. Like Monopoly is, is fun when you get to bend the rules. I feel like the, 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 the constraint that an actual game that is programmed to follow the rules might not be as fun as, like, playing with your boys, you know, where you can bend the rules. Just like real capitalism. Bend the rules for the rich. Yeah, everyone has their own Monopoly rules because, I mean, they're so convoluted from what I understand that, like, it's impossible to follow the rules regularly, you know? But I don't know. Slime Rancher? I've heard of Slime Rancher. I cheat? I don't cheat, Monopoly. I'm just better. Don't be bitter. Be better. I love Monopoly on Super Nintendo. Damn, Super Nintendo really out here with the processing power to balance all the rules of Monopoly. That's incredible. What an incredible console. And the game lets you change the rules? Does it? Okay. Jackbox and Forager are both so much fun. Yeah, Jackbox is, like, fun... <laughs> this is gonna sound like I'm, like, highbrow here, but Jackbox is fun if you're the kind of person <clears throat> to laugh at someone who just puts cum at every answer. Which is why I don't think I'd ever play it on stream, because that's all you MFers would do, is you just put, like, cum as every answer, and then I'd have to, like, pretend that it's funny. But, I don't know. That's probably why I'll never play Jackbox. 
Do you expect to finish tonight? I think so. We're only an hour in, and we already made decent progress. Um, the only real barrier we still need is to get to 100 bugs to be able to have the giraffe stag spawn. But, I don't know. We're already, like, over 30, I think, so maybe not so bad. It's just Quiplash, though. Trivia Murder Party is also really fun. That's true. I guess the ones where you have to fill in an answer are the only ones that really fit that, you know, anecdote, but still. I don't know. I never really got too much into Jackbox. I've been in people's streams when they're playing as, like, a member of the audience, and it's fun, but I don't know if I'd ever want to host it myself, you know? I don't know. Seems like, uh... I don't know. I'm always, like... I'm always, like excessively don't scare that away I'm always like excessively anxious when like hosting games because i'm like oh man gotta make sure everything's right you know even if the game does most of the work but still i don't want streamability eh. streamability but hidden in plain sight is our favorite party game so simple and fun i've never heard of it before i've never heard of it before yeah, okay, so we played Gardic Phone in the Discord. I actually had pretty good fun with Gardic Phone. Um, I don't, but again, like, I just don't know if I play it on stream. If I could play with, like, other streamers with who the audience is familiar with, then maybe. But I don't know if, like, just with random people, because it's more fun when you know who makes the drawings, you know? It's more fun when, like, you could be like, oh, that's classic Diagonal, he drew a fucking cock, you know? Yo, Nebula, thanks for the Prime. Happy I appreciate months. that. And Dynology, thanks for the five months in a row. I appreciate that. I'm not updating the numbers. I'm not catching anything new. Thank you both so much for the subscriptions. I appreciate that. And enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad-free viewing. I appreciate that. Thank you. Yeah, the game nights on Discord are pretty fun. Because you know, like, the kinds of people that you're playing with. You know... You know what kind of silly antics they're getting up to. Because you just know those, you know those kinds of people that you're playing with. I don't know. But if, like, a stream group ever said, Hey, you want to play Gardic Phone or Jackbox with us? I'd be like, okay, sure. Because you guys probably would know who I'm playing with, more or less. If you watch other Animal Crossing streamers. I found you on YouTube and I love your videos. Thank you, Nebula. And thank you so much for the subscription again. I appreciate that. Thank you. What about some artists, too? What do you mean, some artists? Can you track the number of bugs you caught with the Nook Miles challenges? Yeah, that's how I'm doing it. You can also tell by when your nets break, because these nets have 20 durability, flimsy ones have 10, so I guess you could use that. If you really want to big brain it, but it's right there, so you don't have to. 54. Which means that we're halfway to getting the giraffe stag to spawn, and we should have the paper kite butterfly and the Madagascan sunset moth eligible to spawn now. What's up, Just Johnny? How are you doing? Welcome, welcome. Yet, I'm not getting either of those to spawn. Unfortunate. I would be up for Gardic Phone if you were looking for artist. Isn't everybody the artist in Gardic Phone at some point? I don't know. That's how I thought it worked. Maybe I'm wrong, though. I, I thought that... I thought that Gardic Phone was about, like, help... I thought that Gardic Phone was about, like, giving a prompt, and then somebody has to draw that prompt. And that, then that drawing gets passed on to someone, and they have to guess what that prompt was that they ended up drawing for that. And it kind of turns into that game like Telephone, where you got this line, you got this, like, circle of kids. I remember playing this as a kid. It's kind of like where you, like, gathered around in a circle as a kid, and you tell the first kid in the circle a sentence, and then they have to tell that sentence to the next kid, to the next kid, then the next kid. And then, of course, across the way, miscommunication happens, and by the time you get around to the other end of the circle, the sentence is completely different. That's kind of like what Gardic Phone is, except it's with, you know, drawings. Big Lemon Wedge, thanks for the two months in a row. I appreciate that as well. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. And enjoy your emotes. Enjoy your ad free viewing. Is that just called telephone? Yeah. We call that st style post? Style post. Interesting. Yeah, I think that's called telephone. <clears throat> and then I guess that's where the name Gardic Phone comes from. I don't know what Gardic means, but maybe something to do with drawings. I don't know. Glunk. I thought it was, that was Chinese Whispers, but I don't know if that's correct anymore. Yeah, I don't know if you'd get away with calling it Chinese Whispers, although I've never heard of that one myself. Yeah, I don't know if you get away with that one anymore. Translates to Silent Male. Oh, okay. 
okay. Guess that kind of makes sense then. Hey, what's up, Big G? How you doing? Hey, Big Man! Long Man. Who knew the Great Statue in New Leaf has a fake version? Which one's the Great Statue? Ottawa had a really bad tornado and left me without power for seven days last week. Some people are expected to be without power for three weeks. We're on well water system, meaning no power equals no running water. So no running water for seven days either. That's horrible. And in Ottawa as well. Why haven't I heard more about this? That's a big city. That sucks though, man. I remember we got hit with a hurricane when I lived in North Carolina that put us without power for like... I think it was close to a week, if I remember right, and I, like, legit just hung out at the laundromat across the street where they did have power to charge all my shit. I basically just lived at a laundromat for, like, three, four days. It was pretty horrible. It was, uh, not fun. I've awoken from the stream. Welcome. And it's only shortly past midnight. Well, there you go. Sounds like you're on a healthy sleep schedule. Place bugs and fish everywhere to get my island to five stars. I have plenty of bridges, inclines, trees, and flowers. Yeah, you can do that. That's what I did in the uh, Golden Tools speedrun video that I made. I think that's what I just did. Just put all the bugs and fish that I caught. Down. Thanks for the hydrate. Huh? We had a Category 5 hurricane five years ago, and we had no power for three months. Are you, like, you, you just one-upping them, man? I mean, that sucks, don't get me wrong, but don't act like their story is not still severe in its own right, just because you had a better or a worse experience, I suppose. <clears throat> About 11 years ago, I stayed with my cousins. There was terrible storms, so we would go... We would go to the public pool, a shower and stuff, since there was no running water. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if I've been through, like, a... I don't know, like, the, the worst natural disaster i ever been through, I guess, was that hurricane. But, I don't know. All things considered, I've been pretty lucky with not having to live through anything super severe. Like a tornado or something like that. New Horizons has development and scenery points for the star rating system. Yeah, two separate categories that determine your star rating. Just needlessly complicated compared to previous games, but that's how it is. That's how it is. Uh, Glink? How does North America have such bad storms? In the UK, you'll probably lose a bin or maybe your fence panel. I mean, I think there is, like, a meteorological explanation to it. Of course, Florida is off the coast of the Gulf of Mexico, where there's a lot of hurricanes come through. Um, in the UK, like, you guys don't- you guys really only get, like, the remnants of our hurricanes, because that's kind of the path that they follow. They start in the Gulf of Mexico, and then they work their way through the Atlantic, and then they- Usually will dissipate by the time they get to the UK over there, but sometimes you'll get the remnants of our storms Which get pushed pushed onto your coast Which is why like you know you that you guys don't get hurricanes because you're just not in that part of the world where They happen. I don't know for whatever reason Meteorologically, I don't know why it happens that way, but that is how it works. Sad Jess. Thanks for the 1000 bits. That is amazing Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you, thank you. Enjoy your... Wait, no, not your emotes and your ad feed viewing, but thank you so much for the 1,000 bits. I appreciate that. Thank you. Yeah, and earthquakes as well. That's the best way to get a five-star island? I don't know, man. There's a lot of good ways, I think. I'm not a meteorologist. I just... I... I, I think if I went back to college, I would study something in meteorology or earth science because I do find the enjoyment in stuff like that. But could I give you the actual meteorological explanation as to why that happens? No. To be honest with you, I couldn't. I just know that it happens. Always be the naders in the Midwest. Yeah, and then the Tornado Alley in the Midwest. Like, you don't get those in Europe. I don't think you get tornadoes very often in, like, Europe. For one reason or another. But, you know, you guys get your own things. Like, 300 days a year of overcast weather, clinical depression, and binge drinking addictions. So, I guess it kind of balances out. And then over here in California, we get earthquakes. Because we're sitting right on top of the San Andreas Fault. That one's pretty self-explanatory, though. That sums up Europe. Yeah, it's a wonderful place to live, I hear. I should head to bed now. It's really late. See you. Have a good night. Enjoy your sleep. Help. <laughs>
near the Gulf, and every summer there's a chance of hurricanes and tornadoes. Yeah, and then of course, hurricanes can spawn tornadoes, so it's kind of like, oh, jeez. You have a link to your Discord. There you go. Yarpbot's got you covered. I've ever heard someone caution to not one-up another person's experience. Thank you for, for, for preserving that person's dignity. Oh, no, no problem. I hate when people do that. Where they'll like, they need to, they need so much validation in their lives that after somebody tells a, a, a story or an experience, they'll be like, huh, well, that's nothing compared to this one time that I, and then they'll like, you know, rattle off their experience. You can do it in a way that's not like one-upping, but if you're like, huh, that's nothing, and then you start talking about your experience, that's just like, it's just conversational, it talks, you know? When people do that. I hate when it happens to me, and I don't like seeing it, you know? I live in the UK. Confirm that Europe is pretty good? Yeah, probably. Anyone ever reinforce that boundary? There you go. I went to school. Yeah, 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 yeah. The classic, uh, oh, you think your life's bad? I went to school uphill, both ways, in the snow. And it's like, okay, man, just because you had to deal with that doesn't mean my problems are invalid. You know, in a blizzard, yeah. And then, and then, like, if that's, like, your dad saying that, and then his dad comes in and he says, that's nothing. I had to go through an active war zone uphill both ways in the snow in an active volcano. Yeah, so, you know, there you go. Everyone, Everyone's life is so much harder than everyone else's, yada yada yada. Feel bad for me. Basically. Just join your Discord, thank you. These kids have it easy. We never had snow days. As if it's like the kids' fucking fault that they have snow days. Yeah. Welcome to- Welcome to the Salty Spittoon, how tough are ya? How tough am I? Wait, how tough am I? You got a new bottle of ketchup? Sure. It's on! First time catching the stream? Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well today. Ooh, that was fast as fuck, boy. Sharing stories and there's people trying to steal the spotlight. And for what reason? For people to feel bad for them? I don't know. It's kind of weird. I don't know. You know, I should just make the nets. I got so many sticks. I don't know what I'm... Might as well. I know it'll take more time, but whatever. Just get the sticks out of my inventory. Mm -hmm. Gotta pay for the inventory expansion? I don't have to. I don't have to. Made some frozen hot chocolate. Are you talking... That's just chocolate milk, man. If you froze your hot chocolate, it's no longer hot chocolate. It's just it's just frozen chocolate, which I guess is just frozen chocolate milk at that point. I had a bowl of nails for breakfast. <laughs> yeah? Without any milk. Oh, right this way, sir. The Hawaiian shirt, I'd totally wear that IRL. It is pretty good, right? It is pretty good. Nah, is different than chocolate milk? No, I don't think so, man. I don't think so. I think that hot chocolate is just chocolate milk that's hot, and then chocolate milk is hot chocolate that's cold. And then, but you froze it, so yours is like, you're you're just off the fucking, you're Thrillville off the rails over there, man. Frozen slash iced hot chocolate and chocolate milk are very different and two totally valid drinks. I don't think they're any different, man. Like, when they want me to make hot chocolate, they tell me to put this powder in with some milk, and then that's how you get hot chocolate. And you know what chocolate milk is? It's chocolate and milk. It's the same thing. It's, it's all the same thing. It's this big fucking conspiracy. It's all just the same damn thing. Frozen hot chocolate is chocolate ice cream. That's pretty true now. That's pretty true. Polar opposite of flannels? Are they the polar opposite of flannels? I guess flannels are like cold weather, right? Notoriously Canadian attire. Frozen hot chocolate exists. I guess so, man. I guess so. Is white chocolate milk just regular milk? Yeah, yeah, yeah. White chocolate milk is just regular 2% milk. I mean, when they asked me in school, like, what do you want? Chocolate milk or white milk? I mean, you would say, like, white milk, right? So, yeah. Kind of. It's not the opposite of a flannel. They're both for gay people. Hey, man. I have a flannel next to me. I guess it is Pride Month, though. 
I haven't seen a paper kite butterfly, which is kind of blowing my mind. It's not that rare. Now, Madagascan Sunset Moth, that doesn't necessarily surprise me, but a paper kite butterfly, and I hadn't even seen one? It's not that rare, man. Like, don't make me have to fucking deforest this entire island. I will do it. You don't want to see me do it. I will do it. Okay? It's not going to be pretty. What's up, Black Sparrow? How are you doing? Although, maybe with my axes, I could probably at least deforest all the accessible land right now. I don't know, though. I don't know. Hope. I wish I had Pride Month merchandise, but my family is homophobic. I'm sorry to hear that. I luckily don't live in an environment like that. So, I hope it gets better for you, though. I hope it gets better for you. Flannels are notoriously for the LGBTQ+. Are they? I don't know. I don't... I, I have never made that association in my life, personally. I thought that they were more of, like, a... Honestly, for me, like, the, the, the symbol of, like, a... A, the, a flannel would like symbolize like a like a a, a lumber a lumberjack. Like usually they'd be wearing like the they of course have the big beards the 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 red and black plaid shirt with my red and black lumberjack with the hat to match. You know, like I always kind of associate it with that. DiagonalOnDeforestation.com, this you? No, that's the EPA.gov. What are you talking about? Because a lot of queers wear flannels and then switch to Hawaiian shirts when it gets warmer. I guess I learned something that I had never heard of that before. Never heard of that before. Blink. Flannels were emo in my day. There you go. Flannels were emo. Yeah, I guess I can remember that as well. Or grunge. Yeah, maybe. I refuse to believe how uncommon the paper kite butterfly is for you. Yeah, what's up with this, man? Like, I'm not getting to the point where, like, it's, like, ridiculous, but it's kind of a little weird. I haven't even seen one yet, now that I actually got flowers on my island. Madagascan Sunset Moth, you know, whatever. That thing's pretty rare. And I think that's 100 bugs right there. I think it's 100 bugs, right? Okay, so every bug's total catch requirement has now been fulfilled. So, now everything can spawn if I provide an environment for which it to spawn. So, nothing should be... There should be no excuse for Paper Kite Butterfly, which doesn't even have a total catch requirement, and a Madagascan Sunset Moth, which was only 20. So, I don't know. We're going strong, yeah. It's going alright. I just kind of... I, I wanted to get the, uh... I wanted to get the, uh... Mudda fucking... I wanted to get the motherfucking uh, Paper Kite and Madagascan Sunset Moth right now. But, if the game does not want that to happen, well then let's, uh, let's do ourselves a favor. Might as well. And also, this will help me get the Rosalia Batessi Beetle. Is just uncommon? I didn't, I've never even really found it to be that uncommon. I have found the Madagascan Sunset Moth to be very uncommon during certain times, but, uh... Oh, bad one. But not... Not a, a goddamn paper kite butterfly. I've never had trouble getting that, so. They're real? I have dozens daily? They're rare? You? Oh, yeah, I was about to say, are they real? Yeah, I think they're real. But are they rare? Yeah, no, I don't think so. I don't think so. Like, I guess, by definition, an orchid mantis up there is rare, but there we go. There's one right there. But, you know, it's worth a decent amount, so I guess it might be a little bit rare. Listening in podcast mode. Thanks for the distraction. Oh, you're very welcome. I hope your migraine subsides soon. Yeah, you don't like that, Mantis, huh? Need to think before I end up sending something. ISTG? Hmm? Just curious what that irritating bug introduced that you have to dig up. Talking about the Mole Cricket. The Mole Cricket's been in every game, I think. That was not introduced in New Horizons. I think that was introduced in GameCube all the way back. I do wish that at some point they would have made it a little bit less annoying, but either way. And Mantis was just vibing and you spooked it? Dude, look up a video of Mantises decapitating their their mates and then eating their head, okay? Those are not something that I really care about their comfort, okay? Now, anything that decapitates something else and then eats their remains, you could say I lose a little bit of sympathy for them. 
I feel like every save file picks a random bug and fish and makes it rare on your particular island. It does feel that way, doesn't it? It does feel that way. But we're not even to, like, ridiculous extents yet to where I feel like the game is cursing me. Maybe at some point, though. Maybe at some point, though. We'll see. But not yet. And, I mean, that is just how random chance works, I guess, so... Oh, yeah, I got that stone axe. But you can't turn stone axes into good axes, so... Just fucking useless completely. Would planting more flowers help? Potentially, but... You'll never eliminate all the things that can spawn, because things just spawn on the ground, things just spawn in the air without the need of flowers, so... Yeah, you're not gonna eliminate everything that can spawn, but you can chop down the trees and help your cause at least a little bit. All right, I guess let's do a quick round and see if the uh, Rosalia Batessi beetle spawns. Of the three things that spawn on tree stumps in this game, it's definitely the rarest of the three, so that one might take me a while as well. That one might take me a while as well, but uh, I don't know. We'll see. Let's grab three wood to make an axe. One more, there we go. So sad seeing the axe break. I know, I know. But, you know, pretty run-of-the-mill for tools in this game. I left for a few minutes. What did I miss? Oh, just doing a little deforestation because I can't find the, uh... Because I can't find the Madagascan Sunset Moth or the Paper Kite Butterfly. Why is Tommy so cute? Yeah, but how about I introduce you to Timmy, who's objectively cuter. Serious question. He's alright, man. He's alright. He's okay. You might find him more endearing because he's kind of the uh, lesser appreciated of the two twins. Like, Timmy is the one that's kind of like on the inside, actually functional, sells things to you, buys things from you. So I feel like you might feel bad. You might pity. You might pity Tommy in a little, a little bit. You might find him cuter because of that because he's, you know, kind of the lesser appreciated one of the two. But, I mean, come on. I like that you call them rats. I mean, they just are. Rat-like behavior. Don't pin them against each other. I'm not pinning them against each other. That's how the game was made. One is just functionally more useful than the other. And if the game... The, the, that's just what the game decided. They're like, okay, Tommy? Fucking useless. Timmy? My savior. Savior of humanity. They're just clones of each other. They are literally clones. They literally share the exact same model. Um, I think by the games, uh, the games actually just, I, I think that they are literally just duplicates of each other. Like the game literally reads it as such, which is kind of cool. Tommy is just as useless as I am. Yeah, maybe you find like a level of endearment from the uselessness of them. I don't know. It's okay to be useless. Sure, sure. You're valid. You're valid. Debating between crocheting and working on school. Been awake for 18 plus hours. Uh, you should go to sleep, man. You should go to sleep. Uh, let me add a third option to that. Uh, go to sleep. If you've been awake for 18 hours, that's like, that's about prime time to start hitting the sack if you ask me, man. Take a nap? Like, don't take a nap. Take a whole ass sleep. 18 hours, man. Like, that that's a long time to have been awake. You need more than a nap. You need to get your ass to bed. That's what you need to do. Alright. So now let's look for a Rosalia Batessi beetle. After we get that, then we can dig up all the stumps, which shouldn't take too long. Shouldn't take too long. Just as long as it took to cut them all down. Of course, I can't access the parts of the... I can't access all parts of the island yet, so we'll just have to deal with what we can get over on the main part here. 6 a.m., work from 8, school from 12 to 17, and now we're here. So you, you get up at 6 a.m., and then you're in bed by... Or you're out from all your obligations at 5 p.m. And that gives you what? Like, if you want to get 8 hours of sleep, that gives you, like, maybe 4 hours with which to uh, do things. It's kind of a rough schedule. You could buy a swimsuit? I could, but I still can't access the, uh, the upper cliff, so I can't make it so that nothing, that I, nothing but what I need to can spawn, but I guess we could do that. I don't know how worth my time it would be, though. Well, those weeds, what could you do with them? I mean, nothing that would help the speedrun, but a trick that I learned, if you were looking to get five stars, is to 
clean up the weeds and then make them into hay beds, and that's really good for star rating. So you could do that if you're looking to get five stars easily, but not really a goal of mine here. Because of strikes, I got home at 19, aka two hour travel instead of one usually. Mm. That's unfortunate, man. And I hate to say, like, you should just go to bed because, like, you're like, well, if I go to bed, then my entire day was spent doing nothing but, like, doing work and getting ready for work. And then, like, I don't know, man, I've been there. When I worked 12 hours, it was the most depressing thing because I would get up. I worked from 7.30 p.m. to 7.30 a.m. So what I would do is I would get up around, like, 6 o'clock, 5.30, 6 o'clock, and then, of course, spend time getting ready for work go to work for 12 hours and then come home and I would immediately go to bed because I was so exhausted from my day at work. 12 hours of working in a factory. And it sucked. It's like literally a mental health complete rut. Because your entire day is spent around either at work or getting ready for work. And then after you get home from work, then you're immediately going to sleep. Eating and then maybe going to sleep. Your entire day revolves around work. It's horrible. Can't, can't not recommend 12-hour shifts enough. They are horrible, especially overnights. You get out and it's 7 in the morning. You have to go to bed when the sun is up, and then you wake up as the sun is going down. Literally the most depressing thing that one could ever fathom. It's horrible. I'm working 7 to 5 right now. I'm not far from it. See, Tenna, a lot of people are like, I would rather work four 10-hour shifts a week than five eight-hour shifts a week. And there might be some truth to that. To be honest with you, I'd have to do both of them to really see which one I would prefer. To really give it a fair shake. But honestly, dude, I think people are overestimating how much that extra two hours does to somebody. I really do feel like people underestimate that. You get another day off in the working week, but I don't know, at the cost of two extra hours out of four days of your week? I don't know, man. I don't know. Can, I guess it depends on what you do and how productive you can make those last two hours. But I don't know. I don't know, man. It's kind of tough. I, I don't know if I could ever... I'm so thankful, yet so, I don't know, cautiously optimistic that YouTube has provided a means for which I can... I don't have to work a normal job. I can get out of that corporate slavery. However, if YouTube and Twitch ever falls through and I have to go back to that, I think I will never mentally recover from the transition of having to go from making my own hours, doing something that I like doing, going back to the corporate world. I think it'll put me in a mental state that I don't know if I'll ever be able to recover from, at least not for a long time. So that's why I get dreams so much of like, I, I get dreams so much of like going back to work. Like, working an old job. And there's always this overlooming over sense of dread in that. Because I'm like, fuck, how did I get back here? I'm like, shit, dude, I'm back here? Back at this fucking place? What went wrong? Because literally, like, I, shit would have to go wrong in order for that to happen, man. I'm not... I don't know if I'm expecting YouTube and Twitch to provide me with, you know... Uh, to be able to live off of it for the rest of my life. I'm really hoping so, though, because I cannot imagine ever going back to, like, an actual job, man. I don't know if I can do it. I just, mentally, it would be such a hurdle for me after being, doing this for, like, over a year now. Like, it's only a year as well. Imagine the people who are, like, doing this shit for, like, 10 years, and then eventually they have to go back and do real jobs, right? You've been working for yourself for 10 years, and now you have to go back to the working world? Oh my god, forget it, dude. That is assuming in those 10 years you didn't make enough to, like, live off of for the rest of your life, which a lot of people have, and good for them. It's a pretty sick deal. Wouldn't it be depressing, though? I'm just, I'm, de I'm depressed just thinking about it, for God's sakes. Hey. Just woke up and had to go into an overnight tonight. Yo, I so wish you luck on your stream. overnight. I hope it goes well for you. Um, yeah. Either way, thanks for the five months in a row. I'm going to be waking up with your stream. Well, hopefully it's a good wake up. Uh, hopefully it's a good wake up. Thanks for the five months in a row, though. I appreciate that. Thank you. Using Twitch as a side hustle? Yeah, like a lot of people treat it as like a side hustle when they work their other job. And that's good. 
It actually sounds kind of weird, but a lot of people might argue that having Twitch and YouTube being a side hustle um, that's secondary to your actual job is actually kind of a sweet deal, you know? As opposed to being able to do both of them full-time like I do. Because if they ever fall through, oh well, you got your other, you, you got your main job to still rely on, you know? I don't know. Something that happened to ruin their career, there will always be a fan base there as long as there's video games. And it's true, but there's a lot more factors than just having, you know, running out of video games to play, you know? It's more, or running, or, you know, people getting bored of them. Maybe they just stop wanting to do it, you know? Maybe they just don't want to do it anymore. Maybe they don't, they don't want to do YouTube or Twitch anymore, and they're unfortunately in a position where they have to keep doing it, you know? Because money. Hate my day job, but playing video games on the internet is pretty chill. It is pretty chill. Like, to say that I don't like my job is absolutely a lie. I do like doing what I do. Will I like doing what I do five years from now? I don't know, man. I don't know what I'll... I don't even know anything about where I'll be from five years from now. I'll be in my damn 30s. Either long time or ever. I'm just having fun that counts. Exactly. And that's the best part of it for most people. Not to the point where you can do it full-time, but as a way of earning a little extra money and having fun doing it. Yeah, pretty sweet. Pretty sweet deal. Thing is that Twitch isn't just video games anymore? No, of course not. YouTube never was. Twitch isn't really anymore. So if you get tired of video games, you could try other things. But... Not everyone will want to follow you if you switch to something that you're not known for doing. You get what I mean? You ever have a content creator go from one video game to another, and then you're not really into that video game that they go to, and so you stop watching them? So sure, if you get tired of a video game, you could switch to things that are not video games, or not the video game that you're known for. Because on Twitch you can do that, and on YouTube you can do that, but you can't always promise that people will follow you. Like, for example, I play Animal Crossing. What if I start becoming a damn Minecraft YouTuber? How many of you would follow me over to there? I don't know. Maybe a decent amount of you because, I mean, Minecraft is so popular. So, you know, there's a at least a vague interest in, you know, that game. But I don't know. What if I... Okay, maybe as a better example. What if I became a, a Madden? What if I became a Madden streamer? Hmm? Yeah, ooh, yeah, I'd still follow you. No, you wouldn't. Shut the fuck up. No, 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 you wouldn't. All right? That's just what I'm saying. So even if I became passionate about another video game, I can't promise that you guys would share the same passion and therefore follow me over there. So... I would? Yeah, okay, man. I'd literally watch you eat cereal. I promise you it's not that interesting. It's not that interesting, man. Like, you might think, uh, there's people out there, and I, I want to call them fucking liars, because I really have a hard time believing that they would actually watch me do anything. But there's people out there that be like, I watch you no matter what you do, and I'm like, don't lie to me. You would not watch me play chess. You wouldn't. It, I would not be entertaining. You wouldn't enjoy it. It would not be good. Not until I found my stride, at least. But no, you wouldn't. Don't lie to me. Don't lie to me. Oh, I watched the Queen's Gambit one time. Shut up! You don't know shit! I don't know shit. I need my background noise? Okay. Yeah, there's no shortage of that, though, you know? If I lay if I leave the platform, you'll just find someone else. But... Okay. No, I'm alright. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. She starts grabbing for my wallet as she says she's going to Costco. She's like, is that okay? You already got it in your damn hand. But, uh, but, uh what? Yeah, what about him? Well, yeah, because that's not what they're known for. Chess with your commentary would be entertaining? It probably wouldn't, man. I wouldn't really know what I'm talking about, really. I wouldn't even really know what I'm talking about. Hey, hey, hey. Still no, um... Still no, uh, Madagascar and Sunset Moth, by the way. Still no Paper Kite Butterfly. Like, am I doing something wrong? 
I'm getting to the point where I'm starting to question whether I'm doing something wrong, and that's usually the first step in, like, starting to go insane. That's usually the first step in insanity here. You can literally do a chess randomizer or something, like, people could use bits or channel points, you'd do specific moves, be like, Twitch plays Pokemon, but chess? The novelty would run out pretty quickly, I feel. Pokemon Scarlet and Violet trailer, if you saw it. Yeah, I saw it. I'm I'm not really... I'm not going to buy the game. Um, because Pokemon games have just not... They've just only let, let me down after, like, X and Y. So, no, I'm not getting Scarlet and Violet in the trailer. Certainly didn't... Certainly didn't make me... Convince me to do... To, to think otherwise, so I don't know. I've never seen a paper kite butterfly until I got in the ladder, even though the online wikis say, don't say anything about cliffs for this bug. More than likely, it's because that's where most of your flowers are, is up on your cliffs. Paper kite butterflies can very well spawn on your first level. Um, but the reason why you probably didn't find it until you got to your cliffs is because that's where all your flowers are at the start. Of course, you could plant flowers on your mainland, which is what I did, and I still can't get it to spawn. I can get every other fucking butterfly to spawn, but not the paper kite. Small Lib is adorable, but I'm refusing to play Pokemon games until they make an actual good one. The thing is, is that, like, I actually think that a lot of the Pokemon that were introduced in Sword and Shield were pretty good. At least from what I saw, I only really saw a couple of them. For example, there's that Corgi Yamper, which is a very appropriate name, by the way. Um, there's Yamper. Fucking adorable. I love Yamper. Small Liv, Adorable. Look at that little guy. How can you- how can you not like that guy? I think the starters look pretty good. I, I just don't... That's just not enough. It's just not enough. It seems like they're masquerading their horrible story, bland characters, and repetitive gameplay with... Oh, look how cute he is! Look how marketable this new Pokemon is! Look how much merch we can sell with them! I don't know. Is there a time the Paper Kite Butterfly spawns when there's few other bugs? Not really, considering... It's pretty... It spawns in the summertime all day, I guess. I guess I could do it at night, but... Oh, no, no, it's not all day. Sorry, it's all year. So I guess I could do it in the wintertime when not many other bugs spawn, but do I really want to have to do all that? I guess I have to get the damselfly eventually anyway. Why do I keep catching these things? Just scare them away, man. You're ruining your net. Like, unless it's something that I have to catch to scare away, why am I not just doing that? But sure, maybe I can do it in winter time where it would be a little bit easier, but uh, I don't know, we'll see. Still need a Rosalia Potessi Beetle as well, which is not what that is. Literally Star Wars when they make, make a cute marketable character? Yeah, it's like, I'm not, I'm seeing right through your, I'm seeing right through your little ruse here, Pokemon. You can't make me buy the game just because you added a cute Pokemon or two. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Apparently with the new game, you can just do whatever you want, rather than the storyline. Yeah, but is that fun? I don't know, I guess only time will tell. There- I can be convinced to buy Violet and Scarlet. It would just need... Like, I would need to see gameplay of it first. I'm not going to buy it based on what they showed, because I've just been let down with Pokemon games too much recently. And also, they're 60 bucks. Not to at anyone, but at Baby Yoda. Yeah, like, Baby Yoda. Is, 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 I don't even know what Star Wars came out with Baby Yoda. Is it any good? I don't know. I don't freaking know. Here's the thing. I see those roses. Do I still need to buy the Stitch Nightgown? Also, yes. Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah, of course I need the Stitch Nightgown. No, like, Rise of Skywalker ruined the entire franchise, but oh, Porgs, haha, ha, so cute. So true, besties, so true. Yeah. The Mandalorian did, I'm a pretty big Star Wars fan, but I prefer the OGs. I, I don't like Star Wars very much. Maybe no, but yes, also possibly, but kinda. Many people are saying this. What's up, Hunty, how you doing? Long horn? Legends of Arceus was okay, but the graphics made me want to rip my eyes out. I don't know, at least it innovated. Gotta give it that. It tried something new, even if I still got bored of it, but, uh... 
Oh well, I guess that's the way it works. An open world Pokemon game is something fans have wanted for years. Legends Arceus is promising for a prototype for Scarlet and Violet. I don't I I don't really feel like and maybe I'm wrong about this. I don't feel like Legends Arceus is related to Pokemon Violet and Scarlet at all. I feel like if there was a game that bases off that's a mainline game that bases off of Legends Arceus, it'll be after Scarlet and Violet, right? Because I feel like Scarlet and Violet came out too soon after Arceus for Arceus to have really shaped what Scarlet and Violet's like. But maybe I'm wrong about that? I don't know. I feel like... I don't know. I feel like it's too soon after it released for me to really think that Scarlet and Violet really got affected by Legends Arceus. I feel like it'll be the game after that, if anything. But we'll see. Maybe it did. It's not related in the lines of an official line of Pokemon game, but related in terms of being a somewhat open world. Well, right, but so like, Legends Arceus was like, a, it was a it was a test by Nintendo to see whether an open world Pokemon game could succeed, and by all accounts, it seems like it did. Oh, just missed, man, just missed. By all accounts, it seems like it did. So they might be like, okay, let's make the next Pokemon game an open world game, seeing as how well Legends Arceus did. But I feel like Scarlet and Violet came out too soon after it did to really have come to that conclusion so quickly, you know? Dag, did you make your own sub badges? If so, what did you do use to do so? Um, it's literally just the, uh, it's the inventory logo of a turnip, but I just changed the colors of them in, in paint.net. That's all I did. Nothing too complicated. Nothing too complicated. They really be pumping them out, Pokemon games, but not Zelda. I'm glad that they're not pumping out Zelda games. If they were pumping out Breath of the Wild 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, like it was damn hotcakes, they wouldn't be good games. Just, they, they just wouldn't. They would, you, you just can't release a new game in a series, and this is just factually true. You can't. You can't have a game series that releases every year and is good every year. You can't do it. It's not enough time to make a new innovative game every year. It's not possible. You can't make a good Madden game ever, but every year because that's just not enough time to innovate. It's just not enough time to do anything but update rosters and add like a little bit of a gimmick here and there. It's not enough time. There's no series that makes a good game year after year after year after year after year when it releases once a year. It's not possible. You can't do that. So I'm really glad that they don't be pumping out Breath of the Wilds like they pump out Pokemons because I don't think that Pokemon games take enough time in between releases to innovate a whole lot to make those good games. Games. That's why COD sucks. Yeah, it was a meme back in high school when I when like COD games were in like their Black Ops 2, Black Ops Modern Warfare like era. Like it was a meme that there would be a new COD game every year, and we would goof on the kids that always bought the new COD games because we're like, ah, it's the same thing as last year. Because it is. It is. You can't do a whole lot in one year in between games. You can't. It's just not possible. <sighs> Yeah, I got two Rajas now. No paper kite. Pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. What are you doing? Just... Yeah. People are very overprotective of Zelda, and Nintendo's aware that if they started rushing Zelda games like Pokemon, they would fuck it up really bad. Hey! 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 hey. Oh! Come! Come over here! Come over here! Come! Do you want to come over here, please? I guess I could go make a vaulting pole, but I'd have to go indoors and therefore despawn it. And also I have to learn the recipe from Blathers. Get your ass over here, glunk. There we go. All right, good thing. I was trying to pss, 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 over here like a cat. It worked, it seemed to work. All right, now just the Madagascan sunset moth, which is even rarer than that one is. This bitch, eh, he came over. All right, Madagascan Sunset Moth, and probably you should make a vaulting pole, but I don't know, I'm also kind of a bad dude who doesn't give a shit about nothing. So, like, maybe I shouldn't? Maybe I should just take the chance? Oh, also a Rosalia Potessi Beetle, although I don't need that now. I do have that for a later point, but if I can get it now, I'd be happy. If I can get it now, I'd be happy. I'm the Bug Whisper. Exactly, exactly. I'm surprised that took so long. That really is not a rare bug. 
I'll see you, man. Good thing I don't need a bandit dragonfly. No, they're pumping out Pokemon games because they know it's a mainstream cash cow now. Yeah, and, you know, Pokemon has to be, like, a good source of their yearly income, so of course they want to do it, like, every year, but still. Yeah, and they know that if they did that with Zelda, people would just be up in arms, right? I hope they never turn Zelda into, like, a, a series-like Pokemon where they just pump the games out for the sake of the bottom line. I hope they never do that. Although, I really shouldn't have too much faith in companies in that regard, because they always let you down. But eventually, they'll just stop making Pokemon games? Yeah, I mean, I guess so. It's hard to imagine right now, but I suppose. I suppose. What's up, Danielle? How are you doing? Welcome. Wish people would shut up about Breath of the Wild 2 not being at directs. We already know about it. Leave the direct to games we don't know about. I don't agree. I don't agree completely. I, I don't think directs should solely be about games that we haven't seen anything about. I, I, I feel like that would be kind of lame. Like, a lot of the beauty of directs is games being announced. But a lot of the beauty of directs as well is seeing more footage of games that we know are coming but we haven't seen too much about. For example, I was fucking pogging when New Horizons got shown in the Direct. Not when it was revealed that it was going to be released, but when it was shown in the Direct. I was fucking pogging, dude. That's what I was looking for so much. That was what I was looking forward to in the Direct. But a lot of the beauty is in, like, unannounced games as well. It just really, like, I don't know. I think it's a nice... I think Directs are perfect. I think Nintendo Directs are perfect. I think that they do them perfectly. They they legitimately are just so perfectly done. They're rare enough to where people are excited to see them. And people are so passionate about them that after every Direct, this is the worst Direct ever. This is the worst Direct ever. You know what that tells me? That tells me they did a good job. They did a good job getting people excited about it, and honestly, once they cool off a little bit, they'll realize that the Direct was actually pretty good. They always come around. They always come around and start being like, well, you know, it actually was alright. It was just like, oh, they didn't announce my favorite thing. And so it's like, well, you know. I need, I need, I need an iron? I probably need, like... Hmm, I wouldn't mind, like, a couple if you don't mind. There you go, there you go. People always get mad at the directs, but, like, honestly, you'll... I, I've never been, after the end of a direct, have I been like, that was a horrible, worthless direct. They might as well have shown nothing. Never have I been like that. Don't tell me. Okay, that's just a little beetle. Okay, it only bells. The AC Direct for 2.0 gave me a lot of good memories sitting at my kitchen table with roommates and all of us yelling how excited we were. It's good times, man. Good times. Directs are so well done. They're literally like everybody's excited about a Nintendo Direct. It's the talk of the fucking town when they're when a Direct is coming out soon. It's the fucking talk of a town. There's so much speculation about when a Direct will be and what will be in a Direct when it does get announced. There's It's literally like... It's, it's the most hype gaming announcement thing. It's it's literally like nothing else compares to it. People are more hyped about Nintendo Directs than they are E3, man, which is not even happening this year. And usually E3 has a Direct inside of uh, E3, which is probably the part that people most look forward to. But anyway. What's up, Pride Love? How are you doing? Nintendo partner showcases they did in 2020, those were really shit directs, like shovelware and soulless license games. They definitely throw a few, fair few amount of those in the directs as well. You know, the soulless generic anime RPGs. I'm not going to deny that. I, I'm not going to tell you that everything in the direct is a winner. No, absolutely not. That would be ridiculous. But, um, yeah. They usually have, like... Even if a Direct has, like, over 50% useless JRPG shovelware, there is also a, usually enough good stuff in there to where people aren't too upset about that, you know? Why ain't they doing an E3 this year? I don't know. Financial reasons? COVID still? I don't know. They're not even doing a virtual one, so I guess you can't even really say COVID. Because they did one last year, but it was all virtual, so... I don't know. I don't know why they're not doing an E3 this year. 
no, no E3 this year. It'd be coming up if it was. It'd be coming right up. Just making yourself at home in Tom Nook's house? It's not his house. He don't sleep here. Where does he sleep? Where does he sleep? I mean, I guess resident services once you actually get that built, huh? Financial or pandemic stuff, probably. Yeah, maybe. I don't know, though. Kind of sad. There's always something I look forward to. Even if it was mostly for the Nintendo segments, there was always stuff from Sony, uh, Xbox that I look forward to as well. Even if I don't have either of those consoles. One day they'll give me a reason to buy a PlayStation 5 and an Xbox, whatever the fuck the latest Xbox is. I'm not really too into games anymore, man. Secret mansion he built with all of our bells? So true. So true. Yo, Sunny Jupiter. Thank you. Left that. Left that. It's my Madagascan. Thank you, Sunny Jupiter, for the five gift subs. I appreciate that. Thank you to Vague Bag, Dead Sea Monkeys, Jenna Joy, Lenix, and Dusty Mice. Everyone enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad-free viewing courtesy of Sunny Jupiter. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Xbox One X for the low price of 2000 bucks? No, I don't think so. I could build a whole new PC with that. Thank you, though. I appreciate that, Sunny Jupiter. And everyone say thank you if you got a gift sub. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. It's 1 a.m., but I just came home. I'm a bit drunk, but I'm officially a nurse. Hey, there you go. Congrats. That's awesome. That's reason to celebrate. Treat yourself. Don't treat me. But thank you. I appreciate it either way. You should be treating yourself as well. That's awesome. Very happy for you. I'd be more enthused about a PS5 if I thought I could get one. How accessible are PS5s now? Are they, like, still ridiculous to get your hands on, or is it kind of settled down a little bit? I guess scalpers never went away, but they might have just moved on to something else at this point? I don't know. I haven't... I'm not in the market for a PS5, so I don't... St I just haven't been keeping tabs on it. I just know that around when they released, it was fucking impossible. Still hard, still rare, unfortunate. Unfortunate. Not that I really want one, but... I don't know. I assume it's hard to get one if you're looking to pay normal price for it. Maybe if you had, like, an insane amount of money, sure. Might be pretty easy, huh? There's another paper kite up there. Three to four months of checking multiple websites to eventually get one. Had to buy a bundle. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Only took me three times because my bank was like, You obviously don't spend this much at GameStop. We're gonna decline this. I don't, I don't like when banks do that. Banks? Yeah, they're like, oh, unusual purchase detected. And it's like, what do you mean, unusual purchase detected? Wait, what? Because I spent money at, like, somewhere that I don't normally go? Obviously this is fraudulent. No, it's not fraud. Why don't you call me first before you do that? Or, like, fucking message me or something like that. Then there's the classic overdraft fees, which I also like to call the poor fees. Where if you overdraft your bank account, aka make it go below zero by buying something, they then hit you with a fee. So, you're charging me for being poor? Yeah, I loved that one as well. And that was always a classic bank... Classic bank, uh... Yeah, I don't know. Uh, get, get a credit union, is all I'm saying. Is that a tiger? Yeah. Amazon Prime re recently overdrafted me too. I hate that. Yeah, and it's like, if it's an automatic payment that did it, it's not even like you really like, I don't know. I guess it is your fault, but like, I don't deserve to get charged for it when I'm already fucking broke, you know? You can sign up to get a PS5 through PlayStation's website. It's pretty easy. Is it? Is it? Are you on like a waiting list when you do that, or do you get one like immediately? I don't know. It sounds like it puts you on a waiting list, and then you still have to wait a long time to get it. Literally a deposit, especially when you literally deposit a whole paycheck. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I. Uh... <laughs> Hang on. Now they're spawning. 
It was mostly because of a hotel charge that didn't go through for a few days. If I hadn't gone through so late, I would have been... I would have been fine. It's unfortunate. Yeah, I don't know. Yo, just caught a flea. Hell yeah, dude! I can't catch a flea, actually, right now. Both my villagers are inside. Kind of strange. Hmm. Well, I guess that means that fleas aren't taking up spawning spaces, as if they actually would anyway. Get out of here, man. There you go. Talking about money is making me anxious. I'm sorry. We don't have to talk about money. We could talk about the inevitable heat death of the universe. That shouldn't cause any anxiety. My coworker finally got to buy his PS5 after being on the list forever. Yeah, so it's like uh, through PlayStation's website, you could be put into like a, a queue for it. And like how long do you have to get through that queue before you can get one, right? I don't know. Diagonal moment? What's a diagonal moment? What do you mean? I don't have a moment, okay? Only intellectual discussion. Get in the water. Get, get, get! Finally give up on the Mahi Mahi for today? Rest up. You'll get it tomorrow. I believe. Alright. What are we hunting at the moment? The Madagascan Sunset Moth. Uh, I know it's rare, but like... Mm -hmm. It shouldn't be this bad. Should not be this bad. Let's talk about Froggy Chair. Yeah, Froggy Chair. Can you get a vaulting pole now? I could. I don't know how much good it would do me. But if theoretically I find a Madagascan Sunset Moth and it's on the other side of the river, I'm going to really fucking beat myself up for... You know what, actually? I should, because I'm going to go to the island and I'm going to need to cut down all the damn island trees. And then I'm going to need to get a pole vault to even get to all the island trees. So you know what? Fuck it. I will make a vaulting pole. Instead of... You know, inevitably being mad that I didn't make a vaulting pole. Let's just do it. I also need to talk to Blathers first, though. I'm drinking water out of a paper cup right now, and it's extremely satisfying to me. That is pretty satisfying. Not to mention, you know, good for the, uh, good for the, good for the planet. I know as good as, like, you know, a reusable bottle, but, you know, better than plastic, I suppose. Are you at the right time? It's normally evening when they come out. Evening? I don't think so, man. Madagascan Mad Sunset Moth. I don't think it's evening. It's 8 a.m. to 4 p.m., and I'm at 1.11 p.m. No, we're fine. We're fine. They come out in the evening? No. Paper cups over paper straws? So true. A lot of people get mad at paper straws, and I get it. They they are pretty bad. They do be kind of like disintegrating in my drink. But I've learned a trick. I've learned a trick that has pretty much made it so that paper straws aren't really a problem for me anymore. Um, I, ju I, I don't use straws. I just tip the- I tip it into my mouth. I learned how to pol polish items, which is very strange. I polished a treadmill. Yo, got it looking good as hell! Problem solved? Yeah, problem solved. Just, like, don't don't use a straw, man. I have sensitive teeth, so I use a reusable straw. Yeah, like a metal reusable straw. That's also fine. Nitro lids? What is a nitro lid? I have this. Is that a nitro lid? Straws are so fun, they make the drinking experience exciting. I assume you're being facetious when you say that, but I suppose that could be someone's logic to it. In which case... I suppose. What is a nitro lid? Yeah, what is a nitro lid? That's what I'm wondering, man. Curly straw. Curly straws do make the drink... Okay, look, if we're gonna be... If I can at least give a shout out to one kind of straw out there... I used to, I used to go to like Bob Evans as a kid and they'd be giving you those straws. They'd be like extending out to like over a foot long. You could be like, you could make them into some crazy twirly twisty designs. And then you could see like the beverage going through this entire like convoluted system of straw that you made. And then you're like, oh, hell yeah, that's going to go in my mouth, dude. That was fucking awesome. Now, curly straws look bad for the environment, but at the cost of fun, I don't think the earth is that important now. Come on. The sanctity of my drinking experience is far too precious. Sunny Jupiter! Thanks for the five more gift subs. That is insane. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Gloombled. Red Vulture Feathers. Mentally Illegal 69. Corgi and Lem X. 
enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad-free viewing courtesy of Sunny Jupiter. That is insanely generous of you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. There you go. And say thank you if you got a gift sub. And enjoy your emotes and your ad-free viewing. Scoop. A nitro lid is a type of lid from Starbucks that's kind of like a sippy cup style. We back to using sippy cups, man? I grew out of those at four years old. I suppose, though. Everything was more fun at four years old, so I guess I can't blame you for wanting to rekindle that four-year-old experience. Sunny generous as fuck? Yeah, very generous, and I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. If you reuse it, it's not too bad. What, a curly straw? Yeah, I don't know. Maybe. Clunk. All right, that works too. Ooh, oh, you got me you excited, you son of a... You son of a bitch, you got me excited. These things have to be, like, compar comparably as rare as, like, a Madagascan sunset moth, right? Like, Agrius butterfly, I consider that, like, in my head, at least, like, the same level of rare as, like, a Madagascan sunset moth is, right? Come on now, it's only a matter of time. Surely. Christ. You ever gotten custom curly straw with your name? What are you talking about? You can, like, commission a curly straw maker to make a straw that's your name? No, I never did that. What are you talking about? This doesn't make any sense. How do you clean a curly straw, though? Okay, in my limited experience of cleaning straws, don't you just run water through the straws? Like, water, soap through the straw hole? What's up, Annie? How are you doing? Welcome. What if your name is seven plus letters long? Yeah, what if you got like a hyphen in your name? That's Spark, dude. How do they do that? Are they live streaming it or something? Yeah, like, what is this? Curly straw commissioning? This is fucked. Work break is over. Have a great night. Yo, have a good rest of your day at work. Hope it goes well. Hope it goes well. Brittany Witt, thanks for the follow. Appreciate that. Good night, girl awake for 18 plus hours. Signing off. Oh, you're going to bed? Oh, okay, well, have a good night. Yeah, 18 hours? That's about bedtime. That's about bedtime. Get yourself some sleep. Hope your night is well. Hope your night goes well. Pipe cleaners are actually surprisingly meant to clean pipes. Isn't that fucked up? We completely just overhauled the purpose of pipe cleaners from cleaning pipes to using them for, like, Kawili art projects. Which I guess is pretty cool as well. Hello, Mr. Dagnall. Please excuse my subpar attendance. It's all right, man. This ain't school where I take, like, a letter grade off for every day that you're gone. It's all right, man. You might be held to the, you know, mental court of law, but that's fine. You know, I gotta do nothing about it. How you doing today, Samar Mar? Hey, Dag. The Agrius and the Madagascan Sunset Moth share the same rarity. Yeah, they feel like they're the same rarity, honestly. Present! What's up, Owls? How are you doing? And Annie of the Winter Sky. Thanks for the subscription. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Enjoy your emotes. And enjoy your ad-free viewing. I appreciate that very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That looks very menacing when I, like, enunciate it with my tongue. Thank you. Very menacing. I don't mean it that way. Sunny Jupiter! What are you doing? Thanks to the five more gifted subs. To Courtney Duffel, Lind Snicks, Lily Ryu, Lextrex, and Actual Wonder. Everyone enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad-free viewing courtesy of the incredibly generous Sunny Jupiter. Shoutouts in the YouTube video as well. There you go. Madagascan Sunset Mall. 87. Sydney Crosby's number. Let's go. Good timing as well. Um, alright. We're done. We don't need... I've been... I have all these stumps here to try to get the Rosalia Batessi Beetle to spawn. We don't need it, though, because I actually have that, uh... For the next split as well. Um, when I go to a Nook Miles Island. So... Now, we need to go to a Nook Miles Island at 2 a.m. in August to get an Atlas Moth, a Blue Weevil Beetle, a Giant Water Bug, a Giraffe Stag, and a Man Face Stink Bug, and the Rosalia Batessi Beetle. And then, after that, we only have one more thing, and that's the Damselfly. 
in November of 2021. Fuck Daddy Sydney. So true. So true. All right. A lot of bugs at the same time. Yeah, 11 of the... Or sorry, 10 of the 11 bugs that we can get are all in August. The only one that requires us not to be in August is the damselfly in December. Or November through February, I think. And I did it in um, November because there's no snow in November. Because there's no snow in early December as well. So... I could do it in either one. I chose November because... Um, there's no snow, which means no snowflakes, which means snowflakes aren't going to take up spawning spaces, which is, I feel like that'll help. I feel like that'll help for sure. Right, I'm going to make one more axe just to make sure I have enough to actually, uh, cut down all the trees on Nook Miles Island that I go to. And then we're going to time travel to 2 a.m. I think I should just have a Nook Miles ticket ready, right? I should just have one at Orville's, right? I'm not going to be able to access the entire island now that I think about it because I don't have a ladder yet. So, this may not be as smooth as I thought it was going to be. I also need another stick as well, I think. This may not go as fast as I thought it was going to be because I'm not actually going to be able to access the entire island without a ladder yet. Hopefully, that's not too big of a deal. I really don't want to have to put the three plots down to fucking get a ladder, though. It's a pain in the ass. I don't really want to do that. Wilbur over Orville any day, just saying, true, true. That's pretty true, and many people are saying it as well. Are leaves better than snowflakes when it comes to spawning? Um, I think they'd be the same. Are you implying, though, that November would have leaves? It would. When do you get the leaves in November? Is it all of November you get leaves? Oh, shit, maybe I should do it in December then. Like, December before the snow starts to stick. Yeah, maybe you're right, actually. I didn't think about that. When do the maple leaves fall? And don't make a first round, uh, joke. I don't remember if November has leaves or if it ends in October. Yeah, I can't remember either, actually. I can't remember either. Alright. 2, 2 a.m. I just chose 2 a.m., but it could be any time in, like, the night. 16th to the 26th. Okay, so it's fine then, as long as you're not in those dates. Okay. Well, you know what? Fuck it. Uh, 1 a.m. Sure, that works just as fine. Dag streams videos are genuinely a safe place to be. I try to keep it that way. What's up, Melanie? How are you doing? Do you want a dumb story? Sure, man. Seems like, uh, seems like you want to tell it, so sure. Why don't you tell it? Have you play so much AC and H without getting a bunch of controller drift? Pro Controller, A. However, I have actually had one of these started drifting, so I guess it's not a... It's not a surefire method, but... I don't know. I guess luck, outside of that. Not playing with the Joy-Cons does help, though. Good, how about you? Not bad. But yeah. Yeah, I don't play with the Joy-Cons. If I played more, um... Switch Sports, though, maybe eventually... I had to switch to my Pro Controller exclusively after my Joy-Cons started drifting really bad. I mean, I don't really understand people who prefer the Joy-Cons over the Pro Controller. If there is the option to play on either one or the other, I am always playing on the Pro Controller. Even if it's like a very casual game. Like, this is like a controller that like you'd use for like, I don't know, any game. So you, maybe you might want something a little bit more casual, like the uh, the Joy-Cons for Animal Crossing, but nah, man, I always prefer the Pro Controller. I always prefer the Pro Controller. But the Joy-Cons are attached? Yeah, like, if you want to play in handheld mode, then yeah, you really don't have much of a choice, right? But if you play it docked like I do, I always prefer a Pro Controller. I've somehow been hit by a ball or some other gym supply. Today we were in a gym and I was watching The Simpsons. Three times I was so close to getting hit by something random. Why does this happen to me? What season of The Simpsons? Because that might help. That might give some... That might give some reasoning to it. Can you dock a Switch Lite? No. No, the Switch Lite is a Switch Lite. It's a handheld, purely. 32 and 20 something well that's the reason dude you're not even watching the good simpsons seasons they're trying to wallop you with a dodgeball because they're trying to tell you that seasons three through eight are superior you should listen to them that's why man 
Pro controller is more comfortable to hold and long for longer play periods. True as well. I just I don't like the, the positioning of the sticks on the Joy Cons. I don't know. I don't like them very much. Seasons one through eight are better. I think that it took like three seasons to find its stride, and then like th seasons three through eight Simpsons are legitimately some of the best TV ever made. And then after that, it's okay, and then it gets bad. That's my assumption of The Simpsons. Not the assumption, but that's my assessment of The Simpsons. Yeah, 1 and 2 are fine. 3 and 8 is, like, prime television. And then after that, it slowly starts drifting away. Sad to see. A tough scene. A tough scene. Alright, so we don't need anything... Actually, we do need a couple things on trees. So let's not cut down every single tree. Let's leave some... Let's also move a couple of these coconut trees here to more places that are a little bit more accessible. Oh, but I don't have a shovel. Can I buy a shovel with Nook Miles? I think I can, right? By taking a shot in the groin and not dropping it or keeling over? Damn. Have you watched Bob's Burgers? Yeah, and there's a movie coming out for Bob's Burgers in there. I like Bob's Burgers from what little I've seen of it. It has been pretty good, actually. I enjoy it. Simpsons movie, though? Okay, Simpsons movie is very good. I very much enjoyed the Simpsons movie. But, I don't know. It's like everything after and a lot of things before the Simpsons movie were just really bad. It seems like the Simpsons movie was like just the last gasp of good Simpsons content. Before, I mean, it was already getting bad by the time it came out. But, it was like truly only really good well before the Simpsons movie came out, and then that was like the last gasp that they had of good Simpsons. Is anyone getting the Steam Deck? I've been thinking about it, honestly. I've been thinking about it. It's got some good stuff on there. You can do some pretty cool things. I've been thinking about it, though, but no, no, uh, can't confirm or deny that I will. Movie came out and Spider Pig was inescapable. He's not Spider Pig anymore, he's Harry Plopper. Yeah. Yeah, no, I definitely get it. But that was one of the few, like, memes that I actually was in on as a kid. So I was one of the kids that was perpetrating the, the Spider Pig meme. Because it was one of the few that I actually was like, oh, yeah. I know that meme. My parents let me watch that movie. I wasn't into, like, a lot of the modern pop culture at the time. Because, I mean, I was just not really allowed to watch it. I was thinking about this. I don't even know if I want to say this. I feel like this is going to be... I feel like this is going to be a spicy one. Except I think that my logic and reasoning to it is perfectly fine. But let me know what you think of this, uh... Of what I'm about to say here. <clears throat> let me take a drink of water. I would... If I had a kid... I don't want a kid. So this is not ever going to come to fruition. If I had a kid, I would 1,000 times out of 1,000 rather have that kid raised on violent video games versus social media. Now, of course, it isn't like a cut and dry black and white thing. You can limit both of those things. But if I could choose to have one thing or the other... I would rather have them not grow up in an era of insecurity. Oh, nice cicada shell. I can't get that. I'd rather have them not grow up in an era, in an aura of insecurity that's, you know, earned through social media. I would rather have them kill people in video games. Because, I mean, you know, it is video games at the end of the day. I, I had a kid, I'd go over to his house as a kid. I'd go over to his house as a kid, and he'd be playing GTA Vice City. And my dude was, like, literally top of his class in every class. He now works at, like, a very respected insurance company. And I would always be going over there. He'd be playing GTA Vice City. I'm like, oh, my mom won't let me play that. And, you know, I turned out good. So, I guess I'm all right. I also didn't grow up in the age of social media, but when I did, like, when it was around, like, when I was in high school... 
so true, bestie. I didn't think it would be an unpopular opinion, but it does feel weird to say that I would rather have my kid kill virtual NPCs rather than have them live in social media where they can actively compare themselves to people around them at all times. And probably get addicted to, you know, their devices as well. It's just way more cowboys, realistic cowboys and Indians. Yeah, I probably can't say it like that anymore, though, can't you? Go up on South Park, to be honest with you. Yeah, like, South Park, man. Like, so many kids growing up, like, watched South Park, and they were always making South Park references to each other, and I'm like, I don't get it. They're like, oh, it's the new South Park episode last night. And I'm like, oh, okay. Facebook is still 13+, plus, like it was when it first came out. Yeah, it's probably, like, the most loosely enforced 13+, plus of all time. Like, I'm sure before you make an account, they're like, oh, are you 13? And I'm like, yeah, I'm 13. And like, all right, bucko. It's true, especially if you're a teenager experiencing the social media impact. Yeah, so you're probably my age, because I was also kind of in between there. And it's like... I don't know, man. Something about growing up with social media. Ugh, I don't know. I always miss stream because of work. Happy I can watch it now. Hey, happy to have you here. Happy to have you here. Oh, Dag, why don't you just pick the flower? Why don't you pick my asshole? It sucks. Ooh, nice. Alright, so now I can dig up all the stumps, assuming I actually catch this. And I did. Now I can dig up all the stumps, and now we don't have to worry about stump beetles spawning. Cool. 88. Please enter date of birth. Adds five years. Yeah, I do the thing. Sometimes Steam will ask for my birthday whenever I want to go on to a mature rated game. And they'll be like, when was your birthday? And I want to be clear, my birthday... I'm old enough to be able to legitimately be on these sites, like the vi the video game store pages on Steam. Like, I am old enough, so why do I, why am I still like, oh, yeah, I was born in like 1905, man. Why do I still lie? I guess because it's easier than selecting my exact birthday. I don't know, man. It's like I don't even have to lie. I am old enough. And I'm still like being like, oh, yeah, I'm like 117. Privacy t thing too, probably. Yeah, like I don't know. Do do they, do, do they get anything from knowing my actual birthday? They probably do know my. If anyone wants to figure out my actual birthday, they can do it, man. It's not that hard. I've said it like a million times on stream. One hundred and seventeen and playing AC and H. Awesome. Yeah. True. I just look like I'm twenty five, but I'm actually a one hundred and seventeen year old dragon maid from Japan. All right, I'm sorry. I just insulted anime. Oldest gamer, so true, so true. I hate you. That's all right, Owls. That's all right. Um, anime. Anyway, you sort of look like Harry Potter. I got that comparison a lot as a kid. Didn't help that my first name is Daniel. Daniel Radcliffe played Harry Potter. Yeah, that didn't help that comparison that I got a lot as a kid. But I was a glasses-wearing, brown-haired boy who uh, was also white. So yeah, I got the Daniel Radcliffe comparison quite a lot as a kid. Damn, Daniel! Yeah, had that one a lot as well. The age check was to ask questions. I remember that, yeah. To play Leisure Suit Larry, they would ask you questions that only people who grew up in the 70s would actually know. Atlas Moth... Blue Weevil Beetle, Giant Waterbug, Giraffe Stag, Man Face Stink Bug, Rosalie Potestabee, which we already got. Alright. So, the island's about as good as it's gonna get without me being able to access that little area up there. Um, and then after we get the Man Face Stink Bug, we can get rid of those last two flowers there. And then from here, it's just, uh... It's just... I mean, I can't get rid of the Cicada Shell, which kinda... is not a bad thing, actually, because I guess it makes it so that nothing else that I can't catch can spawn there. Can I... Wow, look at that. <laughs> look at that! We can still catch it from down here. No, I don't have the, uh, yeah, I don't have the lightning bolt scar either on my forehead. That would definitely, that would definitely make the comparisons more, uh, more fair. Alright, there you go. So now, we can get rid of these flowers. Not that they're spawning much anyway. Get rid of these flowers. Um, after we get the Atlas Moth... We can get rid of this tree as well. We also need a giant water bug in this pond here. Do they only spawn in rivers? 
I think this technically is a river, though, so it could actually be okay even if they did. So let's look for a giant water bug around the outskirts of this pond here as well. And then outside of that, blue weevil beetle and the and the uh, atlas beetle. No, not sorry, not the atlas beetle. The um, giraffe stag only spawn on palm trees. Let's also scare away any of the uh, hermit crabs on the shore as well. Cool. My native flower is mums, and I let them overgrow so much that I actually bred a green mum. There you go, suffering from success. I've never seen a walking stick in ACH. and I'm having so much trouble finding it. Yeah, it's rare. I don't know why the walking stick is as rare as it is, but it is just stupidly dummy rare in this game for one reason or another. I don't know why. I also get rid of these uh, rocks as well, because centipedes, pill bugs, I think, can spawn. So, get rid of those as well. Might as well. Yeah, I don't know why. Walking sticks, they were never rare in any Animal Crossing game. In this game, just stupid rare. Don't know why. So don't beat yourself up about it. Scarab beetles? I don't have too much trouble with scarab beetles. I might even see a couple during the time frame that I'm at now. But... I don't know. I never really struggled too, too much with those. And there's that one rock that I can't get, but that's okay. I don't think that this little area is going to do too much for... I mean, I can scare away whatever's on these flowers, because they're all near the edge, so that shouldn't be a big deal. The one tree is already taken up by the cicada shell, and I feel like I can scare away most anything that spawns on the other two trees. Like, can I scare away that... Yeah, there we go. So, it's probably not bad, actually. And the motherfucking cicada shell. Yeah, I, it's ironic. I do have one right here, but it is it is rare. You can't deny that it's just rare in this game for whatever reason. I don't know why. Which bugs are left? Atlas moth, blue evil beetle, giraffe stag, and a damn fly. That's all we have left. That's all we have left. And we're good. Walking sticks are rare. I saw one once, but I didn't catch it because I thought I could catch it another time. Nah, unfortunately, you should definitely catch it whenever you see it, if you do need it, because it is quite rare. I don't know why, but it is. Max is giving me the ginger representation I need and deserve. Max? Who's Max? Wait, who gifted me a sub? Oh, probably Sunny Jupiter. They've gifted out a healthy amount of subs today, so more than likely them. But if it wasn't them, then I apologize to whoever did give you a sub. But more than likely it was them. I think if you look in your notifications, it'll show you. Right? Oh, there's a Scarab Beetle. Alright. <laughs> I don't need it, so no big deal. Kit on the beach wondering what the hell you're doing? Oh, she's fine. She's fine. She's she just... You just... You just... You just, you, you're fine, Cupcake, all right? She's fine. Stranger Things chatters? Yeah, everyone's talking about Stranger Things. That's right. Is that what Max is? My notice, my zero notice, we love to see it. I'm sorry. I, I, that's usually where I would think that they'd be, but I don't know. I don't know. What's, okay, I'm going to ask this question, and I don't want an excessively complicated response. What's what's the deal with Stranger Things? Like, what's it all about? Is it, like, a horror? Is it a comedy? Is it a... What, what is it about? Just don't give me, like, a long-winded explanation. Give me, like, a nice sentence or two, okay? What's it about? Why is everyone talking about it? I've never seen it before. I don't think I'm going to watch it, so... I, you know, I don't know why I'm asking, but I just don't know why people are talking about it. What is a supernatural thriller? With all due respect, I don't know what the hell that is. Annette! Thank you for the five gifted subs. What the fuck, man? Thank you. It's incredibly generous of you. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And everyone that got a gift sub, Safety Kitty, Evil Sophia, Lucas Man, I'm Lelin, and Lydia... Lydia Knack. Enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad free view and courtesy of Annette. Thank you so much, Annette. I appreciate that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate it. A good balance of horror with comedy peppered in? I see. I see. I mean, the name Stranger Things, it makes it seem like... It makes it seem like it's a horror, and that's always what I've assumed it is. But... I don't know. I don't know. I guess it is horror, kind of? I don't know. It is a stretch. Ugh. 
Ugh. Dungeons and Dragons meets real life. Telekinesis is real due to MK Ultra, and the 80s are weird. This does not clear anything up, man. This does not... This did not clear up anything at all. That did not clear up anything at all. <laughs> I don't know, man, but I guess the effort with which to try to explain it to me falls on deaf ears anyway, because I'm just gonna be honest with y'all, I don't think I'm ever gonna watch Stranger Things. I don't think I'm ever gonna watch Stranger Things, but, you know, I guess I'm glad that people are talking about it. Just watch it, OMFG is so good. I got better things to do, like... Like... I got better things to do, man, okay? I promise you, I got better things to do. I still gotta finish Better Call Saul. There you go. I, that's a better thing to do. I gotta finish Better Call Saul. I left off at the end of uh, Season 3, and I haven't, I haven't bothered continuing it yet. I just can't, like... I just can't, like... Uh, binge watch shows. I get, like, burnout. Not even from just that particular show, I just get burnt out of, like, watching shows or movies. I'm in the burnout after binging, like, the first three seasons of Better Call Saul. Now I'm kind of like, okay, I need to take, like, a six-month break from any show ever. That's basically, I mean, I'm, I'm still, I'm still winding down the refractory period of television. Watch, like, an episode each night? See, this is, like... I don't know, like, that sounds reasonable, but... I don't know, is it that good to where, like, I would want to watch one episode a night, or will I want to watch more? How bingeable is it, is what I'm asking, I guess. Is it bingeable? I don't know. Very? Okay, well... But still, okay. Well, I guess. Want to stay up all night and watch it? I yeah, and that's scary. Like I don't want to. I don't want to have a show do that to me. I'm not saying I have too many things going on where I can't like stay up and watch a show all night. No, trust me. Like I'm a pretty boring person. I don't really got a whole lot going on. But I still have better things to do than like stay up all night and watch a TV show. I don't want to get addicted to something right now. Okay, TV show addiction, video game addiction. They can all be kind of great, because that level of entertainment from something is obviously, like, you know, hard to recapture. But at the same time, you ever get, like, so addicted to something, you know, to a point where you actually, like... You, I mean, if you're addicted to something, like, super into it, you're obviously very, very much enjoying whatever it is you're addicted to. But it's also a bad thing, because you just are like, I need to stop. I need to stop. I can't stop. So it's actually like, I don't know, I can't do that right now. I don't want something to, I don't want to be addicted to something that bad, you know? I don't need to be addicted to something that bad. Four more bugs? It do be four more bugs. We're almost there. We're almost there. Hopefully the three that we need on the island here come relatively quickly. As the first two already did. We'll see though. Now I'm more addicted to my phone? Yeah, phone addiction is, uh... Is, I don't know, man. I would not want to raise a child right now. I know that that's, like, quite the, uh, the shift in tone of what we were talking about. I don't want to raise a child right now, man. It's way too easy to... It's way too easy to have a child's development stunted by, like, technology. Social media, phones, computers, video games. To where, like, I don't think I would be able to raise a child that isn't, like, you know, incredibly addicted to their technology. Actively comparing themselves to others to a toxic extent. And raising them in an environment that is safe and welcoming for them. Like, I can do that at home, but I feel like that's so hard to do at, like, school or something like that, you know? I wouldn't want to bring a child into this world during these times, you know? Have a kid and name it Barreled. I, look, I love my boy Barreled in AC and H. I don't think I'd name my kid Barreled, because that's like, you're, you'd get bullied for having that name. I'm just gonna be honest. You'd get bullied for having a name like Barreled. It's kind of a bullyable name, okay? It just is. No way too well how to use phones. And it's like, man, I didn't get one of them, Johns, till I was like, 
I don't know, when did I get my first phone? It was like a Nokia brick phone in like the mid 2000s. My first smartphone was like high school in like 2011. Crazy. Social media is the new smoking for this generation. It's pretty, like, I don't know how comparable they are because they're apples to oranges, but like, I don't know. Like one physically destroys your body, that being smoking. The other like fucking destroys your brain. So it's kind of like, it's hard to compare the two, but like, geez, I feel like they definitely are like comparable as far as like the toll that it takes on you, you know? I don't know. I unfortunately got my first phone at 9. I just wish that parents would just moderate that shit a little bit easier, you know? But even then, like, there's only so much you can do to a kid who has the world at their fingertips, you know? I don't know. I don't know, man. It's just too complicated to be a parent right now. It's already pretty complicated, but, uh... Just even more so. Even more so. Brittany Witt. Thanks for the tier 1. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. Enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad-free viewing. I appreciate that. That is amazing. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Appreciate it very much. Thank you. I've been a smoker since I was 12. <gasps> Yikes. I have luckily, and this is not like a holier than thou, I've, I've luckily never smoked a thing in my life. I don't think I would enjoy it very much. I don't think I'd enjoy it very much. First phone was like 14. That was probably about where my where I got my first phone. I think a phone is a good resource if you use it for the purposes that, you know, that you're given the phone for, which is in like emergencies and ooh. Ooh, I'm going to I'm going to do a little circle around here. Don't you go anywhere at this moth. I'm going to do a little circle around here. So you look for a giraffe stag as well. Oh. Ho, 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 ho. All right, it's going to be 90. You smoked the competition in GeoGuessr? Pretty true! I don't really know if that did any lasting toll to my lungs, or is going to cause lung cancer later in life, but either way. Atlas Mod. 90. My goal is to not smoke at all during my life. It seems kind of miserable from what I've seen. I don't know. Like, maybe, but... I, I don't know. I don't think it's a choice for many people. I don't think it's like an actual... I, I think it's, it's, it's an addiction. It's an addiction. It's not really a choice for a lot of people, you know? So. Alright, get rid of that. Dig the stump up. Have I dug the stumps up over here? Yeah, because I got a Rosalia Potessi. Chloe! Thanks you! Thanks! Thanks you for the Prime as well! I appreciate that! Thank you! Thank you, thank you! I appreciate it! Enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad-free viewing! I appreciate that very much! Thank you! Thank you, thank you, thank you! I met a guy who asked if I smoked, and I said no, and he said good, never start. I have met, I can count on I two hands how many people in my life that I have met that have said that verbatim. And most of them are co-workers that I worked with at a factory. They were all like, do you smoke? Like, we'd be taking our break, and then they would, they would pull out a cigarette, and they'd be like, do you smoke? And I'm like, no. And they're like, good, never start. And then that's when they put the stogie in their mouth. And I'm like... I didn't really get it at the time, but now I'm like, yeah, this person, they're wise. Like, they, they, is not, if they could choose to stop smoking, they would. They're obviously self-aware enough to know that, but they're just too far gone down the addiction, you know? So, yeah. Yeah, I don't, I don't plan on it, luckily. Quitting smoking cigarettes after 14 years is the best thing I've ever done for myself. Not to mention, difficult as hell. I imagine so. I mean, I've kicked habits before. All oh, right, those still spawn on... Oh. I guess I didn't need that tree, did I? Oh, well. Um, I've definitely kicked habits before. Nothing as destructive as smoking, but I've had to kick habits before. It's hard. And the habits that I've kicked, I'm sure, are nothing compared to the habits that... Well, you know, kicking some cigarettes, right? Considering it's an actual, like need that your body demands is the nicotine from smoking. I've kicked caffeine before, which I guess is kind of similar, but I don't know. Caffeine, I don't feel like is nearly as destructive as nicotine is, or, or well, not the nicotine, but the, you know, the actual smoking is to your lungs. Yeah, even. So, I don't know. Habits suck? They do suck. And oftentimes it's just easier to keep doing it than to, you know, go through the pain and struggle of, you know, kicking the habit. 
stop smoking because of COVID and masks? COVID and masks? I don't think that stops a lot of people, though. If alcohol was made now, it would be treated like drugs? It is, like, comparable as far as the level of destruction to drugs. Like, I've seen alcohol destroy lives in the same way that I've seen drugs destroy lives. Maybe not me personally, but you know, like, it, it does happen. They're also expensive. Pretty sure Australia, like... Aren't they, like, ludicrously expensive in Australia? Like, a pack of cigarettes is, like, just an insane amount of money? So I think I saw a picture one time that was like... Here's what X amount of money gets you in Australia. And then on one side of the picture, they had one pack of cigarettes. And on the other side of the picture, they had like a whole fucking like week's worth of groceries. It was insane. They're like, you could buy a week's worth of groceries or one pack of a cigarette. Like $20? I mean, I thought it was more than that based on that picture. Coffee's a drug? Yeah, caffeine is. Absolutely. Seems like something Australia would do. Maybe, but I mean, you know, it betters the health of the people. I don't see it as being a bad thing. I've literally seen a girl in the school bathroom in front of a mirror vaping. Like, girl, what the fuck? If vaping was more popular when I was in high school, I think it was only like just being introduced when I was graduating high school, but if it was more popular in high school, Every kid that I fucking knew would have been vaping. Because instead of vaping, they were smoking cigarettes or weed. And I feel like every kid that was doing that would either be vaping or doing both. So, I don't know. If they were, if it, vaping was popular when I was in school, I, every fucking kid I knew probably would be vaping. Cool kids vape, apparently. Yeah, cool kids develop nicotine addictions from a younger age. Yeah. That's what makes you cool. I never take drugs unless prescribed. Yeah, I mean, basically same except for caffeine. And, I don't know, outside of that, I don't really do much else. I'm a boring person, man. Like, I'm glad that I don't have friends. <laughs> I'm glad that I don't have friends that, like, invite me out to go drinking. Because then I'd have to be the fucking loser that's like, No, I don't drink. And then, like, I get, like, some stern looks from the from the co-workers and they're like oh well you think you're better than us no it's like i don't drink so much like get togethers is about drinking you know let's go drinking no oh, man i don't want to go drinking go to the bar i could be the designated driver but i also don't have a license so i guess i'm a real fucking loser don't i i'm the holy boy like honestly i say these things and people assume i'm like religious I'm like, first of all, no. Second of all, <laughs> I know a lot of really religious people that smoke, drink, do drugs, sin. Way more than somebody like me who is, you know, you know not really into that. I promise you religion does not stop any of these people. They're like, oh, you must be Catholic. I'm not Catholic, man. I'm just, I'm boring. I'm fucking boring. I'm a boring person. There is a difference. Oh, but it's a good thing I go to church every Sunday to wash away my sin. Completely negates all that sinning I did earlier in the week. I have a good time out with, without smink, smoking, sminking, or droking. Yeah, no, same. You know, let's go to, like, uh, the beach beach. Let's go get a wave. Yeah. Let me go to the arcade, play some damn skee-ball. That's more fun than drinking, man. Being boring isn't necessarily a bad thing. No, I know it's not a bad thing. I don't need validation, but, you know, I do wish sometimes my life was a little more interesting. Hey, by the way, fucking giant water bug? Aren't these things supposed to be everywhere? I haven't seen a giant water bug. Can they not spawn in this? Like this, this, this fidget spinner lake? Because this is a river, technically, right? This isn't a pond. It's way too big to be a pond. And they do spawn in the river. So, what gives? Why aren't I seeing giant water bugs? Or maybe I am, and I'm just missing them? Yeah, some of us like our lungs and our livers. Exactly. Especially when you speak for a living. I don't want to sound like Tom Brokaw back in, like, 2004. Sounds bad. Calling yourself self... Calling yourself safe means you're more appealing? I don't know if I'm safe, necessarily. But, 
Sure, I guess so, maybe. Blackout drunk on New Year's Day. I've learned my lesson not to drink too much. Yeah. Also, alcohol just tastes bad. It's just kind of nasty, honestly. Kind of nasty. Just bleh. It's only a river if it has a waterfall or leads to the ocean. I don't think that's true. Like, I'm gonna... Oh, I don't have a fishing rod. I don't think that's true because... This is way too big to be a pond. Like, I think ponds can only be a minimum size. This is way too big to be a pond. But it's not... It's a river. It has to be a river. It has to be a river. Like, I, it can't be anything else. Like, I'd be willing to bet if I caught the fish in there, they would all be river fish. Because they'd have to be. But maybe it has to be attached to a waterfall or the ocean to spawn a giant water bug. I don't know, I feel like that's a reach. That's a little bit of a reach, but could be true. I don't know. I don't know. More like a weirdly shaped pond, but okay. But I think it is a pond. I think, theoretically, you could have a giant ass, like, you, you could have a giant, your whole island could be water. But as long as it doesn't touch the ocean, well, no, even if it does touch the ocean, your whole ass island could be water and it's a river. It can all be, it's all a river, I think. Because you can't make an ocean. The ocean is the ocean. You can make lakes, but once they're a certain size, then they're a river. Once they're too big. So I don't know, man. I don't know. I think it's definitely a river. It's definitely a pond. Alright, I'm going to catch something in there, and I am curious to see whether it's a river fish or a pond fish. I'm going to make a fishing rod here. Not make a fishing rod because I don't have sticks. I have to buy a fishing rod. I'm gonna die on this hill, man. I'm telling you. River can't be self contained. No, I'm pretty sure a river can be self contained. Pretty sure once you make a pond, but it's too big to be considered a pond anymore, then I don't think it's a pond. Easier to plant coconut trees at your island? Well, no, because I can't perfectly get my island in a state where I can only spawn things that are, you know, essentially what I need. The reason why I'm doing this on Nook Miles Island is because it's nice and small and I can, like, you know, chop down all the trees to get whatever I need to spawn. So if I bring it to my island, then... Then I'll have to... You know what? This one. Look at me. Please. Thank God. Put a bridge over a pond and boom, it became a river? Interesting. What the fuck is this? It's a killifish. Killifish is what? I actually have no idea. Which one's a killifish? Is that a pond? So it's a pond. Shit, it is a pond. How is that? That's a big fucking pond. That's a big fucking pond, dude. I thought that once they were over a certain size, they were a river. Huh. There you go. You learn something new every day. Alright, so can giant water bugs not spawn in a pond? Is I don't know if like that's something that we can research. I actually have no idea. What is that? No, I'll get it out of there. So can giant water bugs spawn in a pond? <laughs> they can, I think. I don't know. I would like to see if there's been, like, a data mine about that. If it's even possible. They can spawn in ponds? Okay, right, so it's completely invalid, then. If they can spawn in ponds, then nothing changes. Hmm. Alright. Yeah, I think they spawn more in rivers. That might be true. That's definitely where I feel like I see them more often, but... If they can spawn in ponds, then theoretically it's possible, and that's all I really need to know. I mean, dude, I haven't even seen, like, a rare beetle on these trees. Forget like a stag beetle, or a giraffe stag beetle specifically. I haven't even seen like a Hercules, golden stag, goliath beetle, atlas, elephant. I haven't seen anything, man. Ridiculous. I looked it up and it says it does, I think. So you looked it up. Okay. Alright. 
Well, um, not like I'm even getting... It's not like I'm only looking for that. I suppose if I do get a giraffe stag by some miracle before I get a giant water bug, then I can go back to my island and get the giant water bug there, where there's plenty of river and real estate to work with, so... If that does happen, I have a hard time believing that, that, that I'll get a giraffe stag before I'll get a fucking giant water bug, but if it happens, I suppose... Giant water bugs have the most painful bite of all the bugs. I'm pretty sure a bullet ant is the most painful, right? Has it not been, like, thoroughly... Wasn't there, like, a guy that actually made, like... In fact, it's not even, like, a... Isn't there, Ben? Like, I know this is fact. There's literally a guy out there that got bit by every biting and stinging bug in the world and assessed them on a pain index, and he said... Bullet ants, you know, the name kind of implies that they're... That's not Coyote Peterson! Coyote Peterson did not make that, chat. Now, he did get bit by a lot of the things. He didn't make that fucking thing, okay? I forget what it's called. I forget the dude who did make it. Coyote Peterson did not fucking make that, okay? Christ. No. Jesus Christ. Coyote Peterson, chat? Jesus. I... No, there's a guy who, like, got bit by everything in the world and made a pain index. And I forget what it's called, but he actually, like, he ranked the bullet ant the highest. So I'm pretty sure the giant water bug, yeah, the Schmidt Pain Index, there you go. Pretty sure the giant water bug is not the most painful because the bullet ant was deemed the most painful. I met Coyote Peterson. Was he nice? Why would you do that to yourself? Science, I guess, man. He, he made a, I don't know, he made a name for himself. He made a name for himself. I also have to assume, at a point, you kind of get used to it. Like, you can't completely nullify the pain of a bullet ant, but, you know, if you got bit by everything else that's, you know, uh, everything else at that point, man, you might, you, you might not be as nearly affected by it, you know? Coyote P Peterson Pain Index? Did he actually make his own pain index? It's not the original one, though. I don't think it's as scientifically revered as the Schmidt pain index, but maybe. Maybe. I am Coyote Peterson? That's awesome, dude. It might depend on the person, though, because that type of bite is different. It essentially liquefies your shit. It gives you diarrhea? That's crazy, dude. How's he still alive? I mean, I don't think, like, humans... I don't think there's any bug in the world that will kill a human anymore. Like, anything... We can get bit by pretty much anything, and with the proper medical treatment, I don't think anything can kill us. Now, the proper medical treatment being the key word. He's probably still alive because of modern medicine. That's the real answer, but... Yeah, I think humans... We're, we're now, like... We're too evolved to, like... Well, not evolved, but, like, medicine's so good anymore that, like, I don't think anything could kill us if we take the right action. I mean, yeah, Black Widows, if you don't do anything about it, sure, but, like... You'd almost, like, have to go out of your way to die to... I guess bees... Okay, allergies, I guess, kind of throw a little monkey wrench in the equation, but still. Even with, like, the proper medical attention, it shouldn't kill you. Liquefies the area inside and surrounding the bite. Ew. Bullet ant and pain index. Never was I saying that he's the one who made the index since I didn't know what you were asking. I see. But he ha bees have four eyes. Yeah? I That might be true? I don't know. I Do they have four eyes or are their eyes just like those complex eyes that have like a million different pupils on them? I don't know. Maybe dig holes to decrease grass bug spawning rates? Yeah, it'd also kind of limit my mobility around the island, which would be kind of annoying. Don't know how keen I am on that. This guy created the pain index. Hmm? Why did Coyote Peterson decide to get bitten by so many things? I don't know, man. YouTube views? That's a good reason. Legitimately. Man's probably made more money doing... getting... I don't know. He's probably got- he's probably made more money getting bit by all those bugs than all of us have made in our collective lifetimes, okay? So, I don't know what I'm saying is that I would probably do that. I'm kind of a little pussy as well, like, I- I'm kind of like, ooh, get off me when I see a bug. 
But I think that if I could make my living for the rest of my life, live lavishly for the rest of my life by getting stung by a variable amount of extremely painful bugs and insects, I would do it. Absolutely, I'd do it. It's for the money. And also, I think he... He says that, I think, as well, he's trying to teach us the power of these bugs. No, that might be true. That's a nice sentiment. He's trying to show off, you know, why we should respect the bugs around us, you know? That's true. That's all well and good. But, like, you know, there's also money to be made in that as well. What's up, Citrus Boy? How are you doing? Just join what's left to catch. The giraffe stag, the giant water bug, and those are the only two that I can catch right now, and then the dams will fly in December. The dams will fly in December, once I get to that point. A tiger beetle. A dickhead. A bozo. Get out of here. Get. Scoop. Can I not get that thing to leave? The moose. Get it out of here. Alright, it'll despawn probably. Fire ants are bad? Fire ants are bad, but relative to a bullet ant, I think you'd probably take a hundred fire ant stings than one bullet ant. I don't know him, but he sounds like a lazy villager. Who sounds like a lazy villager? Annette! Thanks for the gift sub to Really Epic Gamer 225. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And a really epic gamer. Enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad-free viewing. I appreciate that. Thank you. I'm eating a Lunchable and they shorted me a cracker? Well, that's just egregious. I mean, look, there's a lot of shit going wrong in the world, man. We got gas prices at $6... I was gonna say $6 an hour. $6 a gallon? We got... We got, we got a lot of shit going on in the world, man. And you got shorted a cracker in your Lunchable? Well, that's just the boiling point right there, man. That's just, that, that's the straw that broke the camel's back, quite honestly. Quite honestly, I don't know if I'm ready to continue in this society anymore. I don't know. I've had Kit Kats without the wafer before. Some people would, and this is fucked up, some people would be like, that's good. There's people out there that, that, that say that that's good. That you didn't get the wafer. Oh good, that means you got all the chocolate. To them, it's fucked up people, man. It's fucked up people. People actually think that that's good. That is fucked. Yeah, just buy a normal chocolate bar at that rate. The wafer's the best one I'm saying, man. There's people out there that think that's good. If you could be any villager, who would you be? I think I would be Dagnal, man. Pretty cool. Like, you know, I'm alright. Just doing what I do. I think I'd be Dagnal. I mean, Dagnal villager. Dagnal type villager. Yeah. Dagnal species. Dag, give me a villager to hunt for. Barreled. And don't say no, because you asked me. Which means that you were at the mercy of whatever I said. So, no, you, you can't be like, no, I'll pick another one. No, like, you asked me. Which means that you clearly think that my opinion is... You know, you obviously hold my decision in high enough regard to have asked me in the first place, so... Don't, 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 don't do that thing. Oh, hi. Hi, 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 Alright, 91. All we need is an atlas beetle. On this island. You obviously hold my opinion in high enough regard to where you would ask me in the first place who you should hunt for. So don't... I could give you any villager I want, and you would have to, you know, you would have to do that. Rebecca! Hello. Long time no see. Wicked depressive episode. Thank you! Anyway, hope you for the 11 well. months in a row. Yeah, I've had those before. Them wicked depressive episodes where you just don't feel like interacting with society for a while. Yeah, I've been there before. Thanks for the 11 months in a row. I appreciate that. Thank you. And enjoy another month of emotes and add free viewing. That's a lot of months. Thank you very much. And I hope it gets better for you. I've been there before. Presume you're not going to finish tonight? If I can get a giraffe stag, like, right now, or really within, like, I don't know... It wouldn't... A damselfly would be so easy. A damselfly will be so, so easy. 
So if I get a giraffe stag, like, now, or within, like... I don't know, 30 minutes? I could definitely finish today, because a damselfly would take 5 minutes tops. It'd be so easy. So, really, this is the only barrier I have left, is the giraffe stag. It's literally the only bug that will give me grief. Alright, we finally got a rare beetle. Um, I was starting to wonder, like, whether any rare beetles could spawn right now. Like, I hit 100, so everything... A giraffe stag should be able to spawn. I got 171, for God's sakes. So, I don't know, man. No giraffe stag, though. And... Yeah, I don't know. I guess just if we can get the giraffe stag, literally it would take five minutes to get the last thing that I need. So, we could finish today. It's all about this giraffe stag. What bug do you miss? You missed the giant water bug. I just got that. And outside of that, now the only, the only pain in the ass bug is the giraffe stag now. It's a cyclomatus. It had me excited, though, because it has long, long pinchers. Opinion on Avery, the villager? Avery is good. Avery's good. Maybe the best cranky eagle? Not that there's a lot of them out there. There's Apollo, and then there's... That might be it? Sterling? I don't know. No, Ster not Sterling, no. Frank? Maybe Frank. So, yeah, you only got two other competitors, but, you know, he beats them both. Maybe go to 7 p.m.? Why would 7 p.m. help? And also, if I time travel, then I'll have to remake the island to the, uh... Yeah, there you go, there's another one. If I time travel, then I'll have to remake the island again. Which I don't want to have to do. Spawn rate for Giraffe Stag is catching 100 bucks. Yeah, I know. And I got 170-something. Thanks for the hydro. I don't really see why going to 7 p.m. would help, but... I would have to remake the island anyway if I did, which I don't really want to have to do. Or I could take the coconut trees back to my island and then try to farm it up there, but again, you don't really want to do that because you have a lot of spawning area on your island, and clearing it out to where it most efficiently spawns what you need would be a lot easier on a little Nook Miles island than on your island. Suggest to trap the kangaroo between holes before it could scare the beetle like Portia did in Wild World? You know, I was thinking about that as I see her wandering around these palm trees over here. I was thinking about that too. And I was just kind of hoping that when the time comes, if the time comes, that I do see a giraffe stag. But that just simply won't happen? But maybe I should be proactive, shouldn't I? Maybe I should be more proactive in making sure that that can't happen. I don't know. I'm, I, but, 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 I've just kind of, like, been under the assumption that, oh, surely that couldn't happen, surely, but, I mean, she is getting close to these trees, man, and it is making me a little nervous, so you know what, maybe, maybe you make a valid point, maybe, can they get mad at you on islands for pushing them around, maybe you make a valid point, I'm going to take preventative measures, and, Put her in like a little hole here, okay? I'm gonna put her in a little hole. I'm gonna put one right there. I'm gonna put one right there. Don't you go away from me. Don't you. Don't. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop. Stop. Seriously. I'm gonna get mad. I'm gonna get mad. I'm going to get mad. You're gonna make me mad. I right, put you right there. Put you. Move. Uh. No. Put you right chair. And then gonna do a little, little bit of what? There we go. All right. Now you can't get in my way. Now you can't get in my way. When a giraffe stag comes, now I know I don't have to worry about you. No mo. Even if it's a little unethical, that's okay. Peter would be very mad at me if they were watching my stream right now. <laughs> if that, if that nonprofit organization could read, they'd be very mad at you. Kangaroo Jail. Exactly. I mean, when you consider it, kangaroos are already native to Australia, which many would already consider jail. So I don't know. Maybe if you think about it, this is nicer than that. I don't know, though. Open for debate on that one. She's trapped? Yeah, she's fine. She has been contained. Yeah. I always fear villagers get mad if I push them, so I have to do it in camera mode. Oh, yeah. That's a good actually... Oh, that... 
the the cicada cell despawned. How did it? How did that? How did that despawn? It literally, I was on this island for like an hour by this point, and it was just there the whole time. And now it's despawned. How the hell did that happen? How the hell did it despawn? Is it because I spent like so much time over here that I like unloaded it for long enough to where it despawned? Is that how it works? Is that how it works? Interesting. For like an hour that was just sitting on the tree and now it's just gone. <laughs> maybe. Yeah, maybe I just unloaded it for long enough because I was trying to get Kit into that hole over there and it was long enough to get the skater shell to actually finally despawn. That's an insult to my country. Australia is the dumping grounds for all of God's abominations. I heard it's a pretty nice place, honestly. I was just having a little goof at the expense of Australia, but... I don't know. I've never been there. I guess I can't really say. Maybe you got bored sitting there? It's a cicada shell! It's not even alive! It doesn't feel emotion. It doesn't feel boredom, sadness, glee. It doesn't feel none of that. Originally, it was a prison island. I don't know the history of Australia very well, obviously. Standing there, looking at the horizon. Yeah, like... Is she even, like... Has she even moved? Like, yeah, yeah, she's just been sitting in that position! My man's froze. He hasn't moved in 40 minutes. He's just looking out of the damn horizon! Like, I guess because that's where she, like, wants to walk, but obviously she's not able to, and so she just gets stuck there, I guess. I don't know, just looking in that position. Man, my guy froze. Kenny, thanks for the tier one. Thank you. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad-free viewing. I appreciate that very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you and enjoy. Yeah, she's just fucking sitting there. She's thinking about drowning herself? Why? Ah! Oh, Jesus, that actually scared me. That actually scared me. Wow. I don't usually get scared. I don't act- I don't usually get scared, man. By scorpions in this game. That actually got me. That scared the fuck out of me. My god. Jeez Louise. And she's out of the damn hole now! What? How did that happen? Oh, this is fucked. This is- it's a fucking conspiracy. She paid that scorpion. Oh, this is- this is messed up. SCP containment breach. Look, the holes are still here. How did you do that? Because the loading screen? I guess so. I guess so. Yeah, interesting. She planted the scorpion. All I'm saying is like, I don't think it take. I don't think it's like a deep level conspiracy to assume that she paid that scorpion to bite me so that she can be freed from her imprisonment. Now, do I re-imprison her for such a? I don't know. Like, that's pretty clever, honestly. It's pretty clever. No, I did not get diva. What? Just because I'm talking about imprisoning them? No, it's not Diva. Yeah, I, I would like to put her back to the hole, but, like, I don't know. You gotta kind of respect that. And now she's got, like, a grudge against me for locking her up that if I ever do get a giraffe stag, now she's gonna be fucking out for vengeance. You can't break out of prison? I read that in one country. I forget which one. It's actually legal to break out of prison. I think it was Germany. Hey. You got a cold blanket? How does it stay cold? It's not that cold. What do you mean? This thing is not that cold, man. What is a cold blanket? Why don't you just not use a blanket? Yeah, but why- Like, if you want to be cold, why don't you just not use a blanket? I'm not using logic! I'm just saying! Mamma mia. Anyway, apparently Kristen got a cold blanket from Costco. Seems a little like an oxymoron, but I guess. I mean, I can tell, like, with the fabric that it probably just doesn't absorb heat as well, which is probably what calls it a cold blanket, but I don't know. I guess that's what it means. 
cold blankets are elite? Look, if they're like, if they're nice, I can consider getting a cold blanket, but I had never heard. It feels like every time I go to Costco, they introduce some fucking, like, some like weird outlandish thing that I'm like, oh, well, I never knew I needed a. Huh? A fire pit? Didn't use charcoal, propane, or gas. Did you use wood? Uh huh. Interesting. Free energy device discovered. I don't know. Interesting. Yeah. Every time I go to Costco, it's like I always discover this thing that's like I didn't know I needed that, but now I think I need that. Like apparently a. Uh, a free energy fire pit, apparently. <laughs> I didn't know I needed a free energy fire pit, but I guess I do now. I guess I do. Yeah, I've never heard of a cold blanket, but, you know, Costco's always, like, rolling out things that they just, like, I don't know, just, they, they perfectly, they perfectly, like, uh, come up with things that we as humans instinctually, all right, you know what? You're getting too close to the trees. You're getting too close to the trees. You are, you are, you are getting too close. Yeah, you know where to go. You know where to go. Getting too close to the trees. Kit got out because a scorpion fucking bit me, and then since that made a loading screen, that made it so that now she's free. There you go. Easy enough. Getting too close to the trees for my comfort there. Um. Yeah. Anyway. She's moonwalking. Yeah. I'm she, curious if she's gonna be stuck moonwalking now. She wants to be trapped? Yeah, she knows what she did. She knows what she did. Rainbow. Mm. The baby hired the scorpion? Maybe. Could be. I'm not against sending a baby to jail as well. There's no better blanket. It's better than no blanket because it feels safer. Are you one of those people that, like, can't stick their feet off the edge of the bed because fear of, like, a monster grabbing it or something? I've never understood that. I've never had the problem where, like, there's a part of me unexposed by a blanket as I'm in bed, and I feel like it's uncomfortable because I feel like something's gonna, like, grab my leg. That's always, like, I don't know, I just never understood that. It's just, I never understood that. I can't sleep without a blanket? Like, why not, though? Because it's like a a, a a comfort device? I don't know. I've never been, like, the kind of person that, like, I, I, oh, no, I can't have my, like, foot hanging over the bed. Something's gonna grab me. And I'm like, I, I don't, I don't know. I've never had that problem. I heard babies in jail. Yeah, that's what we're all about here. Is Kangaroo's Joey sentient? I've never seen it blink. I think it blinks at the same time. And this is even weirder than that, honestly. It blinks at the same time the mom blinks, I think. Organic chicken and sweet potato treats for Stanley. Alright, well he's now following you into the room. There you go. Furry... Furry Republic? Furry Republic? Yeah, you eat one, you turn into a furry. Interesting. Alright. There you go. I'm not going to eat one. I don't want to turn into a furry. Linus had an impact on me, but they're just soft and comfy. Linus? Like from Stardew Valley? Or Linus Tech Tips? Interesting. Good to know, though. Mosquito be like, yeah. Yeah, actually, uh... I actually don't catch mosquitoes, because I'd rather them bite me than take the durability off my net. Oh, Linus from Peanuts! Of course! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's so true. So true. He needs his comfort blanket. Forget Stanley. I'll eat those. You're gonna eat a... I mean, dude, like, all I'm saying is that if they didn't want, like, young, curious kids to eat dog treats, they shouldn't be making them look so goddamn good. Right? Like, it's not my fault that as a kid, my childlike curiosity made me consume a few milk bones in my day when they make them look as goddamn tasty as they do and they label them as like 
beef and gravy supreme or something like that. Look, all I'm saying is that any child who has like half a wit about them will definitely give it a try. Because how could you not? Don't yell at me. Stop making them look so damn tasty if you don't want me to eat them. If all the ingredients are human food, how could you not? Yeah, like, I don't- I kind of feel like if you wouldn't eat it yourself, why would you let your dog eat it, you know? Scooby-Doo Snack Graham Crackers. No, I don't think I've ever had Scooby-Doo Snack Graham Crackers. What an odd combination. <laughs> Did you like them? They were fine. I don't know. I definitely obviously didn't develop, like, a, a too much of a liking for them because I didn't, like, eat the whole damn box or anything like that. Could have, would have been quite rude of me if I did, honestly. I'm nearly 40, and some of those dog and cat food commercials get me wanting to try it. Look, man, anyone who denies that they would never... Anyone who denies that they would never try, like, a dog treat or something like that, honestly just needs to, like, let loose a little bit, man. Live your life. Don't feel like you need to follow the, the bindings of what humans should and shouldn't do, okay? Fuck it, eat a dog treat, man. Who's gonna stop you? Who's stopping you, man? Only you. You're stopping your damn self. They smell so bad? They don't smell great, but they're obviously not bad enough to where I wouldn't eat them. I don't know, man. Those puffs and yogurt melts are bangers? I don't think I've ever tried- well, I obviously have tried baby food. You can say it's been a while, though. You can say it's been a while. Many of those foods aren't safe for humans because they contain raw food. Look, man, I ain't never gotten sick from them. At least I don't think. I mean, I don't know. Like, obviously dogs can handle raw food better than humans can, so I don't know. I don't know. Same with, yeah, Sco Scooby Snacks are just regular graham crackers shaped like dog bones. Wait, they're a dog food? Uh oh I thought graham crackers were human food. Uh, I don't know, chastity crackers, which is true, by the way. That is what they were invented for. Bosco has meatball dog treats. Caught my nephew eating them. Meatball dog treats. That just sounds delicious. Minus the dog treats part. I like meatballs. They're good. How are you going to label something as meatball dog? If they want to get kids to stop eating dog treats, call them like turd. I don't know, just call them turds. That'll get them to stop eating them. I don't want to eat turd. Of course, you'd also wouldn't sell too many of them either, but still. If you want to get kids to stop eating them, call them something that's only appetizing to dogs. Like, dead shoe or something like that. They love those. They love those. Did you just say chastity crackers? Yes, I said chastity crackers. I believe graham crackers were invented um, because they were seen as a cure for masturbation. You know, you can see how far that went, but, uh, they don't taste anything like modern graham crackers do, because those things are pretty tasty. I don't think, uh, they make anyone less likely to, you know, to slap it, to, to slap old Sally around, but, uh, either way. Oh, is that cornflake? No, I think graham crackers were the same thing. I think graham crackers were invented for similar purposes. Yeah, that damn masturbation. Is that true, or am I gullible? I'm pretty sure this is true. I'm not saying this as a joke. Whether I'm wrong or not, I, I'm trying... I am definitely saying this, because I think it's true. Maybe I'm lying, though. I don't know. Maybe I am thinking of cornflakes, but I'm, I think graham crackers were also invented for that purpose. I guess for, you know, many times the government's tried to come up with, you know, solutions to this problem. It is both. That's what I thought, man. That's what I thought. I need Mythbusters? I don't think they would do that on Mythbusters, man. I don't really think that there's, like, an effective way to test that. Besides, it's definitely a myth. What is this? I'm, I'm skeptical about links. I don't want to click that. Give me PTSD or running around in the finals line trying to catch those summer tree bugs? Yeah? That's exactly what I'm trying to do. Um, I don't know, like, I've seen... A couple elephants now, I've seen a goliath. I mean, obviously these bugs can spawn, otherwise I would never have seen them in the first place, but just not the one I need. I think the, the giraffe stag and the Hercules beetle are, like, notably more rare than, like, than the, uh, I don't know, like the goliath or the Hercules, no, not the Hercules, but the, 
Well, maybe the golden stag is as well. I don't know, man. Either way. It's getting annoying. It's giving me... Yeah, like, I don't know. I, I don't know about PTSD, but definitely getting annoying. Why do they want people to stop... I don't know why they want people to stop touching themselves. I don't know! Why does the government care? What bugs are left? Just the, uh... Giraffe stag and the damselfly. The only tough one of the two being the giraffe stag. I do not think that... The damselfly will be that hard. In fact, I know it won't be that hard. I have never struggled in my life to catch a damselfly when I went out to try and go get it. So, literally, just the giraffe stag is the only one that's going to give me grief. And it already is giving me grief, but... I don't know, I'm not going actually insane quite yet. But I'm getting a little tired of hunting for it. <coughs> Thanks for the hydrate. The guy who made graham crackers claimed being horny caused epilepsy and eventual insanity. Um, did my man, like, my man's has just outed himself as someone who gets no, he, my man's just, I don't know, unless he's like, <laughs> I don't know, it's like, did my man's just say, like, that he, he just don't get none? Because, I don't know, that's kind of what it sounds like to me. Sounds to me like he, uh, I don't know, he, he, it sounds to me like my man's just never had engaged in coitus with a female. I don't know if I'd be so willing to embarrass myself like that so much to where I invent a food. Like, now his, his legacy is inventing a food that is delicious, graham crackers, and being known for the guy who never got none because, oh, that would be bad for your health. I don't know, man. Kind of sounds like a big L for that guy. Sounds like a double L. Me, a nurse who gives graham crackers to all of her patients? What do graham crackers do in a medical purpose? Are they, like, good for your stomach or something? Like a saltine? Maybe. He made both cor- He made both- You're telling me. You're telling me. The guy who made graham crackers also made cornflakes with the same purpose. To get people to stop touching they, they, their little Johnson down there. You're telling me they... Ah, oh, there's two walking leaves next to each other. You're telling me he invented both of them things. He invented two foods in his... Oh, no, different dudes? Oh, okay, well, now. Does not click for some reason. They're so good. Because I think graham crackers are nothing like they were back when they were invented. I think that graham crackers were probably, like, actually just horrible. I, I feel like... The only reason a graham cracker tastes good is because it's, like, got, like, some nice... Oh, shit! Wait, I haven't caught a blue weevil beetle yet. Hang on. Wait. I need this. I... My counter must be off. Because I do still need this, don't I? I still need this. What the hell? Well, now I'm at 92... And now, but I still need a giraffe stag and a damselfly. Wait, where did my counter get off? Where did my counter get off? I must only be at 91. Oh. Well, I guess either way, I, we're still at 91. Okay, I forgot that I needed a blue weevil beetle. It, for some reason, just... I just forgot. I just forgot I needed a blue weevil beetle. Well, good thing I caught it before uh, getting the giraffe stag. Because otherwise, I would have completely forgot I caught it. And then when the YouTube comments be like, What about the Blue Weevil Beetle? I'd be like, Ah, oh, shit. Yeah, you're right. I forgot. Yeah, I guess I must be at 91. I'm wondering when the counter got messed up. Because obviously, at some point today, it must have. But, oh well. Carry on, I guess. I forgot Skull Emoji. Exactly. Is when things go downhill? I mean, I don't know if you can say it's going downhill. We just got a bug that we needed. Even if I didn't realize that I needed it. I'd, I'd, I'd call that a, a dub, personally. Maybe when you time-traveled? Maybe? I don't know. I guess the counter isn't the be-all, end-all anyway. Although I will say, I pretty much rely on the counter when I'm editing through this to tell when I get new bugs, because I'll go through the footage brrr, and see when the number goes up. So that'll be kind of a headache to work through when I'm actually editing this, but... Uh... 
Oh, I'm sure I'll be okay. Let's hope we're not missing other bugs. No, I don't think so. Because A, nobody's yelled at me. And B, I don't know. Even though we did forget that one, we did still eventually find it. So, I don't know. If we did forget about it, then who's to say we didn't already catch it along the way at some point? Check the Critterpedia. Okay, I mean, let's see. Earth Boring Dung Beetle. Okay, yeah, that's over here. Okay, we got that. Madagascan Sunset Moth. Yeah, that'll be over here. We got that. Um, Paper Kite Butterfly. Easy. Got that right here. And the common blue bottle. Right down here. Easy. Okay. Atlas moth. Right here. Easy. Blue weevil beetle. Easy. Giant water bug. Easy. Over here. Giraffe stag. Still missing. Man face stink bug. Got it. Rosalia batessi beetle. Got it. Alright. So, yeah. We're good. We just need the damselfly and the giraffe stag. So those are the only two that we're still missing. No one told you about the one you just missed, so... Look, man, I will, in editing, go through me catching every single 93 bugs, okay? So if I'm missing one, I'll figure it out eventually, okay? So don't worry about it. Don't, 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 don't need the... I don't need the content police over here, okay? I'll be the one... I'll, I'll literally go through me catching every single bug, okay? Don't worry now. Don't worry. Don't waggle that finger at me. I know what I'm doing. There's a fast confirmation? Yeah, I mean... I don't know. I don't know how the blue... I guess the blue weevil just slipped by me. I don't know. Standing there like, why'd you trap me? I have a child to feed? Look, if she has a child to feed, obviously her priorities are in the wrong place. She decided to take a vacation on a deserted island. I don't know, man. Sounds like her plans were doomed from the start. Isn't that right? Plink. Fuck them kids. Exactly. Yeah, I don't know. Feels like your priorities are out of place. So, not my fault. Not my fault. I'm innocent. Imagine having to go on a holiday and you get imprisoned by a bug-hungry stranger. I. This is the things that happen, man. When you be staying out past 2.30 a.m., this is the things that can happen. This is a risk she took. You know, you gotta be safe out there. Gotta be safe out there. I think I'm going to give it, like, 30 more minutes. Maybe not even that, because I am getting a little bit, uh, tired of doing this, you could say. Oh, I guess I have a thing to scare away. Two of them, three of them. Um, I have a little bit of a... No, I'm not going to put 92 and 94, because there's only 93 bugs. Like, I know that the 93, I think, is true. The 93 is true. I think my counter got messed up. In fact, I know my counter got messed up along the way. So, the 93 is true. Yeah, there's a blue weevil again. So, I don't know. Wish I can get back to Coca-Cola. Was a headache medicine? The secret ingredient being cocaine? Do you, though? Because, I, I don't know. I don't, I don't really want to develop a cocaine addiction just because I have a headache. Not me, personally, but, you know is so bad for you. Yeah, it's it's pretty bad for you from what I've heard. It's pretty bad for you. I don't I don't think I'd want to get a headache and then, you know, in my cure for that headache instead of taking a little ibuprofen, I just, you know, essentially snort a line of cocaine down my throat in the form of soda pop. I don't think I'd want to do that personally. Personally. Bacterial and viral infection. I love living in the modern era. Yeah, I love, like, modern medicine, where you didn't just, like, load somebody up with drugs, have them develop an addiction to those drugs, and then ruin their life through that way. It's pretty awesome, honestly. Cocaine-free since 1906? Has it been that long? I have a 46 bell turnip prize. Who wants some? Oh, me, please, me, me. That is pretty poggers. I agree, that is pretty poggers. Y'all ever, like, let some Twitch terminology slip into your day-to-day -day life? Like, y'all ever, like, have something good that happens in real life, and so you say, like, pog, and then you'll, 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 your friends or your co-workers be looking at you like, what the fuck's that mean? Or the ones that do know what that means, they're like, oh, you're a Twitcher! And you're like, that's even worse, honestly. I'd rather them make... I'd rather them just, like, look at me like I'm an idiot than think that I'm on Twitch, but... 
Pog is sadly an important part of my vocabulary. It's kind of... Yeah, it's kind of bad, isn't it? It's kind of bad. Although, I guess it's not the worst thing. Uh, Goober's now playing Fortnite. Um, I don't know. I guess, I guess there's worse things to do, but... I don't know, man. I don't, I don't really want, think I'd want to be caught dead saying Pog in a public setting where nobody knows what Twitch is. And they're like, what's Pog? I think I heard my son say that one time. Is that a slur? I don't want them doing that. I even go as far to say Cat Jam when I like a song. I think Pog is like the extent that I go. Or Poggers. Like if something's Poggers. I don't know. That might be the extent that I go to. I don't know if I say anything else that's like Twitch, uh, Twitch language in my day-to-day -day life. That might be the extent of it. Pog and its various forms. I almost said L plus ratio. Yeah, I almost said like rip bozo to someone one time. Not actually, but you know. Hi. You got some comfy sleep pants. Are they... Pretty comfy. I'm glad to see it. I didn't mean to. It's a slip. It's bad. How funny though. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully. Um. Oh, is that another cicada shell? It is. All right. I don't suppose I could now. Uh. So I think I got two cicada shells. Oh, this is kind of bad actually. I guess I could try to despawn them like I did last time. Interesting. I don't think I've ever seen two cicada shells at the same time in this game. They're pretty rare. Interesting. Alright. Cool. Well, I think that's kind of bad because they're taking up spawning spaces and I can't scare them away. But last time I managed to despawn one, I just like spent a lot of time over here. And they just despawned after a while, so... I don't know. I don't know. What can I do? Just hang out for a little bit, I guess? All these words are new to me. Yeah, but eventually you'll find yourself calling something Pog. Pog champ. Poggers. Cicada shell meeting on the second cliff? I guess so. I guess so. Why is the kangaroo in prison? Because I don't want a giraffe stag spawning and having fucking hit over there, scaring it away. She was wandering too close to the trees, girl bossing too close to the proverbial sun. So, I just wanted to lock her up to make sure that she doesn't scare away a giraffe stag when we see it. My dad's always making sure to let me know when his fourth grade students use gamer slang. Now, when you say gamer slang, what do you mean by that? Because that can mean a whole different ter bunch of things. I feel like that could mean, like, like really, like, offensive things, or just, like, saying Pog. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Like, when... Oh, there you go. Yeah, that worked. Okay, cool. We know how to despawn things now. Cool. And I still don't really understand what Pog means. Well, okay, so Pog stands for player... Play of the game, which I don't... It was, an, it was an emote that was introduced to Twitch, like, way back in the day, and it stands for play of the game, and it's a, it's a show of excitement. When, when something is Pog, it is exciting, it is cool, it is good. That's essentially just what it means, but what it literally means is play of the game, which I don't think translates too well to its modern meaning, because it was made forever ago, relative to the age of the internet. Isn't that P-O-T-G? Yeah, but like, the is like a minor word. It kind of just gets like ignored in the anagram or the acronym or whatever the fuck that shit is called. Didn't occur? Didn't it occur as that toy you found in chip bags? No, I know what you're talking about, but no, I don't think that's the context behind calling them Pog. I think Pog is Pog. <laughs> a, for lack of a better term. Passion Fruit Orange Guava. That might be what it stands for. I don't know. We'll have to ask Twitch on that one. Acroname. Acroname? I don't know. 
It's like, wow, you just did the coolest thing in the slash game of choice. Yeah, and then, and then, then now it's just used to describe, like, broadly anything that's exciting. Because that's, I guess, how language works, you know? It evolves. Also, games like Overwatch used to identify the player of the game as well. Does it not still do that? Back when I played Overwatch, around when it released, it would be like, player of the game. Or, no, 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 sorry, it would be play of the game, right? It wouldn't be like a player in specific. It would be like one particular play where somebody like pulled off like a fucking like pentakill or something like that. Oh, it does? Does it still? Okay, I haven't played it in a long time. At this point, it'd be better to take the palm trees to a new island, having more potential spots. Yeah, but then I'd have to cut down everything again. I'd have to trample all the flowers, and I would have to perfectly manicure the island to exactly how I got this one. And I'm like, is it worth the time to do that again and bring the trees to the island? If I don't get it today, I will grab the trees, and then I'll do that for tomorrow when I eventually go to another island tomorrow. But I don't think that would be worth it quite right now. I don't know. I think, like, giraffe steak is just rare, man. Like, I don't think, like, you can make the island as prim and proper as you want. It, it is just a rare bug, unfortunately. They had a guy with the shocked face for the Paul Gimo before it was the snake. Oh, okay, first of all, it's a Komodo dragon. Uh, second of all, yeah, that guy said some pretty insensitive shit, and he was the face of Pog, so Twitch, uh... Twitch did the thing where they, um... They held, like, a month-long competition to see who would be the new Pog face, and then the community decided who the who the new Pog face was, and then they just made it the Komodo hype face, which is the which is already an emo, so I don't really understand why they settled on that, but I guess it's fine. I don't know. I guess it's fine. You know, I don't really use Pog champ anymore. It's not, you know, I'm more of a, I'm more of a Poggers kind of guy myself. Bring more palm trees to a Nook Miles Island and help it spawn more of the rare beetles? Sure, it would help, sure. But, you know, at the cost of how much time it would take to do all that, you know? Like, that would take a while. Yeah, I like Poggers, dude. That's That Poggers kind of a jam. I like having Pog Pride. Yeah, Pog, those Pride emotes from, like, two years ago now are still amongst, like, some of the best global emotes. Those are pretty good. I kind of wish they would bring those back but like add on to them like they never went away you can still use them but bring like bring more of them because i really like the style of those i really like the style of those spare a thought to those of us without bttv i mean what's stopping you though what's stopping you from better, better getting better twitch tv like spare a thought to you but like well you, it, it's that's that's on you unless you're on mobile but I don't know, I guess I could see. I don't know why you wouldn't have it, though, if you watch it on PC. I think it's probably available on most browsers. I guess mobile, yeah. Kind of wish the Twitch mobile app would, like, team up with those extensions to, like, at least make it so that the ads... Not the ads, but the, the emotes work. I don't know. Why are you not catching every bug? Because I don't need every bug. I don't need every bug. Oh, a Bandit Yoshi stream? Is he live? Well, maybe I'll raid him after I'm done. Maybe I'll raid him. Yeah, I don't need every bug because I only need the giraffe stag and the damselfly. The damselfly can't spawn right now, so right now I only need the giraffe stag. Solely focused on the giraffe stag for the moment. Let the scorpion go for a swim. Yeah, I did release him into the water, didn't I? Whoopsie! 24 hours? Yeah, 24 hours. Um... I forget, how long was the fish? Was it like 23-something, I think I remember? Was it like 23? So the bugs... And I expected the bugs to take longer than the fish, so I'm not necessarily surprised by this, but, uh... I don't know. How much was it? It was like 23... I want to say it was like 23.19? But maybe I'm wrong about that? We're in August right now. I don't suppose it would be any different in July, but then again, if I time travel, I'll have to remake the island completely, so... Kinda don't want to do that. A little pain in the ass. I don't know, though. Yeah. I think... I expected this to take longer than fish, so I'm not... I'm not necessarily surprised or disappointed that it did take longer, so... 
Is it like a 1% chance? Yeah, I think so. I think that, um... I don't know. But like, 1% chance is so vague, you know? Like, what does a 1% chance mean in the context of, like, spawning a bug, you know? Does it mean that any bug that spawns on a palm tree has a 1% chance of being a giraffe stag? Because in which case, I've definitely seen over 100. I mean, shit, I've seen probably a couple hundred bugs at this point. So, I am getting unlucky if that's the case. But at the same time, what's 1% mean? I don't know. Does it mean 1% of the time that, um... That this bug doesn't spawn, that bug doesn't spawn, and this bug doesn't spawn, then it has a 1% chance? I don't know. Like, I don't know. It's so weird to, like, hear percentage chances of bugs or fish spawning, because I feel like there's so many more factors to that than just having it be, like, a number, you know? But if it is just, like, one, theoretically, one in every 100 bugs that spawn on the palm tree could be a giraffe stag, then I'm getting pretty unlucky, because I've definitely seen and scared away over, like, you know, probably a few hundred at this point. But, that's how statistics work. Not, uh, ne never a guarantee, huh? Yeah, 1% my ass. That's kind of what I'm thinking, but I don't know. What does 1% even mean? Yeah, so many scarab beetles. I, I, maybe it was you, but somebody said earlier, like, Oh, I'm having trouble getting a scarab beetle, and I'm like, well... Yeah, I'll probably be seeing a few of those myself, won't I? It definitely is very vague. Yeah, I don't know. Like, the data mines are like, 1%, and I'm like, okay, 1% of what? I don't know. 1% of... Uh, I don't know. Okay, well, I mean, a Horned Hercules is, like, as rare as a Giraffe Stag is. Like, it's as rare, I'm pretty sure. Alright, well, let me make real extra sure. That's a good reminder to myself that when I do see a Giraffe Stag, I gotta be pretty careful. I gotta be pretty careful. That thing got scared away, and I was, like, not even really that close to it. Alright, well, that's a good reminder to myself that if and when I do see it, be very careful. So, thank you, Horned Hercules. You taught me a lesson. You taught me a lesson. I'll keep that in mind. I got all bugs for how bad at bug catching I am. Yeah, I mean, it's, I mean, with enough time, I feel like anyone could do it, you know? I got a tweet the other day that's like, I don't know anyone who's completed their museum, and I'm like, it's not that hard, man. It's just time. Just time, time, time. Please don't let the giraffe stag fly away. That would be so painful. I mean... I was like, oh, I can make a save state, but no, I don't think I can do that on this. Um, Look, I'm gonna try my dang darn darndest to make so that it doesn't happen, but... I guess I can't promise anything. I will try my best, though. It's a good... It's it's a good note. Yeah, that Hercules beetle taught me a valuable lesson about uh, the delicacy of... Not the delicacy, but the... Deli delicateness of some of the rare beetles. You know, let's be careful around them. Let's be careful around them. It taught me a very important lesson. The fish at the right of the island is rare, I think. The fish at the right of the island is rare. I'm talking about this one. No, it can't be rare, because I've only caught, like, two fish, and there's no rare fish that can spawn when you've only caught two, so it can't be rare. At least it can't be that rare, I don't know. Unless a fish out there has a zero total catch requirement, it's super rare, I don't think it is. Came so much quicker thanks to years. Thanks to a year to learn tricks? Yeah, there you go. I mean... Is there anyone else that has done, like, a video about completing their entire museum? And has done it faster than I did in, like, 60-something hours? Because, I don't know, man. Like, that video, I definitely made plenty of mistakes. And I definitely wasn't trying to go for, like, the greatest and most efficient time possible. However, I think I did a pretty good job, given, like, the circumstance, you know? I think I did a pretty good job. It definitely could have been better, but... I don't know. I think through sheer attrition, I'm probably... World record's 11 hours? Bullshit. The world record's 11 hours for a full museum speedrun in this game. That is absolute horseshit. I have no... No, no, no. Yeah, golden net and rod. What about fossils? What about paintings? What about deep sea creatures? Yeah. No. Like, that's not accounting for those three things. I don't know how much those are harder than bugs and fish. Like, maybe bugs and fish are the hardest, too. Uh, parts of the museum, but I don't know. Artwork is just a grind. It would take forever to get that done. No, that's alright, man. 
I was about to say, 11 hours, though. That can't be true. It's a pain in the ass? Oh, it is. You should beat your record. I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm probably never going to do another full museum speed run. I don't know. It's done. I did it. I don't need to do it again. I don't really feel like... Some people have been like... Oh, try to do a video where you, like, try to get better times on some of your videos. Hey man, and I'm like, no, nah, the they're, they're fine. This. I don't need to beat them. Definitely the best AC content Thank creator. you, Annie. I appreciate that. Thank you. It does take a lot of effort, and I hope you appreciate it. Thank you very much for the 100 bits. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I thought I heard a scorpion. Which one are you missing beside the draft stack? Damselfly, which will be in the winter time, And it shouldn't take too long, so... Once we get the giraffe stag, we're pretty much done because the damselfly will not be bad at all. Damselfly won't be bad at all. Oh, pardon me. I thought I heard a scorpion when I was back over here, but I guess I'm crazy. Presumably it'd be quicker now with red on Harv's Island? I don't think so. Because I really feel like I did it as fast as you possibly could. With just refreshing red stock over and over again. I don't feel like utilizing him on the island would make it any faster. Considering he has less stock on the island. And it's never a guarantee that he has something real. Or something that you still need. So you'd rather keep refreshing a day where you get four pieces of art. How did he bite me up there? Four pieces of art. And having it... I don't know. I, I think it's kind of weighted to where it has a higher chance of giving you something you might still need, but I don't remember the exact way it worked. I don't think it would... I don't think it'd be any faster. But maybe other things might have made the run faster. That's happened as time gone on, but uh, I don't think that's one of them. Will you do a full museum run on ACNL? Probably not, because that's just... I don't know, man. That's a lot of work. Like, I know that ACNL has less things than ACNH, but that's still a lot of work. I don't really know as well how I would route that, because I know a lot of the tricks to New Horizons as far as, like, how to get everything as efficiently as possible, but New Leaf I'm not as familiar with, so I don't know if I'd be able to route it as efficiently either. I don't know. I wish Harv's Island refreshed every day. That would be really nice, yeah. That would be really nice if it did. Whoopsie! It'd be really nice if it did. And now fucking Kit's gonna get out of the fucking jail again. Ugh. Ugh! Alright, I'm giving it ten more minutes. I'm giving it ten more minutes. Yeah, if you need to, like, grind out art, the way that I did it, I can't see as being anything but the best way of doing it. Keep refreshing the day that Harv is on- or not Harv, but Red is on your island. I don't think you can get any more efficient than that. I think that that's going to be the most efficient you can do it. But I don't know. I'd like to be proven wrong if I ever do want to grind artwork for whatever reason in the future. I'm getting Starbucks before they close. Good luck with the final bugs. Bye! Yo, enjoy your Starbucks. Thanks so much for being here. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Please hit Kit with the net. Bye! Unless you got a flea. Nah. Kid cannot be contained forever. The only thing that could free her is the scorpion. The only thing that can free her is the scorpion. Also, Kix no longer sells impish wings once you get him on Harv's Island. He no longer sells impish wings. Why is that important? I guess maybe you just like the impish wings. Why doesn't he sell them? It's very interesting. Yeah, Scorpion was a paid actor. So true. Pretty true. How'd she get out again? I got my ass bit, stung, otherwise bamboozled by a Scorpion. So, it, it prompted a loading screen, which makes her uh, break out of her prison cell. So, it was a pretty ethical prison cell, all things considered, at least. At least when you judge them by the average uh, American prison cell. I'd be seeing these photos occasionally that pop up on r slash uh, <clears throat> like damn that's interesting r slash crazy fucking photos or something like that and they're like Norwegian prison cell and like look, look it up Norwegian prison cell and tell me what you think of it because I'm like bro that's like a that's like a admittedly like budget apartment. Look up a Norwegian prison cell and look how like nice it is. It looks like a 
It looks like a lower middle class apartment. Which, when you compare that to, like... When you compare that to, like, what the average American prison cell looks like, I'm like, damn. That looks really fucking nice. That looks really fucking nice. I don't know. Kind of blows me away. They actually treat prisoners like human beings. Crazy. They classy over there, man. Hmm. It's almost like these things are correlated to a higher quality of life. Is there any wonder why Norway is always so high on the quality of life index? Hmm. They treat their civilians like human beings. Got to go to Norway and commit some tax fraud? Yeah, dude. Go for it. I've added college dorm rooms look <laughs> exactly, dude. They like a, I seriously like when I was at my sister's college, like she was going to college later that year, and so they were touring the campus and touring the dorms and stuff like that. It blew me the fuck away when I looked at some of them dorms and they're like as big as my fucking clothes closet. That fucking blew me away, dude. That blew me the fuck away. I'm like, how do you live in that? Like I was I was, I was- I was so surprised. I'm like, you can't live in that. There's no way. That's a fucking broom closet, man. But anyway. Yeah. Some dorms look literally worse than actual prison cells in Norway. Kinda fucked up. 5k a month? For what? For your apartment? Depending on where you live, like, that's probably pretty normal. I don't know. I'm in California. I- I, I look- I'm like, that's expensive, but I've heard of it before. Sky high tax rates, that's how? I suppose so. America is so wild though, TBH. I mean, we're not the only country out here wildin', but we're definitely up there for sure. We're definitely up there for sure. I bet if I got arrested in Norway, I'd have a better life than staying here in South America. Maybe, man. Like, legitimately, it's kind of sad where if I'm thinking about it, in certain points of my life, I could spend my entire life savings on a plane ticket to Norway and then, like, commit, like, a crime. Something that doesn't harm nobody, but just, like, you know, just, just honestly, just ask, start just being a buffoon. Have them arrest me, and then, like, live in a place that's cheaper and probably treats me better than my current life. And I don't know, man, I'm like, man, that seems like a sweeter deal than where I was at in some points of my life. I can't afford a Norway jail cell in America? Yeah, dude. Fucked up. What's the lowest? Yeah, like, what's the, what's the, like, least, what's the least destructive crime that you can do that could get, like, a long jail sentence in Norway? What, what, what could I do? I could commit, like, tax fraud or something? It has to be something non-tangible, right? It has to be something non-tangible. Like, I can't murder somebody. I would feel too bad. Like, I, I, I couldn't do that. I suppose, like, I could, like, show my ass in public? I could rob a bank? No, because then you're putting people through mental distress. I'm trying to do it in a way that doesn't cause any distress. I guess showing my ass in public might sh might have a little bit of distress associated with it. But... I don't know. Like, what could I do to get, like, a, the biggest sentence possible with doing the least amount of damage? Jaywalking? That's still a little distress inherent in that. I could insult the police? I bet they'd laugh! I bet in Norway the police would laugh if you made fun of them. Instead of tasing me. Damage infrastructure? Maybe. I guess I could damage infrastructure. I could, you know, start like kicking at the base of a bridge or something like that. I don't know. Steal a bunch of random small things from the corporate store? Yeah, there are any like evil corporations headquartered in Norway that I could just like start stealing from maybe? That'd be kind of fun. I can rip the tag off of a mattress without buying it. Oh my god. Relax, dude. Settle down. God. Christ. Relax, man. I'm not looking to get a life imprisonment. Execution. Christ. That scared me. I, I did not... I did not nearly get as freaked out as that one time, but that did spook me pretty good. I could take a TV from Walmart. Yeah, they have Walmart over there, right? The reason they are crimes is it affects people, so good luck finding something that doesn't affect someone. I Surely there's non-destructive ways of getting arrested in Norway, okay? It just takes a little creativity. Like, I could just, like, walk around downtown Oslo being nude. You can't tell me that that wouldn't 
get me arrested. Okay, now whatever human emotional distress that causes, I don't know. I guess that's open for discussion, but surely I'd get arrested for it. Piss in public? Yeah, I mean, that's kind of gross, though. Like, that would definitely ruin someone's day if I did that. I don't want to ruin someone's day. I just want to get arrested. I just want to stay in, like, a high-class luxury Norway prison resort. That's all I'm asking. I'm not asking for much. I'm a simple guy. Pirating? I've never heard of anyone get arrested for pirating, to be honest with you. I've heard of ISP sending you some nasty little letters in the mail, but I've never heard anyone getting arrested for it. Hi, first time on your stream. What's up, Meowth Vader? How are you doing? Welcome. Welcome, welcome. Be, be, be like an actual pirate? Oh, that'd be kind of cool, actually. Are FBI's seeing us discussing how to get arrested in Norway? They must be having fun. Yeah, I mean, you know. I provide my FBI agent with three to four hours of content five days a week, so, like, honestly, he should be paying me. Whoosh. Charge for pirating is just, like, a fine? Yeah, like, I don't think you're getting arrested for that. I think your ISP will fine you and probably drop your service. Probably about it, honestly. You could try trespassing. Yeah, maybe. Suppose. Try trespassing. Maybe. You were too close to that tree, madame. You were just too close to that tree. I ran out of your YouTube video, so I figured I'd come here. Welcome. We're working on another one. I was hoping to finish it today, but, uh, not looking so likely anymore. It's my second Atlas Beetle. Alright, cool. Second Atlas Beetle in, like, 30 seconds, and not one giraffe stag. Not one. It's just always, like, somebody said it earlier, it's always, always when I'm looking for something that they don't want to spawn it. I don't know. Then again, now that I think about it, I also have not seen a golden stag, which I'm not looking for, so... I guess it's not always the thing that I'm looking for that I don't get, because I guess I haven't gotten a golden stag, I don't know how many... I don't know, I don't think I've seen too many... I don't know, it's about the only other thing I can think of that I haven't seen an excessive amount of. Stags are just built different. Golden stag is rare. I feel like it's as rare. I've seen an elephant. I've seen a couple elephants. Um, I feel like it's as rare as a giraffe stag is, honestly, but uh, they're both, like, very fucking rare. I mean, this is just unfortunate reality of the giraffe stag is it's just fucking rare. It's just rare, man. Not much you can do about it. Like a blue steak. My zoo growing up had elephants. I think I've seen an elephant before. Surely. You know what I've never seen before is a panda. I think I've ever been to a zoo that had a panda. Although, me and Kristen want to go to the San Francisco Zoo when we're there. Um, in early July. What do they got there? Anyone got an experience at the, at the San Francisco Zoo? I know that it's the San Diego Zoo. That's like the good one in California. But, like, I assume the San Francisco Zoo is pretty good as well. How long have you been on this island? Couple hours now. Couple hours now. I don't know. Like, I, I, I think I said, like, 30 minutes ago that I'm going to give it 30 more minutes. And I'm like, I don't know, man. I, I'm not I'm not completely deprived of serotonin quite yet. But I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Kangaroo Joey that I got a pet? I don't think I would pet a kangaroo, to be honest with you. What you trying to get? Trying to get a giraffe stag. Trying to get a giraffe stag. You're in the DC National Zoo as pandas and it's free? I have been to DC, actually. But it was like part of a, um... It was a... Not really... A, it's like a school trip, but it wasn't. I was part of a club in school. And I like, did a performance that I did good enough to get a trip to Washington, D.C., and I, um, I don't know, we got to hang out at the, the Gaylord National Resort in National Harbor, Maryland for a few days, the nicest fucking hotel slash resort that I've ever been to, it was amazing, <clears throat> and I'll probably never stay at a place that that's not, that, that nice ever again, sadly. Kangaroos are vicious. Yeah, I don't think I'd pet a kangaroo, to be honest with you. I don't think I would. 
they're heckin' swole? They can be, at least. I mean, they're like the most humanoid-looking animal, other than like a, I don't know, various kinds of apes. They're pretty, like, human-like. A little scary, actually. Yeah, they're like, sup, bro. And they would legitimately kick my ass. I reckon to believe there's not many animals that could kick my ass, but a kangaroo is definitely one of them. Baby Pandas at the Toronto Zoo for his school trip a few years ago? That's kind of cool. The best school trip I ever went on, I guess, was the one in Washington, D.C., but I hesitate to call it a school trip because it's not like it was a field trip that anyone could go on. You did have to do something for it, but, uh... The nicest actual school trip that I went on, that was like a field trip that anyone could go to, was probably going to Kennywood, which is a big uh, amusement park in, near Pittsburgh. I went to Kennywood. That was pretty good. That was like our 8th grade graduation trip. For our high school graduation, you were able to go to Myrtle Beach, but it's actually kind of fucked up. They didn't take you to Myrtle Beach. You had to pay for the trip. So I didn't go, because I'm like, well, I'm not paying to go to Myrtle Beach with a bunch of people who are going to get drunk underage. And I'm like, I don't know. I didn't go to that one, but I guess I had the option for that one. But you still had to pay for it, so I'm like, what's the fucking point? Named after a guy named Kenny that owns some woods? Is that actually true? I can't say I know the lore of Kennywood. But maybe. Maybe. It's Kenny's woods. It very well could be. You end up going to Smithsonian or the zoo? We did go to the Smithsonian, actually, and that was awesome. I'm not normally very much of a museums guy, but the Smithsonian, I mean, come on now. How can you not enjoy the Smithsonian, then? Places like... If nothing else, architecturally, like, amazing. There's so much shit there to see. Kennywood Garfield ride? What's up with the Car Kennywood Garfield ride? It was originally a picnic park? Interesting. I did not know that. Have the cursed Garfield dark ride? No, what's the cursed Garfield dark ride? I, I don't know what that is, man. Like, see, if that was a if that was a giraffe stag, she would have scared it away. Like, she's a menace. She's an absolute menace. She she must she must go. I think. The Air and Space Museum. Yeah, that was one of the ones that we went to. I don't. We didn't go to all the different Smithsonian places, but um, we went to the Air and Space Museum, and I think we went to. Oh, God, I don't remember all of them that we went to, man. I truly don't. Garfield's nightmare. There's a roller coaster, or there was a roller coaster in Kennywood called Garfield's Nightmare. Fascinating. I don't remember that. All the Smithsonian since I grew up half an hour out. So are you, like, tired of it? Like, oh, I've seen all this shit before. Are you still, like, pogged whenever you go? I don't know. Seems like something that would still be fun, even if you grew around the area and you've been to it so many times. Why are you only getting Amper Butterflies? Because the Amper Butterflies can't be scared away by just running around them like most other bugs. You actually have to catch them to get them to despawn. It was a dark tunnel ride. It was a dark tunnel ride in Kennywood. So now I feel like I vaguely remember that when I took my trip. When did it, like, is it still there or did it get, like, torn down? Because I feel like I do remember that, actually, now that you're mentioning it. I don't think I went on it, though. Interesting. When did they, like tear it down if it's not still there because if it was around like 2010 that it was there still i think i remember that it was there when you went yeah it was like 2010 when i went i think i remember it actually i don't think i went in fact i know i didn't go on it. i feel like i remember that <laughs> it's been rethemed. oh to what what is it now fucking calvin and hobbs it was still Garfield themed in 2010? Yeah, I think I... Now, I don't know. Like, I don't want to say, like, you're jogging my memory here. It must have always been there, but, uh... I don't know. Ride still exists? They got rid of the Garfield thing. Well, that's fucked. That's just fucked. After running around for two hours now? I'm feeling good, man. I'm feeling good. I'm gonna give it ten more palm tree beetles before I give up, okay? Any bug that spawns on the palm tree. Okay, one, two, all right. Eight more. Half my childhood in Washington State, half in VA. Washington State, half in VA, okay. 
You know when I like going to the Air and Space Museum since I'm already in love with space, but there you go. I feel like every time you go there, seven, every time you go there, you probably see something new, right? Just seems like something that you can't get at all in like the first several trips, you know? I get sea cumber, sea cumber, sea, sea cucumber. Hey, I'm on a sea cucumber diet. I see cucumber, I eat it. They had little movies they play. Yeah, I do remember that as well. I do remember that as well. All right, but before I wrap it up, six. Before I wrap it up, though, I will um, grab some of these cocoa nuts, and I will take the trees with me so that tomorrow, when I hopefully finish this challenge, I will, I will, I will, I will, I will take the trees with me. So let's do that. Yelp Vader. Thanks for the tier one. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad-free viewing. Subbing for the commitment. Hey, man, I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate that very, very much. I've eaten sea cucumber before. It's really good. It doesn't sound really good, but I'm glad that you enjoyed it. It doesn't sound like it would be very good, though, to be honest. <clears throat> Doesn't sound like it'd be very good. But that's just me. I look pretty grody in this game, but uh, I guess I've never truly seen one in real life. Alright, six more palm tree beetles. Five more palm tree beetles. It's such an uncomfortable food to me. I don't know why. I don't know. I like shrimp. I like prawns. I like fish. I like... I've never had lobster or crab, but... Uh, five... I never had lobster or crab, but uh, I'm sure I'd probably like them. Sure, I'd probably like them. Kristen's allergic, so I can't like. Unfortunately, HelloFresh has a lot of good seafood options, um, but I'm never able to order them because Kristen's allergic. Four. So unfortunately, I'm not able to have seafood all that often. But when I do, when I do, hey, when I do, I very much enjoy. It. Get her, get her. Oh, it went right through her. This is fucked. Yeah, it's just fucked. There we go. I wonder if giant isopods are edible. I'm sure they are. Surely they are, right? She's unfazed. Completely unfazed by it all. The transactions of these events have not affected her in any way. Why the isopods? I don't know. They, they don't look very tasty, even if they are edible. I suppose they are literally edible, but... Oh, it doesn't sound very good. Four. Three. Dag and I are going to the giant Applebee's in San Francisco. Yeah. Cue all the people saying, Oh my god, you're going to San Francisco and you're going to eat at an Applebee's? Yes. Yes, the fuck I am. Okay. Two. And one. Yes. Yes, the fuck I am. Y'all got a problem with it? There's this giant ass Applebee's on... I don't remember the street name, but on, uh, it's by the wharf, okay? It's by the wharf, and there's this giant Applebee's, okay? We're gonna go eat at the fucking Applebee's. I know, I'm going to, like, the, the cultural center of the West Coast of the United States. I, there's so many, there's so much food out there that, uh, that's genuine and authentic, and you're gonna, you're gonna eat at the Applebee's? Yeah, yeah, the fuck I am. I am gonna eat at the Applebee's, because you know what? I respect the bees. It was so satisfying, my stomach hated me for it. Look, I'm here to tell you... I'm here to tell you, I know that Applebee's is not very good. But you know... Like... When your family takes you out to dinner, and they say, Hey, we're gonna go to the Applebee's. You don't complain. You're not complaining. Right? Anyway. Uh, I'm out of here. Uh, we'll try again tomorrow. For the giraffe stag, um, yeah, well, uh, hopefully it won't be too, too bad, but, uh, we shall see. We shall see. We only need the giraffe stag and the damselfly. I kind of feel bad for ending now because I'm like, no, those, those two, hopefully tomorrow, should happen pr pretty quickly, and then what, what are we going to do with the rest of the stream? I don't know. Um, we only need two bugs. The giraffe stag and the damselfly is not that difficult. I don't need to do a whole lot of explaining. Right now, the only thing we can get is the giraffe stag, so I guess let's work on that. I guess let's work on that. 
Kids didn't know drugs existed till then. That's true. I guess you could say that, like, kids genuinely didn't know that drugs existed before D.A.R.E. And so, kids now, they're like, oh, drugs. I, I guess. I guess that could be the association. I've been offered drugs exactly one time. Two dudes came up to me when I was in Turks and Kako, Ka Ka Kaikos. Yeah, I don't know how to say that. I know what you're talking about, though. And they offered me weed. Said no, and they left. Very anticlimactic. Yeah, and it's just like you said no. And then they just left. They didn't pester you. They didn't pressure you. Nothing. What has been the hardest to catch in any game across the series? I don't know. Um... To be honest with you, not, nothing, nope, well, I, yeah, I guess the banded dragonfly and debuts no more E+. Plus. But, other than that, really nothing's giving me a whole lot of problems. No, even the flea didn't take too long in debuts no more E+. Plus. That didn't take too long. The flea wasn't bad. I've had more peer pressure to use my laptop to take notes than to do drugs. I've been, yeah, I don't know if I've ever genuinely been offered drugs before. Like, I don't think anyone's ever asked me if I wanted, like, drugs. And even if they did, I probably would have said no, even without Dare. I don't really think Dare would- I don't really think Dare is the one that slapped me silly to saying no to drugs. The island bug- they were messing with my head, but that's because I couldn't get my information sorted out. I- I- I, I feel like that's more the issue than the actual- difficulty of catching them though you know is there like really weird spawning conditions but i don't know maybe i'm wrong <laughs> what dare should be actually used to be for how to say no to tv and movie recommendations how to say no to tv i definitely get recommended tv shows and movies way more often than i get recommended drugs that's for sure the 91 of 93 stands for there are 93 bugs total across the series and we have caught 91 of them Replace Dare with forcing children to watch the entirety of Breaking Bad. Okay, but... But... Breaking Bad is so good, though. Just, just, just... just, just it's so good, though. Just, just watch, like, a few episodes. And then from there, you'll just want to watch the rest of it. Oh, but come on now. Breaking Bad... Oh, but come on now. Breaking Bad's different now. How detailed the mechanics of a Japan-only game are from 2003? I guess so, man. I guess so. I guess I'm a silly little guy like that. But come on now, Breaking Bad's so good. But it will not make you want to do drugs. But will will make you not want... That's true. Breaking Bad is not only just a good show, it also makes you not want to touch meth. I don't know, at least it doesn't for me. I don't think I want to touch meth. I didn't really want to touch meth before Breaking Bad, but now I really don't want to touch meth. First time watching your stream after binge watching YouTube videos? It's a little late in France, but glad I don't have to go to work tomorrow to catch your stream. Yo, I hope your night is going well. I hope your night is going well, and thank you so much. And heroin, yeah, we all saw what happened to Jane. That would be a really shitty way to go out now, wouldn't it? Mmm, yeah. Yeah. Me and my friend watched the first episode of Breaking Bad for the haha -ha funny jokes, and we instantly got hooked and watched the entire show. That's how it happens, man. It's the gateway. It's the gateway to the rest of a good-ass show. I hope you enjoyed it. I mean, like, it's, it's often like... No, it doesn't make me want to sell drugs either. Although, I will say, it does make it more appealing to sell them than to do them. But, again, I don't want to have to deal with the legal overlap. I loved it. We're watching Better Call Saul now. Yo, I actually got to catch up on Better Call Saul because the new season just came out. And I only ever finished the first few seasons. I'm taking a break from it, though, but I'm not going to, like, pressure myself. Anyway, we got two. I got, I got some, um, I got some coconut trees here so we can bring to the island. We're going to have to get an island nice and trimmed up. To make it so that it basically only spawns what we need. Is there anything else that I need before I go do that? Like, I don't think so. I think we're Gucci. A lot of people said, oh, why don't you try to do it on your island? Like, why don't you try to get them to spawn on your island? And that might be true, but my island has so much more room with which for things to grow. I feel like... 
Well, now I need a Nook Miles ticket, though, and I don't have enough for a Nook Miles ticket. Um, well, shit. I just realized that. I gotta buy another Nook Miles ticket, and I only have what? Well, oh wait, no, I got 4,300. What the hell am I talking about? I thought that was 1,400. Oh, all right, never mind. Walking, watching Malcolm in the Middle after Breaking Bad is a trip? See, I went the opposite direction. I watched Malcolm in the Middle and then Breaking Bad. And I don't know, it kind of feels like it kind of works, honestly. Hal gets so tired of his family life that he moves on to becoming a drug lord, a kingpin. Island bugs on normal trees was probably due to an oversight, but the but who thought it was a good idea that you'd have to bring back palm trees to challenge to share them for a 5% chance? I guess it incentivizes, and this is just a stretch, but I guess it incentivizes going to the island. But I guess just making a bug spawn over there would be enough incentivization, but it would actually like make you work a little bit. I don't know, they just like making you work, I guess. I never finished watching Breaking Bad, and now I don't have Netflix so that I can pick it up again. Oh, hi, matey. That is a mighty fine problem you have there. Oh, arg, arg. Do you like that? Do you like my pirate impression? Do you like my, do you like my pirate impression? That was pretty good, right? That was pretty good. You should pirate it. You should pirate Breaking Bad. You should pirate it. You should download it illegally. Um, all right. I see the title of the video, but what's the other bug we still need? We need a, um, damselfly, other than the giraffe stag. And the damselfly is so easy to where I basically don't even acknowledge that, uh, it's going to be a challenge to get. Three words, soap, two, day. Is this, like, telling me to take a bath, or is this, like, an illegal streaming site? Instead of Breaking Bad, I suggest Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. I never watched Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. Would I enjoy it as an adult? I'm not really a Disney adult, so I don't know. See, I would, but I have no VPN and my Wi-Fi would disappear. You're getting- I mean, uh, I mean, I- yes, I understand. Your problems- your, your problems are valid, you're valid, you're- you're- you're valid. Um... I feel like, I, I don't know, your wi what do you mean your Wi-Fi is going to disappear? I don't really know what you mean by that. Like, you're going to get a nasty little note from your ISP being like, hey, stop doing that? Is that what you mean? Oh yeah, is this Rex on the island? Is it? Yeah, it is. All right. Well, now I got more palm trees with which to work with. So hopefully it shouldn't take too, too long to get a giraffe stack today. Yeah, like, you might get emails from, like, Comcast or something like that, but I'm like, what are they gonna do? They, that's all they've ever done, is just send emails. Do they ever actually deny people service? Hey, quit itching yourself. Hey! Boy, together, man. Come on. He's, like, licking his balls that don't even exist, and he's being loud while he does it. At least one thing to lick your balls, but, like, he's being loud. Just calm it down, man. And everyone in my house kind of works from home, so I can't risk that kind of stuff. I mean, okay, are, are you saying that you- that, are you implying that you want to torrent them? Because I promise you there's plenty of ways to, like, watch it without, like, torrenting. Like, I- maybe I made the false, uh, the false premise of, like, you have to torrent them, like, you have to download them. You don't, though. You just have to, like, just find a site that hosts them. And I've never had a problem for my ISP for being like, Hey, quit watching Spongebob illegally. I've never given- they've never given me guff for that. But I don't know. I don't know. Do I have a big ad as a banner at the bottom of the stream? I've never seen this before. Uh, I guess Twitch is looking to suck any little bit of, uh, extra money that they can out of my Twitch stream, so... They're running some ad banners now. I've seen those before as well. Um, it would be really nice if those were the alternative to actual like video ads, but unfortunately I don't think that's the case. I think that those are just, no, dickhead. I think that those are just like something more on top of the already annoying amount of ads that you get. So unfortunately, I think that that's just, uh, it's just yet another way that Twitch is going to be, uh, you know, soaking up the sweet, sweet revenue, all getting that, uh, get that sweet revenue from their streamers that they care about. 
I've never seen one on Twitch before. Yeah, it's, uh, <laughs> it seems to be something new. It seems to be a new thing. When I was in middle school, my science teacher's mom died. We were having a hard time, so she showed us House MD and had to discuss the biology in it, but one kid's mom thought he's just having kids watch TV and Karen Lee got him fired. Jesus Christ. That's, I, I mean, I don't know. I'm not going to try to, like, stir logic. I'm not gonna be like, oh, Karen's bad, because you don't need me to say that, but, like, my goodness. Can't just, like... I, I don't know. I had plenty of teachers that were just, like, amongst the types of people where if they're just not in a good mood, they'll just be like, ah, watch some fucking TV. Have it be vaguely related to what the hell this class is about. And I'm like, this is sick. This is awesome. I like this teacher. Now, did I learn a lot? No, maybe not. But, um, it's good, good class. I enjoyed it. I feel like I definitely had a better time overall in that class than I did in the class that actually made me learn things. And isn't that what's most important? It's just having a good time. It's not about... It's not about... Oh, you know, learning things, college preparation. It's about having fun. Can I be your friend in Nintendo? No, unfortunately my friends list is actually full. Because I'm just that popular... Just join. What did I miss? Nothing really. We're just getting an island nice and prepared for getting a giraffe stag to spawn. Hi, Dagnall. Hi, everybody. How's your Monday going? My Monday is good. As much as a Monday could be, I suppose. He was a marine biologist who literally wrestled, wrestled sharks, and his last name was Manly. Let's fucking go. Okay, that's pretty pog, actually. I, I like that a lot. I like Mr. Manly. I didn't, I, it was like the weirdest last name to a teacher I had. I had a Miss Issue, which was pretty funny. Um, it wasn't spelled like Issue, I-S-S-U-E, but she, yeah, I don't know. She wasn't my favorite teacher, uh, I gotta be honest with y'all, but I, you, you could say I had a small issue with her. Um, she was... She was kind of, she was kind of mean to me, but that's fine because I was probably just being a little rat kid, you know me. <laughs> I had a Mrs. Butt, not even joking. I'm definitely, I mean, there was a, there's a football player called Jake Butt, so the, the last name is definitely out there. I'm not surprised. Kids be ratty sometimes. Like honestly, I, I was just a little rat. That's probably why she didn't like me very much. A sub teacher named Mr. Bottoms. That's just I being a sub is already hard enough, man. Being a sub is already hard enough. And you gotta be waltzing around here as a substitute teacher called Mr. Bottoms. Oh my lord, I can only imagine the guff, the grief that they are given for being called Mr. Bottoms. I mean, that's pretty funny though. It's kinda like Neville Longbottom from Harry Potter, right? But then he's kinda like a badass, I don't know. He, he kind of is a badass. A Mr. Pink, who is a stereotypical evil villain, as you'd imagine. I would not imagine somebody called Mr. Pink as an evil supervillain. I would consider them to be somebody who's probably quite nice. And maybe just works at the Victoria's Secret or something. I don't know. Alright, let's get these cocoa nuts down. Yeah, there you go. Happy Mr. Pink. There you go. I don't think you're an ev evil supervillain, are you? You're probably a nice guy probably a nice you're probably a nice guy cares about his family friends the environment etc yeah definitely absolutely all right is there anything else i need to do i mean i can't access that top layer so don't yell at me about that um other than that get that nasty little artifact out of there there we go mr pink stood on a table to tower over a 12 year old and scream at him to weep Okay, he might be a supervillain then. He might be a supervillain. That's supervillain behavior, honestly. That's pretty supervillain behavior. I don't think he should be doing that. But that's just me, though. I don't know what I'm talking about. Alright, skedaddle. So we gotta try to scare away anything we can up here. And there's a lot of things up there, apparently. Good to see. I guess let's just do laps around and just see if I can't get something to spawn. Giraffe stag is a really long, it's got like big old, that's a giant stag. That's pretty rare. That's encouraging that at least we got something rare. How many hours do you have in AC? Like almost 
1700 now, I think. Pretty, pretty not setting a good example, but that's okay. That's all right. Someone dared to ask to be banned? They're asking to be unbanned now? Some, some, oh yeah, 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 I know what you mean, Spring, because I, I shared it on Twitter. And they were like, <laughs> okay. So for backstory, somebody came into my stream and they're like, hey, Dagnal, can you ban me, please? And they were like, and then I, I did. I, I, I was just following orders, really. You could try to craft a ladder? Yeah, with that crafting recipe that I don't have. They were like, hey, Dagnal, can you ban me, please? And I was like, okay, I did. I, so I banned them. And then they requested an unban. You're getting whispers about it? You're getting... This person's whispering you? Wait, why... <laughs> They tried messaging me to ask you to unban them. Why are they doing that when they told you? Why are they doing that when they asked to be banned? And now they're asking to be unbanned? Like, they're asking you guys in your Twitch whispers to unban you? Just block them, man. I'm not gonna... In fact, I'll, I'll deny the unban request right now because that doesn't sound like someone I'd want on my stream. That doesn't sound like somebody had one on my stream, and I would just... And they're like, sorry, I, sorry for what I did. And I'm like, you... No. Get out of here, man. And stop DMing. I mean, you're obviously watching. Stop DMing my viewers, please. It's very mean of you. They got better things to do. Play stupid games, win stupid prizes. It's not even a game! What do you, what do you expect me to do? You ask to be banned, you get banned. That's how it is, man. That's how it is. Wouldn't it be easier to just make a new account? Yeah, but then you get marked as a ban evader, which is actually a pretty pog thing that Twitch does. Ooh. That's it. That's it right there. It's actually this really cool thing that Twitch does where it'll mark someone as a ban evader if they clearly just made a new account to circumvent a ban. Hoo 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 hoo. Hoo 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 hoo. I'm gonna be very careful with this. These guys are very, very, very picky about how you, like, approach them. Like, if you're doing it like, I don't know, you would any other rare bug, they'll still get scared, dude. These things are extra timid. I think as long as they're still moving, though, you're good. Once they freeze, that's when you gotta stop. Do I want to review the cold blanket? Yeah, I used the cold blanket a couple of, or last night that we got a few nights ago. It was fine. I slept pretty good. Do -dum, do -dum. Oh, pardon me. Do -dum, do -dum, do -dum, do -dum, do -dum. Yoink. Let's go. All right. And now it's literally just a damselfly, which should take no time at all. No time at all. In fact, just wrap things up now while we're at it. Easy. Easy. Alright, and now it's just any time in... Well, if we go to 12.9, the snow won't have fallen yet, right? So, we want to do a time where the snow hasn't fallen, because that means no snowflakes will be around, and thus more damselflies. But, let's be honest with ourselves, even if there is snowflakes, damselflies are so common that they'll probably still be everywhere. Hey, first time here. What's up with the timer? We're seeing how long it takes to catch every single bug in the Animal Crossing series, and we are about to be done. We're about to be... It'll be under 25 hours for sure. I don't imagine it'll take 10 minutes to find a damselfly. What are you doing after? Fantastic question. I have no idea what I'm doing after this. How did the jack noise get fixed? The jack noise, as in, like, the microphone... sound? I don't know. I didn't do anything. Hey, Equippy. Thanks for the raid. Oh, and thank you, Blue Sweetheart. Arr, it's a raid. How do you say that? You say like a pirate? Like, arr, it's a raid. Thanks for the raid. I appreciate that. Weren't you in the, um, motherfucking, uh, Fall Guys tournament that we did? I don't remember. How did Team Sims do? Yeah, like a pirate. Like, you know... Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, weren't you in that tournament? How'd you do? Did you win any money? I hope you won some money. If I didn't win the money, I hope somebody 
Pog did. I've never seen the title screen focus on Gulliver. Yeah, it'll do that. Since I suppose I have two villagers, they're probably both inside, so they have to choose some special NPC. Yo. Thank you, Paul Shan, for the two months in a row. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank Here's you, thank you, thank you. And enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad-free viewing. I appreciate that. If I really wanted to maximize the amount of uh, things that can spawn damselflies... Oh, I had to drop out because of a life thing. I think we won. I don't think we won. I think we got fourth. Yeah, I remember... Um, I remember it was the mod team that won... Yeah, so I know the Sims team didn't win, but either way, it was fun. Hope that you can join it for if they do it again in the future. It was fun. What place did AC team? So I think there was eight teams and we finished fourth. Or sorry, I think there was nine teams and we finished fifth. Because we were right in the middle there. And so I made a tweet about it and I'm like, I strive to be average. And there you go. We finished perfectly average. Team AC. Ooh. Come on, get you. Get you. Come back, come back around. Get you, get you over here. Come on now. Come on, come on. Yeah, there we go. 93 of 93 at 24 hours, 52 minutes, and 8 seconds. There you go. Alright, hi YouTube! Hi YouTube! Challenge done. I told you it wasn't going to take long. I told you it wasn't going to take long. On brand finish? What's that mean? Stream done? Can we play GeoGuessr? I don't really want to end stream after 37 minutes, so I don't really know what we're going to do. I don't really know what we're going to do, to be honest with you. I don't know. Can't believe the last came so quick. I mean, it was all about that giraffe stag. It was all about that giraffe stag. That one was literally going to take us most of the stream to get. Well, it, if it was going to take a while, it was going to be because of the giraffe stag. The damselfly is not tough. 